Jersey Jewelry Makers. She's back. back. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. I was oh. lurgied to the max. Well, it's so nice to see you back again. Oh, bless you. Look, I've got Azza <laughs> Tazza with me. Missed you. I've missed you, darling. Yeah. Missed you. I wasn't, Aww. yeah, it, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't glamorous. No, <laughs> it never is when you're that poorly. I was glad to see you look, glad to see you looking so a lot better. better. Yeah, so much better. Literally, Elle was in bed for four <gasps> days. And not enjoying it. Not enjoying it either. <laughs> not fun relaxing in bed either. Aww, yeah. But I'm back you. now yes. and we've got a super what day is it Friday? Oh boy, have we got a fantastic You're just Friday a bit for excited you. Excited about this, yes. aren't you, as a Tazza? Well, the twelve o'clock has been in the planning for about fourteen months. Has it? Really? Well no more than that, because we were supposed to originally launch it birthday last year. Really? Yeah. But we, we've been messing around with supplies, it's taken us so long to get it in. So what is it? It's pitch. We're going to be doing some repoussé work. Repoussé? Is that not the best word ever? <laughs> I was very impressed, Laura, that you spelt repoussé right, by the way, in your text. Yeah. You copied and pasted. I was like, <laughs> check Laura. She, doesn't, she knows what repoussé is. So for those of us that need educating, what is repoussé? So when you, when you, basically you're pushing, repoussé is pushing the metal from behind to give you 3D. So uh -huh. you do chasing and repoussé at the same time. So chasing is when you outline it from the front yeah and then you turn it over and you push from the back yeah but it's all to give you this 3d work you know when you see uh amazing goblets and things and they've got all this yeah. pushed out work that's repoussé ah so that's what we're going to be doing so today. that's what we're going to be doing and, today and it's exciting and you were saying there's going to be lots of items there's lots that we're of going stuff. to bring to it as and when yeah, demo yeah in. so it's going to be full on full yeah. on demo so this you need this demo yeah. you need this demo. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll do it at, yeah. know, as the hour goes yeah. on um and what if i've never done any kind of metal working before is this something that i can have a go at? totally totally okay you can pick it up and hammer it and yeah absolutely you can do the most basic i mean the the the, the bit i've done in the instructions is fairly basic yeah it's a little sunflower um which i've put over there now um so it, it it's not a massively complicated piece Okay. Um, so oh, sorry, we can show I, was, I was running out of, sh of, of space. So, so that's ah, that's amazing. That's your um, that's in your instructions, but it's basically the techniques that you're learning. Yeah. So you could do that with yeah. anything, really. Yeah. If you wanted to do, as you said, you've just shown a, a, a dragon. Yeah. Yeah. You could do Celtic weave. You know, oh, Celtic lovely. crosses. You can do all sorts with it. Anything you want. Very cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. What about nine o'clock? <gasps> nine o'clock. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm, both <laughs> shows have me in so oh. much, so much excitement. <sighs> and I love our shows, but sometimes you get ones that are extra special. Yeah. Flat wire. When was the last time you saw flat wire? I can't remember. I'm, I was, I was saying to, to, to Lauren, it, it, Laura, sorry. It's uh, got to have been five before covid i haven't seen it since before covid probably i agree and, yeah and, and for years before the, and this is really really this is the best quality oh. flat wire i you, think we've ever had masses of it as well don't you right i've perhaps maybe touched halfway and i've made all that wow in fact probably less than halfway that's so, cool I mean, that's magnetized by the way is I've it got some little magnets and put some magnets in it very very cool oh look at that so we've got some enamel colored. yeah very cool, Alison. So it, it is, this this flat wire, the, the widest one, um, you could make a, a, an anti-clastic um, bracelet, yeah. um, ring, anti-clastic being where it sort of curves that way as well as around your wrist. So mm -hmm. you can have your spinner rings and all that. So you can solder with this, it's bare copper. Ah, oh, yeah, you could probably, you know that tool, that flaring tool? Yeah, you can use you it. You could use yeah, that. Yeah, solder it and flare it, absolutely. Wow. Absolutely, so all I, of that, all of oh, the above. Oh, I tell you what, your project so hours exciting. are looking exciting today then. So exciting. Shall we have a little look at the menu for everything else that's coming up on today's show? Um, so at eight o'clock this morning, jewelry makers, we've got the most beautiful two-tone heart connector, oh, interlocking so hearts. I'm thinking, look, Father's Day's not long, yeah. far away, it might be anniversary, hearts is, uh, uh, for uh, everything. For everything, absolutely. Yeah. I want to buy this. It's absolutely beautiful. Just a bit of macrame either side. That In fact, shall I show you it quickly? Because here's me talking about it. It's um, gorgeous. <laughs> it's so pretty. Very Tiffany's and Co. Yeah. 
in silver. Oh, um, so beautiful. do shop ahead on this one. I love the texture as well between the contrast textures. Yeah. Um, so that's in this hour, jewelry makers. So you can absolutely Ooh. shop ahead on that one. At nine o'clock, as we've just covered, it's all about your flat wire with um, lovely Alison. Then at 10 o'clock, we've got the most beautiful, oh, very Cartier inspired. It's stunning. I'm going to be getting a couple of these stop permitting. Um, you've got your trio tones. This this is stunning. Um, Carol's collection that she did at yeah. Christmas, the three tones is, I love it. It's all the rage. And it's one of those that, that, that never goes out of fashion, no does it? No um, so that's your deal of the day, jewelry makers. And then we're going to follow with um, a whole hour of chains, which we haven't oh, done ooh. in years. Yes years wow i was actually only saying a bit probably about i don't know a month ago i was like when was the last time we did a chain hour yeah it's really difficult to get chains at the moment especially at our prices yeah 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 um so you're gonna absolutely love that hour stock up your stashes on your chains at 10 yeah. o'clock then at 11 o'clock <gasps> we've got the most insane pearls check this one out it's a high luster oh my god my goodness me um, the most colourful as well, mm. with all those wonderful sashes of purple and pistachio and gold and silver. And then you get the actual setting as well. I love that. So that's coming up at 11 o'clock. It's kind of like a mini project, isn't it? It is, it is. Basically, you can set those per those flowers into, into the, pearl. the pearl, which is incredible. Um, have we got a quantity of them, Laura? Yeah. I'm, ho I'm hoping, because I mean, how perfect is that just suspended from a chain? Oh. Okay, we've got 40 of the purple Ooh. that's on your screens right now. And we've got, do you say 49 of it in white? Both amazing high luster. It's all down to personal preference. Yeah, yeah. So that's at 11 o'clock. And then at 12 o'clock, it's all about Yay! your repousse project with Alison. So it's going to be an absolute cracker. It is. It an is. absolute cracker of a Friday. So excited. Do text in. We would love, love to hear from you. Come and say hello. Lots of interaction, lots yeah. of fun. Um, last time I saw you, we had our attempted world record. That was oh, good. We had a ball. It we was had such, an absolute, so good, wasn't it? Was it was brilliant. We had a great time in Chester. So it was an unofficial attempted world. Yeah, but we had everybody Skyping in. It was fun. Uh, there was about 350 people. Yeah, well, you, well, you had, you were, there were some of us in venues scattered yeah. around and they went to each of the venues and they were all like, oh yes, how are we? Great, we're all making it. And then they came to us in Chester and we're like, yeah! yeah! It was good. <laughs> it really, it really reminds me of, you know when you watch like your mainstream TV? Yeah, yeah. Where they have that, and um, we have, <coughs> we have Alison in Chester. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and we have we have Claire in Redditch. Yay! Yay! It was it was so good. We Although need to do it again. Very polite in the other ones. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was funny because I kept taking the Mickey out of um, Deb's because I was like, "Who's with me tomorrow?" I was yeah. like, "Deb's, you're in the pub, aren't you?" You were one hundred percent in the pub. We did have a bar, but then we had a spin class going on the other side when we first oh, got there. You nearly didn't come to us because it was like doof 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 doof. And we're like, oh, okay, maybe <laughs> we won't be going live. Sat thinking along, boom, and then you've boom. got the <laughs> people in the background. <laughs> Unbeknown to them, their spin class is on like on live TV. That's hilarious. Go for the burn! Go on, go on! Uh, have push, a seat. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine if? Unbeknown to them, it was on live TV, <laughs> sweating. Oh. We couldn't see them, to be fair. <laughs> but we could certainly so hear them. <laughs> right then, should we get cracking? I also <gasps> want to show oh. you this that's coming up. It's absolutely stunning now. Alison, Dragon. you're a fan of dragons, aren't you? Dragon. She certainly is, especially carved oh, yes, into the most that. beautiful fluorite. This is drilled very discreetly. I love just him. here. Just here. Um, I mean, look at that. You've got the colours of fluorite amazing detailing it blows my mind that carving can be done with especially with this with gemstone. fluorite yeah um so this is coming out what was that sorry um it is set at the price so i would shop encourage if you love it shopping ahead the pearl selection that we're bringing to you in this hour we are actually going to uh, drop that price which you can see uh, yeah, lovely display here by our beautiful uh, Lauren. We've also got the very last, the very, very last of your giant clam. Wow. We will not replace that. No. We cannot replace it. It's probably one of the rarest gems that we've got in our entire vault. It's incredible. Um, and that's in a bundle. So that's in this hour as well, jewelry makers, those pearls, unbelievable. So they will be going even lower. Just shop ahead to guarantee your price. Okie dokie, let's do it, shall we? Shall we start? with 
Recycled silver. Oh, which is very good. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. I love the fact that this is what jewelry maker are giving you that selection yeah. now. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful, very discreet clasp. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. There you go, with your recycled silver. Nice. So oh, great for the environment as well. Yeah, it's a screw one. Oh, fabulous. How good's that? Four ninety nine jewelry makers. How much? Make sure you're checking out. Yeah, exactly. And advertise the fact that it's right recycled silver. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, hello Sue in Edinburgh. Hi Ellen. Oh. Ali Tarry. Great to see you back in uh, in Rude Health. L. Um, <laughs> um have Rude Health. It's, it's, good. it's how they say it. Say it. Is You're it? in rude health. Have you not heard no, this before? Heard that. Is, oh, that, yeah, yeah. is that a Scottish? It's a good thing. No, is it a good thing? Say it. Oh, okay. I've not thing. heard that ism. It's rude a probably health. old thing then. Oh, okay. You're in um, rude health. I am in rude health, so <laughs> Adam's always in rude health as well. <laughs> um, have a great show. Yeah, I'm much better. Thank you, Sue. Probably wipe me out though, you know. Yeah. <coughs> not nice um hello linda Aww. and falkirk it's a morning all we'll be watching from work tomorrow it will be my birthday oh, oh bless you first oh. birthday without my dad sending you lots and lots of love oh sending you love linda. <coughs> bless you darling i'll think of you lots of firsts yeah it's not nice is it no it's not nice just when you know that person should be there sending you lots of love yeah hello gorgeous miss janet hello oh, lovely miss janet. hi you gorgeous girls and team jewelry maker i have the fluorite dragon he's beautiful he it's is. definitely a he isn't he yeah he is he's a he. definitely a he make sure check it out well done everybody uh <coughs> they've flown out oh yeah so many people well done well done we're gonna jump ahead Oh, these are fantastic. I love a peg bale. Yes. They're one of my favourite uh, findings because basically it's a little bit of glue in your pearls or whatever gemstone you want to set, your giant clam yeah. if you wanted to. Um, glue them into place. By the time I have these out, they'll probably have sold out, won't they? That's the, that's the trouble. Oh, they're nice. Oh, thanks, Ad. There you go. Um, <laughs> hello, Sandra. Morning, ladies. Glad you're back with us, Ellen. Looking amazing. Bless you. I'm off to Blackpool this Ooh. afternoon for an Elvis weekend. Oh, wow. That sounds amazing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's your favourite Elvis song? Oh. Uh, it's got to be... Um, wise men say only my fools rush in. Mm. That's my favourite. But I can help fall in love with you. Yes, yeah, Sandra, what's your favourite? You're probably, you're, she's probably thinking, stop murdering Elvis, <laughs> Elvis's song. I can't sing it the best of times, let alone when I'm congested. <laughs> oh, have a wonderful time yeah, at Blackpool. Fabulous. Amazing. Okay, moving on to some beautiful malachite. Oh, I love it. You don't see malachite microfaceted very often. I imagine it's quite difficult to facet, micro facet, but it still holds on to that wonderful, that intoxicating green. Um, we're at 12 pounds and 99 pence, lovely jewelry makers. Look at that, oh, full of sparkle, lush green color. It, it, it is lush, lush, isn't it? Lush. It's, it's like Amazon green. Yeah, do we, so we have to say in a Welsh green. way though, don't we? A lush. Lush, oh. That's lush, that. Oh my God, that is absolutely Proper lush. lush. <laughs> that is lush, that is. Um, Sandra? Mine is tender Aww. feeling from the film Kissing Cousins. I don't know that. I don't know that one, Sandra, but I will put it on my Spotify on the way home. There you go. Uh, <laughs> we're intrigued by the film as well. Um, here we are. Lots of love for Elvis, I think, now, Sandra. Ah. I can't read that. Hang on. Uh we can't go on together with suspicious oh. mind. Did it, did it, did it. Says Lisa in Durham. Yeah, we can't go on together with suspicious mind. With suspicious mind. Right, moving on, you two. Come on. <laughs> well done. No more singing. Did you like that little rendition? I did. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, these are beautiful. Tahitian. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, what you said. Longest, <laughs> <laughs> the longest description in history. Natural blue, which is which is the rarest color of all pearls. Yeah. Yeah, it's the rarest color of all blue. 
Marbell. Marbay. 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 Or sometimes referred to as blister pearls as well, blister but that's pearls. not quite so romantic, no. is it? But yeah, uh, blue is the rarest colour of all pearls. A marbe basically is not a fully spherical pearl or rounded pearl. It's actually it's, it's cut as part it's, of the shell yeah, itself. Yeah, it, it's sort of still enclosed. In the <clears throat> yeah, shell. well, they're rarer than your, your usual pearl because mm. obviously you can only get so many marbe pearls. A, an oyster will will generate quite a few cultured pearls, yeah. but not obviously this part. Um, you have the pair here, so just crying out to be made into those beautiful yeah. pair of earrings, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely always in a three-figure deal. 129 is the previous closing price, however, this morning, jewellery makers. Other strands of pearls coming up in about 10 minutes if you wanted to put my teeth in. Suspend. Suspend just one as a pendant. Uh, hi, Sue. American Trilogy is oh. my favourite Elvis song, followed by um, a well, little less conversation, conversation, a little more action. I don't know American Trilogy. I clearly don't know enough about Elvis. I haven't actually watched the film either. Mm. Haven't watched it. I've watched quite a few, but mm. quite a long time ago. I do like a little less conversation. That's a good mm. one. Uh, what number? Number nine. Number nine. Ooh. Oh, I bought these. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, I can't afford Van Cleef and our pals. Yeah, who can? Let's be honest. Who can? Um, but this is like a mini project. So you get the jump rings. Look, there's the little jump rings. Then you get the length of chain that you obviously would cut. Then you get, look, there's your earrings with Ooh, your nice. beautiful, can you see? Malachite. With your malachite and the butterfly Lovely. back there. And then you get these pendants to suspend as well. So they nice. are, they're, they're sort of um, inspired by, of course, um, <clears throat> but significantly more affordable than that that you would find actually in Van Cleef and Arbel's. Um, here we are at 39.99. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. We're straight down to that price tag. You see, amazing. We said you could have a pair of earrings and two pendants <coughs> if you wanted. Yeah, you could. Number 12, silver caps. Oh, but they can also be, they're bead caps, but they can also be tassel tops, these. Yeah. Can't they? Look how many you get. Look wow. This selection. Look at that little selection. Twelve oh, in nice. total. By the t again, by the time I get them all out, here you go. <laughs> yes, thank you, Adam. Here you go. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> you basically either put one on top of a gemstone. You can use them as tassels. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> they will create. Yeah, a design. They'll frame a gemstone if you like. Bee caps. We well, there was a period of time when we had none. I know. I know. They're back. They are back back and still and as these popular. are sterling silver solid silver so so these you can use as anything really you can you can flatten some of them out yeah um heat them up first flatten them out <coughs> you can you can tighten them you know mm. you can solder stuff onto them if you want yeah oh yeah that's you good can point. make them as part of, of a design yeah you know these are so versatile oh totally multi uh, multi use things with I like your kumahimo and your, yes. and your um, um, macrame, macrame. Solid sterling silver jewellery makers at these amazing prices. Wow. So again, make sure you're checking out your baskets. And remember also, they are locked and loaded for this hour and this hour only. So um, not long till I bring you your pearls. Do text in if there's anything that you want me to bring to wear, of course. Oh, it's a turtle. Oh. You know, we go on holiday in, at the end of August. <gasps> And one of the things that we were just looking at, like different excursions that you could oh, do. Oh, right. And Tom was like, oh, you can do some free diving if you want to. I was like, no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. No, I'll but pay for you mine. you can, because at that time of year, go and watch the sea turtles <gasps> lay their eggs like, and the oh, hatchlings. fabulous. If you're lucky, that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, I want to go and see the little baby turtles. So you never know. Oh. Here's you little turtle. Look at oh, that. Oh, no. Oh, that's so beautiful. So what you have here um, is is Mozambique tourmaline. Wow. That's a pink tourmaline. Well, it's actually almost purple, isn't it? It is, isn't it? So that's totally and utterly natural. I love this little turtle, but look at the quality of that gemstone yeah. there. Um, oh, I might have to get one of these. That's adorable. Absolutely adorable. They are adorable, though, aren't they? Especially baby sea turtles. Oh, they are. The little legs coming. Yeah. Only launched a week or so ago, and we're down to the very last few within our vault jewellery maker. So, again, make sure you're checking those out. Love that. Moving on. 
Make nice earrings, they would. Yes. Figaro. Figaro, Figaro, Come on. Figaro. Come on. One. Sorry. When they're in these, it's sometimes it's really difficult to actually get... I have to use my tweezers. Difficult to get hold of them. There we are. There we are. Your Figaro bracelets. One, two. Complete bracelets. You don't need to do anything to these. There are only 11 available. Oh, look at that. Solid sterling silver. I love it, like, because we have uh, Laura, who's a, who's a producer on gems. I love it when our gems uh, um, producers come over because they're like, what? Uh -huh, what? Ten pounds? Like, yeah, that's, what we, that's what we do here at Jewelry Maker. That's the way we roll. That's the way we roll. She says, that's nuts. That's five pound per sterling silver bracelet. And they are complete bracelets too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good maths. Even I can do that maths, and that's saying something. Uh, but how beautiful is that? Put them Stunning. away for your present drawer. Mine's got a bit um, a bit depleted at the moment. Has so it? Have you been raiding it? Oh, yes. I'm looking forward. To, I'm very short on necklace chains. 10 o'clock then, Azataza. 10 o'clock, we've got the perfect hour for you then to replenish your chains. Excellent. Um, number 35. Ah, here we go. Oh. So again, this is. Can, can can we say it? Can we say it the British way? What's the British way? Noughts and crosses. Yeah, tic tac toes, the American way, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I thought so. Can we have a noughts and crosses box? Although I do think tic tac toe sounds better than noughts and crosses. Oh no. I no. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, apparently, I'm I'm out I'm outvoted there. <laughs> Right oh, so it comes in your mango wood. This is beautiful. What a lovely gift this is. So, hang on. And inside you've got your genuine gemstone. Oh, that's lovely, isn't Noughts it? Noughts and crosses. Carved noughts and crosses. Wow. How cool are they? They're fabulous. Lovely, isn't it? And again, you've got a glass lid just here, so you'd obviously remove that. So if I, oh, if I, I closed see. it, hang on. If I closed it up, and you can see all the noughts and crosses in there. Isn't that good? Oh, that's fabulous, isn't it? Ah, oh, you could have that on your coffee table, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. It's a bit posh. Father's Day. Oh, nice. And I like the box in the box as well. Yeah. Like it's that. a box in a box, so you yeah. know it's a bit posh. Or all, all under £20 as well. £16.99. Um, you've got your beautiful rose quartz and also your lovely amethyst as well. Um, lots of you with it in your baskets. Make sure you're checking them out, jewellery makers. I mean, look, you've got, what is it? 369. 369. Um, <laughs> you've, you've got nine carvings there straight away. Fabulous. Well done. Margaret Tracy. Hello to you, Robert. Hello to you, Northamptonshire. Hello, Margot. I got this for our great grandson. He loved it. Oh, yeah, I'm nice. sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Because it's the kind of it's the kind of thing. It's the kind of thing that you <laughs> It's the kind of thing you would probably play with a lot. It's like yeah. when I went to America as a child, it's actually a really vivid memory of mine. Yeah. When I went to America with my parents, um, they all had play solitaire. Bless you. The um, solitaire is on pretty much every single restaurant Sorry. table, or it was when I went anyway. Um, and we were always playing it. Yeah, always absolutely. Always playing solitaire. So it's a nice thing to actually That's have. That's lovely, yeah. While you wait and as you say, meal. lovely on your coffee table. And it's not a device, is it? No. So many devices in this world. Um, okay, moving on. Very tactile. To <laughs> what? Sorry. Adam's like, you sound so old, Elle. Yeah, but I am. I am old. That's the thing. No, you're not, Elle. Well, stop it. I, I, I feel old. You're old, I'm ancient. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you mean I'm one of the worst for it? I'm not. Okay. Hiya, Jane. Shopping ahead on this. Beautiful. So you've got this amazing adjustable necklace. <gasps> oh, nice. So can you see that? You've got the slider. Yeah. With like the aglet at the bottom. The aglet. Do you like that? Yeah, impressed. well done. You impressed yeah. that, I knew. And then you've oh, got your choice. three drilled gemstones. Yeah. Um, that you can secure on there. Now I would use this separately, perfect, uh, personally. Yeah. So you can either have the, the hearts on there, the gemstone hearts on there, or you can use the chain as is. Well done, well done, well done. Amazing, congratulations. Three zero, okay. Oh, I, I launched this, it's a big, beautiful, <gasps> wow. it's a very heavyweight bracelet, very, again, very Tiffany's. Oh, that's gorgeous. Stunning, isn't it? Three and a half grams wow. of solid silver. 
3.8 to be exact actually um and you can see that gorgeous texturing i remember launching it and we were showing lots of different designers that had the kind of chunky uh, the chunky chain bracelets yeah, yeah. you know because it's a big uh, trend at the moment isn't it That's and of course beautiful. they're three figures um all the ones that i did find maybe for a little bit less were base metal and there's nothing wrong with that they've got their place but yeah. this isn't that 3.8 grams of solid precious metal with your rose gold um yeah for 14.99 yeah for 14.99 yeah exactly wow i know it's a big gram weight isn't it because you could you could set resin in, in those links and all oh, sorts yeah, that's a nice idea. if you wanted to you could pick a pick one of the big ones out and say i'm going to put something in there yeah good idea well done we've only got a few of those though jewelry makers so again make sure you're checking out um shall we do the pearls <gasps> yes gorgeous stan you know what i'm going to ask for don't you because whenever i bring you pearls like this i might can you pass me my favorite bust i have Ooh. got a favorite bust um so we all know the situation in anything pearl related i'm going to bring you the giant clam first but then the pearls and they're both well it's, it's it's a very similar conversation we i can say this categorically we cannot replace giant clam this is probably one of the rarest gemstones that we actually have within our entire vault and pearls you might think i oh, can replace pearls because they're cultured actually not not as easy as you might think coming up next as your star by So a couple of months ago, I think it was, might have been a bit more, don't hold me to it, but um, I had the, a huge honor of joining Dave on the launch of Giant Clam. And you know, like when you think, you don't really realize something until you're actually in that moment and go, gosh, does this creature that you're, sh you're describing, does it actually exist? Yeah. Um, they do, they exist in the deepest, darkest parts of our ocean. And they are that rare that if you have actually seen a giant clam, in a museum it is most likely a model oh really so few of them are actually wow. lifted from the uh, the the, the, the uh, bed of the sea um that what they actually tend to do is share the giant clam so they can create a model of it wow. and they're vast almost the size of oh, this uh, yeah. of this desk but when you think about it not only not only the depths that these actually naturally live um, that they naturally live. They're also very, very, very cleverly uh, disguised. So not so easy to yeah. spot, but they can be vast and they live for a, a long period of time. So of all our gemstones that we have brought you here at Jewelry Maker, most likely the giant clam is going to be one of the rarest. And we have been you know, very upfront, very transparent, very honest and said, we're not going to be able to replace this. Museums can't even get hold of a giant clam. Mm. So for little jewellery maker in the middle of the UK to be yeah. able to do it um, is, uh, is highly unlikely. But again, when you, when I, if I want to show you a photograph of this, because I almost, when I saw it and Dave introduced it to us a few months ago, I was like, gosh, they do actually exist. Because the only time I think I've actually ever seen one before was probably in a Disney film. Yes. In a Disney film with Little Mermaid, something like that. But they do <laughs> exist. Now, that picture shows it how beautifully disguised yeah. it is with the barnacles. You've got to remember that will be decades old. Decades old. But when you actually sort of chip back that barnacle, the actual giant clam itself is the purest white colour wow. that you could possibly imagine. Now, we have, I think there's five opportunities this is one for the collectors for the connoisseurs because this is so we're more likely to get paraba tourmaline alexandrite any of those gemstones that look see what i mean oh, Pure, the purest of white that yeah. you could possibly wish for we're more likely Stunning. to be able to get hold of those gemstones than we are actually a giant clam shell especially in full strands do you remember some time ago I showed you that display that was at Tucson and it showed the finest and rarest gemstones in the world. There was a necklace oh, yeah. by, uh, that was Sophia Lorenz. There was some amazing pearls. This, th you know, this fits in that, in that display. So we have only two left. We're at 149, which is already amazing. absolutely amazing. I think, the, I think the actual 10 mils were that price. 
Um, you're getting all three strands. £33.33 £33 jewellery makers per strand for one of the rarest gemstones that we actually have within our entire vault. I, this is so rare that our sister ta channel, Gemporia, they didn't even get hold of it because they wouldn't have the quantity. You wouldn't, we wouldn't have had, you wouldn't have had the quantity. That's the thing. It's so rare. Gemporia would need a bigger quantity. And unfortunately, it just the purchase it's, it's didn't actually going. house that. Um, I only had six... I've got two left now, Ooh. jewelry makers. Margaret, Heather, Rupal, Philippus, Gloria, you've done it. Well done. I'm going to leave the final two. Look at that. That uh, pure it's white. It's amazing. It glows from yeah, there, it doesn't does. it? Absolutely stunning. Okay, the single strand. These are insane. One of the newest trends in pearls are ripple pearls. Mm. And the reason why they're as popular as they are is because they have the craziest amount of, of luster. Because it has the abundance of nacre. Nacre is that precious material that produces the luster, which is how reflective the surface of the pearl is. These are insane. And it is the most important of your five virtues. We've gone straight down to the price because of the quantity. I've only got two chances and I can already tell you, jewelry makers, I've got Elizabeth there and I've also got a maker with it in their basket. Again, to be bringing you pearls of this caliber at a double figure price tag is, is yeah, they are perfect, aren't they, Adam? But I agree. They're um, one of the most tactile pearls. Yeah, I just think. Just gentle yeah, the, ripple the texture across of them the is surface. gorgeous. Amazing. Okay. <gasps> oh. oh. Hang on a minute. You know, in the, in the, in triple the, choker. The situation of pearls, and we're still bringing you bundles. Oh, love. you know, I don't know anywhere else at the moment that will be able to bring you pearls of this grade at our prices. Sorry, I'll get it right in a minute. Um, at our prices, we're going to go straight into that. Look wow. at that. I mean, look at that. Yeah, it's crying out to be a uh, triple row choker, yeah. isn't it? It's classic, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Oh, Adam. Yeah, look at that. They're golden, aren't yeah. they? Golden pearls. Sheila's straight on in there. Sheila, I might be joining you, I think, today on the, on these. There's only four chances, though, oh, so stop permitting. <laughs> yeah, so stop permitting. Make sure you're checking out. Look at the quality of those pearls. I mean, it's ridiculous that these are £33.33. And 33 pence. When was the last time, jewellery makers, that we actually had a pearl First day? Time. A pearl oh, well, we hour. Don't. We, we don't. A pearl weekend. We yeah. used to be able to, didn't yeah. we? Can't yes, do it anymore. Can't do it anymore. We've got not. We've got lots of nice pearls today, have we? Oh, good. Ooh. That's exciting. You know how to make make, make L's Friday. And me. Oh uh, yeah, love a pearl. One of my favourites. Um, dotted across all the hours. Fantastic. Beautiful. Imagine these mixed with your um, giant clam. Oh, nice, nice. Because they would, they look vintage next to the pure, pure white. Mm. They they blend so they look nicely. Almost golden, don't they? Yeah. Well done. Stay where you are on those phone lines. I think there's literally two left. Congratulations! You've got your fluorite dragon coming dragon. up. Dragon. Um, coming your way, a beautifully carved, and don't forget you've also got that interlocking heart connect, oh, which no. is just super, super sweet. In, In about those twenty pearls minutes. Would look yeah. Amazing amazing um okay serpentine oh oh this strand's bonkers We're, rarity of serpentine it's so difficult to actually Ooh. source serpentine it's one of those like an you know we describe black black jadeite as inky yeah. this is like an inky green um it has a translucency to it as well um Often, oh, you know, stunning. yeah, it, it's held it as, as high a regard as many of the jades. I'm not surprised. It, it definitely has got similarities. Wow. Um, when I first saw this, I was like, my God, goodness, I've never seen serpentine A with transparency like this um, and B, a metre long length. Yeah. It's a metre strand. Yeah. Um, hang on a minute. You know that split pay price? Yeah. We can't have many of these though, Laura. I thought so. 12. Look mm. at that beautiful chatoyancy that you that get internally. Just, yeah. So transparency oh. with chatoyancy. How many gems do you... Oh, you're thinking with, with the, the pearls. pearls. Oh, yeah, that would be amazing. That would look stunning. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. That yeah. is a suite of jewellery waiting to happen. 
Yeah, we have basically taken it to the split pay price, jewelry makers. Yeah. Um, make sure you're checking out, and it is totally and utterly natural. Oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Moving on to a ruby pinch bail. Did oh. you just say that casually? As you do. Ruby cream pinch bail. Just rubies in a pinch bail. Yeah. Um, it's like a wishbone. I know. Uh -huh. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Wow. It's over a gram of sterling silver. You've got rubies front oh, and that's reverse, nice. isn't it lovely? Yeah. So look, if I turn it round, did it, it, did it. it. I mean, so if you wanted to, you could put a round or or a um, a drop in there. Yeah. Briolette. Stunning briolette. Yeah. It's because sometimes your drill hole isn't front is isn't top to bottom. It's yeah. side front side to back, to side. isn't it, or yeah. side to side. Um, <laughs> that's lovely um, look at that beautiful so you just squeeze it together effectively yeah. make sure you're checking out and don't forget don't forget you've got your beautiful heart connector coming your way jewellery makers um, ooh a feather in Taipei imperial white jadeite yes please <laughs> look at that <coughs> bless you, bless you. <laughs> sorry <laughs> I love those sneezes that just sneak up on you. <gasps> There's something very satisfying about those sneezes. Oh um, look at stunning. that. The detail in that is amazing. The feather means so much, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, especially a white feather. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. If, if you find a white feather, it's supposed to indicate someone you've lost is looking out for you. Ah. Oh. So, you know, if you find it, say, say you get married and you find a white feather, it's supposed to be very, very lucky and, and say someone's looking, watching over oh, you. Bless. So this is the kind of thing that you could wear on a daily basis. Yeah, yeah, as a reminder. Lots of, lots of sentiment behind yeah. it. Look how detailed that That's carving stunning. is. And again, you can see the drill hole just at the top. Your pinch bail would work with this, for example. Yes. You could use Ooh, that ruby pinch bail. that would look lovely bail. with it. £69.99. pence. Yeah, get your ruby pinch bail. Just, you know, squeeze it together. There's your piece of jewellery. How beautiful. Um, and you've got your split pay. Straight away, you've got Pamela, Jenny, Lynn, Christine. Make sure you're checking out everybody. Type A, Imperial White Jade Eye. Not that. BOC, Type A. Shall we bring you the dragon? Dragon. Let's do it. Now, the price is already set. Good to go. What we need to appreciate here, jewellery makers, is the fact that carving is mind-blowing in itself. Yeah. I mean... To put pen to paper and to be able to sort of sketch Do something 3D detail with it, yeah. is amazing. But to actually then carve it into a genuine gemstone, um, I find absolutely fascinating. But fluorite has to be, I mean, I'm no expert. I've never carved a gemstone, obviously, but has to be one of the most challenging because it naturally is a slightly softer gemstone. Yeah. So m much, I, I guess much more fragile during that process. I can imagine more sort of almost grinding the, the, the waste material away rather yeah. than chipping at it. Yeah. Because if you chip at it, you're you probably going to chip more than you want. Stone, yeah. yeah. Um, look at the quality. I mean, oh, obviously, if you're going to do that level of art, look at that price. Sorry. What is that? $34.99. Whoa. If you are going oh. to do that level of artistry, yeah. then um, you know you're going to be using the finest quality. Thank you, Dan. The finest quality fluorite. That's the thing, um, because you know that level of skill, you wouldn't put, give them an inferior stone, would you? Um, this is the famous story of the dragon and the pearl, of course. Um, it's an ancient Chinese story, and I'm going to show you if I draw this back ever so slightly. There you go. Oh, Look at that! Wow. Absolutely amazing. I mean, the the dragon in um, in China is all about water. Yeah. Not fire as it is here in the West, but you almost have that sort of water translucency. Don't it you? almost With looks something. like it's in bubbles, doesn't it? Yeah. When you've got the torch on it. That's amazing. Stunning. Absolutely amazing. Hello, Gloria. Hello, my lovely morning, Ellen Alice. And this carving would look fantastic with the fluorite dragon beads on dragon. yesterday. Oh, you had dragon beads. I, I didn't. I didn't see those, Gloria. I, I miss I miss a small amount of a programme and they have dragon beads on. Mm. But I'm just sorry so, about that. Yeah. Sorry about that. That How would be rude. that sounds amazing though, doesn't it? It sounds incredible with this if you got those yesterday. Yeah, wonderful. Well done wow. everybody. Make sure you're checking out your basket. Um, moving on to a toggle class with a genuine gemstone. 
Beautiful. <laughs> oh, I love these. So the actual toggle, the tuh. The tuh. The tuh. The bar. Is the, is the gemstone. Wow. The ogle is the detail. <laughs> ogle. Yeah. I love uh, that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. You'd wear that front and centre, wouldn't you? Oh, gosh, you'd have that, yeah, like a lariat style. Yeah. I'd have that over long, going through the loop. It's <laughs> all about that toggle, isn't it? I was going to say, is that angelite? Is it green angelite? Blue angelite. Oh, Beautiful blue, blue angelite. Oh. Amazing. Only discovered Stunning. in 1987, jewellery oh. makers. Yeah, good year, that is. Adam was born in 1987. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and my husband. There you go. Who, Tech Up Ryan on Gems, was born in 2003. Yeah, Lauren. Oh. How, Lauren, when were you born? 2002. 2002. Oh. So you don't remember the me millennium. <laughs> I know. We, we, it amazes me, you know, people were born after Star Wars was made in 77. That's my that's my that's my target of of youngsters, born after seventy seven. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm still in that category. So you're still then. a youngster. Just. I am just in <laughs> that category. The yeah. Yeah. Scraped in by a year. <laughs> just. Um. Well done, everyone. Make sure you check it out on those. That is stunning. Could you Next. imagine those toggles as as um cufflinks? Oh, beautiful! You obviously have to multiply, but they look amazing. To amazing! <gasps> Something blue for your for your wedding. Oh, lovely! Horrible. Eh. Eh. Uh. Did you just say willow? Willow. Ah, oh, well, I've got a I've got a little willow at home. <laughs> Sorry, just that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter is called Willow. She is, and just she's to clarify, gorgeous. <laughs> she is gorgeous. I've got a little Willow. <laughs> oh, <coughs> yeah. Welcome anyway, back, um, <laughs> who uh, every time she sees a Willow tree, gets really excited. So I oh, feel like I need to. Yeah, she's like, "Mummy, it's a Willow tree," Aww. and then Tiggy goes. Um, is there a Tiggy tree? Oh. oh, no, sorry, Tiggs, there's not. There's no Tiggy tree. That's so stunning. I have, to, I have to make them up now. There's a Tiggy tree. <laughs> um, look, that's so beautiful. That Can we dim those lights? Let's do it. <laughs> dim those lights. You can see that beautiful detailing within the carving isn't that amazing it's stunning um and that translucency remember that we're going to be talking some more um throughout the course of the show actually about guatemala and jade remember the future is guatemala those are the words of stanley chu um however it is not currently um being extracted from um <laughs> oh, no. um i have a feel i have fillings older than most of your staff says margo me too margo oh. <laughs> i know I think I do as well, Margot. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's, do you know, actually on that though, I do, there is a nice mix of age ranges here there at, is, here at Gemporia and Jewelry yeah. Makers. A lovely mix. Um, um, and we don't care about the number anyway. No, it it's is just a number. Number. Um, number what? 25. You're curious. Ah, oh, he's lovely. It's a koala. Oh, look. <gasps> look it's at a koala. him. Koala. It's a little koala. Look. Oh, that's so cute. I've I held a koala. I love his nose. They have a massive claws. Yeah, they're you have to wear chainmail. You have to Do wear chainmail to yeah. hold them. Um, but they only work for like 20 minutes at a time because they get stressed. Oh, bless them. Yeah, so they're only allowed... I mean, these were rescued koalas, yeah, yeah. obviously. Yeah, so they're, they're domesticated. It was conservation, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, they, they, they get stressed, so they can only work... Aww. When I say work, get cuddled. Yeah. They're not really worked. They're cuddled and photographed. But look at how cute! I reckon a koala has got to be one of the cutest animals on the planet, aren't they? Yeah. Adorable. Those are pandas. 
Yeah. Um, however, if you've ever heard a koala, because they are bears, let's not forget that. If you ever heard a koala growl, that's quite terrifying. Oh, how weird. That, that just doesn't work, does yeah, it? Yeah, like, if you Google it at some point, koalas growling, they are quite terrifying when they growl. Um, amazing. Not this little guy, though. He's cute. Um, well done. 23. 23. 23. A Tanzanite S-clasp. Okay. <laughs> um, I okay. love your French. <laughs> Are you fluent in French? Are you? you? Are you good at German? Go on then, talk to me in German. Go on. I like the German word for um, hospital. Krankenhaus. Krankenhaus. Uh, we, we always, my, my nephew and niece always loved the German for, for grandfather. Oh, yeah. Großvater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they thought that was great. <laughs> I won't say the one that, that Laura's just said yet, but uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I remember a little bit of German. Ich habe einen Schwester und einen Bruder. Uh, ein Eiser Krembitter. <laughs> That's all I can remember. <laughs> I got it right. <laughs> ein Eiser Krem. <laughs> ich liebe dich. There you go. There's another one. I love you. I remember a few, bit, a few bits. Ich liebe dich. Um, amazing, so beautiful S-Class. Can you see, if I turn it that way, you can actually see how it works, and it is set with oh, the Tanzanite lovely. as well. Four pounds and 99 pence only, jewelry makers. So basically, they loop together in an S-Class. 4.99, remember these deals are locked and loaded only until the top of the hour. Um, moving approaching. on to, what did you say? Crackle Ooh. Quartz, so a bit of sparkle, yes please. Haven't seen this for ages Ages. Ages oh, and ages. Nice. I think Carol relaunched some crackle quartz, didn't she? And of course, everything absolutely flew out because crackle quartz, quartz has to start with, there's lots of C's, um, has to start with the most um, eye clean, transparent, clear quartz. And then basically it's heated up to a very high degree and quenched a bit like an ice cube in your gin and tonic. Um, and that's what brings you, yeah, and that's what brings you that beautiful uh, crackling internally. So it's a great way of in introducing brilliance to your, uh, to your gems. Seven pounds and 99 pence only for a full 38 centimeter strand. Without a single facet, you get lovely brilliance from crackle clots. So um, yeah, always very, very popular on our screens. Well done. Stay Goes you great with copper. Lines. That's huh? absolutely fantastic with oh, copper. Yeah. With You've your got that vintage. Repousse. With it. Well, well, yeah, all the uh, the flat wire. All the flat wire. Rose gold lever backs, Ooh. but they're beaded. Oh, these are nice. Nice earrings. Yeah, love that. Yeah, this is like you take oh, take your. Great? Oh, they look like little pea pods. This Gorgeous. Is this would be lovely with your 12 o'clock hour, I think. It would, yeah. Uh, lever backs are very secure, but you know, they normally, let's be honest, they're not that aesthetic, are they? No, but that is. Um, I'd be quick on these because there's only a handful left and there's lots of you with it in your basket. Cheryl, <laughs> Nicola, Kent, Margaret, London, Janet, Gloria, Maker, uh, Liz in Lancashire, well done. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Check it out, check it out. What do you say? 32. 32. Some lovely amethyst earrings. Oh, these are gorgeous. I launched these. I love them. They're a bit planet-like. Oh, in fact, cool. I'm fairly sure that was what the collection was. Bear with. Planet. Yeah. Bear with. I'll just, I won't bother doing them up. You get the idea. These are studio samples, so don't worry. Lovely little gift. You've got a gorgeous amethyst there. Oh, yes. With, just, the, with the line through, really emphasizes the planet. Yeah. Great present for teachers, yes, oh, yeah. absolutely. Um, with Tiggy at the moment, I can't do this, you know, but this is very much, oh, this is all Tom, not me, um, is teaching other planets. So she oh, sits really? like, at the age of three, she goes, Mercury, Venus, uh, Mars, I don't know the order, but she does. She says it in order at the age of three. Wow. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. I'm quite, I couldn't do it. No, I couldn't. <laughs> I can get Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. Mars, Venus. Jupiter, Neptune, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. I got it wrong. See, but Tiggy can do it at the age of three. I'm pretty impressed with that. Is that including the one that was a star and isn't a star anymore? Pluto. Pluto. She does say Pluto. 
She does say Pluto. Quite right. Anyway, because uh, Pluto's uh, once a planet, always as, a planet. As a child, Pluto is probably one of the best ones, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a dog, Pluto. It's a dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do um, some clear cords, plastic coins. Nice. Love these. Great, great with copper again. Great with bracelets, stretchies. Yeah. Can't get enough of these. Um, there are diamond opportunities, rings. aren't they? Oh, gosh, yeah. Look, Look at, at that. that. Look That's at all amazing. that beautiful sparkle. Ah, pristine eye clean clarity. Four pounds and 99 pence. There are wow. diamonds, aren't they, jewellery makers? You know, it's, uh, it's the way of us adding diamonds without having the diamond price tag. Totally. Um, We've got a full 38 centimetres round. Make sure you check it out your baskets, though, jewellery maker, at 4 99 again. Um, they will those. sell out. And um, we're about two auctions away from your beautiful heart connector. 13. A bit of strawberry quartz. Oh, ooh, that's oh. lush. Arguably one of the rarest types of quartz because it's a <gasps> sargonetic. Now, we launched this, and that's all natural colour. That's incredible. Um, once upon a time, we used to say you don't get red in the quartz family. However, you can get red from tiny hematite inclusions that, um, that naturally occurs. Um, when we launched Strawberry Quartz, it was actually technically a relaunch. Um, we were showing you specimens that were sold at auction for thousands of pounds. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> notice I said specimens. They weren't even sort of pieces of jewellery as such. This is all natural colour. 250 carats in your 10 wow. millimetre faceted rounds. I'd be using these with something like your giant clam or your, or your, or pearls. your pearls. Yeah, totally, me too. Gorgeous. Could you imagine dropping the um, fireball pearl oh, from yeah, that? They'd be lovely That'd too. That'd go lovely with that. Amazing. Um, hello, Sue. Pluto has been made back into a oh, planet again yay. recently. So Tiggy's right. Oh, there you go, Tiggy. You go, well Tiggy. Done. You go, Tiggy. We, it's, it's so funny because Tom's been doing that and then all of a sudden she had space day I at don't school. know, she looked adorable. So I'm like, right, this is, this, I love, she, she went as an astronaut and it was, yeah, really cute because she had the walk and everything. She went into the playground like this. <laughs> oh, fabulous. And she, <laughs> she had a proper helmet. helmet. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. Pretty funny. And a rocket pack. <laughs> And a rocket pack, yeah. I enjoy those days as much yeah. as Tiggy does. Um, okay, one more option until I bring you this beautiful, beautiful heart connector. Absolutely amazing. You can wear it two ways, actually. Yeah. So you could actually have it that way. Or that way. Amazing. To take us there. Great bracelet. We're going to bring you. <gasps> what number? 36. A quad A, <gasps> metallic, naturally purple, Edison pearl. Wow. Pear. Pear. These are half drilled, perfect purple <sighs> pearl pears. Say that fast. Wow. How amazing are these? So obviously you can see on this one, that's the half drill. This one is how they will look. I mean, Yoko of London, let me try and get a white piece of paper or something behind. Yoko of London, you get per natural purple pearls from Yoko of London and they're 8,000 pounds. You know, this is the thing. Um, if I, yeah, I haven't got a white piece of paper, that should do, there we go. Look at the quality of those. Um, 49 pounds and 99 pence and all it takes. You know the pegs that we had earlier on, you could use yeah. those too. Um, or you could super simple actually make a pair of stud earrings out of these. Look at the quality of them. Quad A grade. Well done, everybody. Again, make sure you're checking out your baskets. It is time, though, now um, for your early bird. There are certain sentiments, certain symbols that are introduced to, not introduced really, um, well, in jewellery. And they, they stand the test of time. You know, they are always having that same sentiment. It never seems to falter. And this is exactly one of those. The interlocking heart connectors have got so much meaning behind them. Up next, in a beautiful early bird. <laughs> Very 
Carrie loves spoons. Carrie ad. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to talk to you about sort of interlocking rings, hearts. I think the word interlocking in general, because it has huge amounts of meaning, and obviously the shape does as well. We know that. Yeah. Um, but here's a paragraph. This is on something that I um, I launched interlocking rings, but they actually have got the same meaning. So the symbol of marriage and unity. The circle was a symbol of eternity with no ending or beginning. I suppose the heart is exactly yeah. that too, isn't it? Follow it round. Um, the hole in the centre of the ring also had significance. It wasn't just considered a space, but rather a gateway or door, um, leading to things and events both unknown, uh, known and unknown. Uh, to give a woman a ring signifies never-ending and immortal love. Aww. So how lovely is that? So, um, and I, yes, absolutely, to give the gents a ring too. Uh, the beloved love collection was not the only line uh, the talented Aldo Kipulo uh, recreated for Cartier, which I think this 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 connector is so Cartier. His subsequent uh, just un clou clou achieved an equally iconic rank with its uh, daring message and sensual simplicity, as the name suggests. Uh, <laughs> it's just a nail piece toy around the boundaries of a conventional jewelry in a way that re redefined elegance and minimalism. They're talking about the, na the nail bracelet here, aren't they? Um, which, okay, yeah, let's, let's slip. Yeah, sorry. But Cartier, that's what we wanted. That's what we're looking for. So you can see Cartier have always widely embraced the interlocking rings. Think about their Russian wedding yes. band. Think about the love bangle, that's yeah. actually a love bracelet, um, interlocking circle pendant, but they all come with fairly significant price tags, you might you might gather. Can I also um, mention that if you wanted our deal of the day, it would go beautifully with this heart pendant, yes. I think, because that's got totally. a trio of colours as well. Um, but yeah, so those interlocking links, Cartier, Tiffany's and Co, pretty much every single designer that you can imagine actually um, embraces that idea, that sentiment ultimately, that comes not only with the heart, but with the actual connection of those two symbols. Um, now this is solid sterling silver, but you've also got that beautiful detailing. Can you see the detailing on the silver heart? And then you've got that wonderful luster of the yellow gold as well. That's Brazilian topaz that's encrusted wow. within that as well. Um, again, it will go beautifully on your deal of the day, mm. just suspending this, I think, on the, on the actual chain itself. And we've got a chain hour as well. You see, you could suspend it like that where you've got your, your, your tweezers there, or you could take it through and suspend it so that you've got the that chain way. coming from both of them. Yeah. yeah. You might have an anniversary. You might yeah. have a special occasion. Um, you might a just birthday. want to say I love you. you yeah, exactly. Just because they're the best yeah, presents, aren't they? They are the best presents because... Stunning. Absolutely stunning. But again, this is so Cartier, so Tiffany's & Co, who have both two massive design houses um, that have absolutely incorporated um, hearts in their collections over many, many decades. Now, we're already at 9 99 jewellery makers, but we do want to go lower. Laura, how many have we got of these? We have a big quantity. Ooh. Um, we've got over 200 of these available. So what we will do, jewellery makers, we'll take it even lower if there is enough of you on those phone lines. But we need to see you there. Is there enough people yet, Laura? What do you reckon? No, 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 we're going to go again. Ooh. Start the clock again. We are, we're already under a tenner for solid sterling silver and Brazilian topaz. Right. Restart the clock. Oh my god! We've got over two hundred. We want to go lower, but in order to do so, then obviously we need the bulk of the quantity to actually sell out. Is that not? I mean, it's the the heart is not just about relationships, is it? As in uh, marital uh, relationships. No, Love is universal. Yeah. Well, absolutely, it can be uh, um, friendship. It can be sibling yeah. love. Um, it's it it yeah. It's a message. What? If you've got a much loved pooch, you could attach it to the collar. Yes. Is there a greater love? No, there isn't. Than that of your of, of your, your of your animals. No, I know. There's there loads of you there now. Totally unconditional. It is unconditional. I totally agree. Totally agree. I love that. <sighs> Six pounds and ninety nine pence jewelry makers. Pair of earrings. Yeah, that. beautiful. 
I they'd be amazing. Hi, Sue. I bought two to make a pair of earrings oh, off. You Sue go, read Sue. your mind there. What do you Great think of that, Sue? Look at that. I love that. Goes beautifully with your yeah. deal of the day, doesn't it? Totally. Make sure you're there, there at 10 o'clock. It's a very designer mm. chain where you've got those trio of colours as well. Um, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, you can suspend it. Just no need to solder or anything like no. that. Just loop, loop it through. You could absolutely use it with your like lark said not. Um, we've got Judith getting five. We've got Heather with seven. We've got Susan with two. We've got Fife getting three. Laura getting two. Cheryl, Tina getting three. Carolyn getting two. Isle of Man getting two. Jenny, Judith, Lillian, Denise, Ray. Um, well done to you. He I can't keep up. Elizabeth, well done. Lorraine's got two. I think a, a few pairs of earrings and sweets are uh, um, going to be made out of this one. Um, <clears throat> hello, Heather. I'll make a bracelet or a necklace each for me oh, and my sisters. Oh, beautiful. How lovely. That's lovely. That's absolutely gorgeous. Again, and you've got to think, how much would this piece of jewellery be in someone like Cartier or yeah. Tiffany's & Co? You know, we showed you. If you can, Laura, if, if you don't mind, just flicking back to the Gooch, uh, to the Chanel, uh, Cartier, I'll get it right. The one at the beginning. Yeah, because look at that. That's iconic. Yeah. But it's actually not that a complex a design. No. It's it's basically Yeah, I mean that'll be that'll be four figures and then some. And then some. And then you've got what was the next ones? Mm -hmm. Here you go. Tiffany's. Four hundred pounds in solid sterling silver. Cartier, two thousand pounds. That's nice. Looks like Cartier, not Cartier, but is hundred and thirty five pounds wow. all the same. Gucci, you could use these as lariats, couldn't you? 100%. Yeah, absolutely, you could. I we mean, are at six ninety nine, but we've got to move on, Jeremy, because there's loads of you there, loads of multi buyers. You think two hundred might seem like a massive quantity, no. but when you've got people getting five, sixes, and sevens, it doesn't hang around. Um, now this clock also closes out the hour, jewelry mm. makers. That's your giant clam, all of your pearls, all of the goodies that we've brought you thus far. Uh, make sure you're checking out your baskets. If you haven't yet done so, you've got 46 seconds and everything literally just disappears. Not just this, everything. Everything that we've oh, brought no. you so far. Yeah, so Those don't leave pearls. it in your baskets. You can always combine your order. Yes. Um, <laughs> that's not a problem at all. You can add to your order at no additional cost, jewelry makers. And we've got a cracking nine o'clock hour oh, coming your way with our lovely so hours excited. of time. Very exciting. All about your flat wires, which we haven't seen in absolutely ages and ages and ages. So um, well done, everybody. We're going to do some, we have some fabulous inspiration as well. 13 seconds, check out oh. your basket. 6 99 for a beautiful interlocking heart design. Do not go anywhere though, because wonderful uh, 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 techniques being demonstrated by Azataza after this. <laughs> make a mess of my hair now um we've got coming up in the nine o'clock in the nine o'clock we have not had this for so long flat wire flat wire not only flat wire it's one mil so you can make adjustable rings it's structural you can solder it you can do your anti-plastic um rings bangles the narrower kind you can do spinner rings with it you can make mega shaped earrings you can make Twisty, 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 twisty earrings, rings. Are, uh, oh, and you can enamel on it. Got so much to show you with that. That's going to be mega exciting. And then the repousse, the repousse. Woo! I love this sheet metal work. We've got the bowls. We've got the pitch. We've got all that you can possibly want. We've got the sheet metal for you. We're going to start off with something simple. Don't forget, you're going to get your tutorial as well. So don't miss out. Friday's show is going to be absolutely mega join us from eight see you there
Debbie Kershaw. I'm back with you on Saturday the 8th of June with honestly the most amazing show. In the 9am we have got Ruby, Emerald and Sapphire rondelles and I'm going to be showing you different ways that you can use these in your jewellery designs. Um, so far I've made some earrings and I've actually used some wire work techniques um, to just weave those little rondelles in and around so I really enjoyed doing that so I'm going to be sharing that with you. Now in the 12 o'clock, whoa! We have got peacock pearls together with a peacock and a peacock tassel cap. I mean, just stunning. Peacocks have been depicted in art for just years and years and years, and they're just beautiful. There's so much symbolism. So I'm going to be working with these in the 12 o'clock. So I hope you can join myself and the team at Jewelry Maker on the 8th. See you then. It's Charlie. I'm back with you on Tuesday the 11th and we've got some fantastic projects in store for you. So at nine o'clock we have the most beautiful multi-wrap bracelets. They come with meter long gemstones and our, uh, sterling silver buttons. They're really cute. You're going to love them. And then at 12 o'clock we have one of my best selling items. We have inlays. We have inlay charms. We have inlay rings. You're going to absolutely love it. I can't wait to share that with you. Some nifty little tips and tricks in there that anyone can do. Uh, so I hope you can join me. I'd love to see you there. Can't wait to be back. See ya. We should have a drum roll. It's fallen off now. It, how long <laughs> do you think it's been? Well, I, 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 I don't. I haven't seen it on the channel. I certainly haven't had any uh, from well before COVID. So, 2017, yeah, 18. It's got to be a long. Uh, yeah. I can't remember. This is fantastic stuff. We uh, had we had like much narrower in silver. Yeah, we had a lot narrower. I don't think I've ever seen it this this wide, no. and I've never seen it with this this because um, it's quite hard. It oh is. Gosh, it's it really is thick. Yeah, yeah. So it is really, really structural. So things like that copper bangle in front of you, mm. which I've put um, magnets in. Yeah. So things like that. It, it's so structural. It'll just hold its shape. It's absolutely fabulous. So if you know someone who wears it for arthritis or whatever, you so can now make them. So there's magnets in it. Yeah. If you have a look on, I'll turn it. Just turn it towards you. Oh. So it's it's, so arth it's if you get arthritis, magnets are supposed to help you. Yeah, yeah, and things like that. Sickness. Yeah, is it? So you get travel sickness, Adam. So they they they're great for things like that. I mean, John wore John John wears one because um, he hurt his uh, uh, thumb playing cricket years yeah. and years ago, um, and and every now and then I said, oh, it's broken. And he said, I said, oh, you haven't seen you wearing it for a while. He said, oh, the magnets fell out. So I said, why don't you tell me? So I'd, I'd have made you another I'd one. Made yeah, a new one. So you, and you can buy the magnets. But anywhere look, look at offline that as well yeah little matching Alison, ring these are gorgeous I love them. take a little look at all of these bit of stamping with your letters yeah bit of texturing bit of high polish i love them because again they're so they're so broad you can enamel them yeah and i love that i love these where you've actually kind of scrolled yeah. them is that yeah. around around a jig no 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 i've just twisted it so so i've annealed it to make it soft and pliable i like mm. the spinny ones these ones. The long, long, twisty ones. The long, twisty ones. Yeah, yeah I like, love those. A, like a beautiful chime that you see in garden centers. Yeah, don't yeah. It costs an absolute fortune. I love those. Love <laughs> those. Um, okay, so we believe, um, and again, don't quote us on it, no. but we I'm, haven't seen I'm with it. you. I've not seen these in yeah. years. Nope. Years. We've had flat wire in silver, but it was much smaller. Yeah. It was clear, I think that was with. And we've had bezel then, wire. We've yeah. had bezel wire, That's which true. is which is a lot finer. Yeah. Not structural. I mean, this is one mil thick. 
Okay. You can make, if you solder these, you can, you can um, wrap them together, solder them, use your ring flarer. Mm -hmm. You can make spinner rings with it. You could make a bangle with it. It's a, it's a thinner mm -hmm. bangle because it's nine mil, but you could still flare it and have a spinner in it. And copper is still very expensive. Copper is an expensive commodity. Absolutely. You know, if you want to Absolutely. buy copper, yeah. it's pretty expensive. Yeah. Well, you heard about my, my bag because they always used to laugh at me. Um, because all my bits go in a bit box. The bit yeah. box gets emptied into a bigger box and that gets into the bigger bag. Yeah. I've saved it over the years, took it to the scrappy. How much? I can't remember. £118. There you go. From just, your bits. just bits that everybody else was throwing away. There so, you go. Yeah. And that was just that was mainly plated, but but it's copper wire. I've got a big chew <laughs> I've got a big copper pipe. Yeah, yeah. From our kitchen when we had our yeah, kitchen Yeah, that's done. expensive. Is it? Yeah, take it to Scrappy. See, Tom was saying, nah, you won't get anything for that. And I was yeah, like, take it will. to Scrappy. Of course you will. Yeah, if you're a tenner. Yeah. Happy days. Happy days. Right then. Jewelry makers. The pet. You don't just get one. You don't get two, three, four different gauges of your copper flat wire. Amazing. And uh, yeah, so you, you, you get three, three, three are flat. Yeah, one is half round. R oh, I know. I know Again, not seeing that for yonks. So it's half round. Is it literally what it's it like it says a D on the shape? Thing. You get a flat and a domed. So the flat, it's, so the half round wire sits level because the flat bit goes on the flat rather than if it's rounded, it yeah. would sort of totter. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, so totter? it, yeah, totters. I get that. It yeah. matches the profile. It could, yeah, beautiful. So look Love at all it. of that, of which you get masses of. Yeah. I mean, this is weighty. This is weighty. Um, but you don't just get these. You also get an amazing strand um, of your yeah. eye agate, which is so, so, so popular. Yeah. It is an added bonus, 100%. It goes beautifully. Now, I know I mentioned this earlier on, Alison, but if I've never worked with something like flat wire, um, is this something that I can have a go at oh totally totally i mean most of that is is very easy to make i haven't soldered anything i i haven't riveted anything i've punched some holes in and i've used a bit of wire to, to add the gemstones yeah but the rest is you know all the rings are, are um adjustable the 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 love ring is just a strip of wire i've hammered some letters in it stuck it in some liver of sulfur there you go I make, oh, I love it's that. It's stunning, stunning and stuff. And you'll make loads of those, won't <gasps> you, from yes. this? Yes. Um, so I wasn't ignoring your message then. You get, so, who is it, Miss Janet? Sue. Sue, Sue, sorry, Sue. Um, you get so much more than jewellery inspiration from Aww, jewellery maker. I love maker. you. You do, you do, um, we do. You get some amazing deals, this, that's for this sure. This is incredible, this Wow, deal. there is masses here. Can I just show you these individually? So you get, look, one, so that's a medium, which is seven mil, yeah. I think. Yeah, seven, seven mil, mil by one. Seven mil by one mil. Yeah. Then you get... Nine mil by one mil. Nine mil by one mil. I know. They're very long as well, aren't they? They, 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 they vary, so I think, it's, I think it's weight. Okay. So they vary, sense. you get a longer length of, of the five mil by one. Five so mil you get more. You can see that, one. you get more. I can't remember what the lengths are. You get loads. And then um, your six mil half round. Six mil half round. Fabulous. How amazing. I know. Do you want to get close to it, the half round? Yeah, here you go. So you it's like it's side. like a semicircle, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's like like a D. Yeah. So so the flat bit sits flat on your flat wire, goes beautifully with it. So when you're wrapping, it you get flat. Uh, sorry. One meter oh. long. Oh, okay. Apart from this one, which is three meters. Oh, how deceptive! I would have said they were different gauges, but then I suppose the the five mil is it smaller, wrapped smaller. Yeah, yeah. You're a bit tighter. I, I was like, oh, you get more. So you get a meter of each um, of the of the big ones, and then three meters of the of the D wire, and you're also getting your strand um, of your I agate jewelry makers. So, so um, go on. I just want to mention one last question, that. really, because um, obviously we get your instructions. Is there any kind oh, of sorry, yes, tools that here's the instructions tools that I need to work with something like this? Right. There's lots on the web right now, but anything in particular, do you think? So you can work. You can work without. I would recommend um, 
you want to work you want to patina it uh, okay. sorry you want to patina it definitely use your liver of sulfur um you want to anneal it so you could do with a torch um, that relaxes you, it doesn't that it? that relaxes it you can do it without yeah um but that relaxes it um a hammer but technically so the little ring that with the with the um the squirrel the wrapped round ring with the gemstone in yeah yeah i've just used pliers to to make that uh, um go into a loop and i've brushed it oh okay that's that's brushed so i've Very used nice. i've used um a sanding block to just brush that instead of a high polish so so you can you can use this with all your tools you can stamp into it you can punch into it Love that. you can you can use your small shapes and pull shapes and out again, of it again you think how much um um like a copper bangle is in say like a oh, pharmacy they're pretty expensive aren't they um so the price on screen we're already at 79.99 but that's not where we're stopping jewelry makers um you do get lengthy instructions as well from Alison about how to create but the, the, really the world is your oyster i mean you can do loads of talk bangles can't yeah. you and talk yeah. rings you can um, make a talk a talk necklace so what did you say it was a meter of each a meter of each three meters of the d shape so that's i've got 44 left of the nine mil yeah i've got 30 centimeters left because i've used that and i've used i've got a lot here and as well. you've made all this i've made 13 wow. pieces of jewelry yeah and then i've got hang on so about 45 of the so I've, I've only just used over halfway of wow. all of them and i've wow. already made 13 pieces of jewelry that's crazy we're at 49 pounds and 99 yeah. pence but it is a launch technically should we do an amazing launch price we've not I, I can't remember ever seeing flat wire like this we've only ever sold it you used to get one one gauge of flat wire yeah. in your kit you didn't yeah, get did, multiples yeah. No, well, and, and I didn't seem to be this much. You no. didn't seem to get that much either. Uh, Amazing, we're going even lower. It will go crazy. There's only 73 available opportunities, but again, just a classic talk bangle. Yeah. You know, lots of people believe that copper actually has uh, um, abilities. Yeah. Abilities. It's also um, antibacterial. Which is why in ancient, in, in ancient, in older hospitals, Victorian hospitals, all the fight fittings on the doors and everything were, were in copper and copper pans and things like that. <gasps> £29.99 pence for all of this. We've made uh, 13. 13 pieces. So, so let's say, let's say I'll sell that bangle for 20, the, the magnet bangle. This one, yeah. yeah. Let's say I sell that for 20. So you could make two of those and you're already £10 in profit. Yeah. And you've got oodles left. Absolutely yeah, tons absolutely. left. I love this. Yeah, the little love one. I love that love John room. wanted me to do a hate one for the other hand. Uh, no. Only love here, love John. I Only know. love That's here. That's what I said. I'm not doing a hate one. Amazing. Um, okay, there's tons of yeah. you getting involved. And if you have got any Multiplying. questions for Alison, well do message. Um, in fact, we've got one from Joe oh, in Cornwall. Okay. Hello, Joe. Um, saying, Sorry. amazing kit and jewellery. Do you pickle the copper if, if you, you use your torch? I do. Kay. So, so there's, there's, if you, if you, if you're going to anneal it, yeah, it will go. Um, so this has been annealed, mm. and you can, you can see the, the, the difference. So it will go this sort of matte colour, but first it will go a blackish colour, mm. a dark red blacky yes. colour stick it in your stick it in your bath then you stick it in um a pickle solution um, see we're not, check uh, we're on not the website. pulling your leg laura's like what are you talking no, no. about pickles it's, it's 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 called a pickle solution it and what it does it so so the color you get on it is called fire scale and it, it removes the fire scale yes and then yeah. and then you'll get this sort of mat and and you can then um you can then do whatever to it, you, whether you're going to liver of sulfur it, and we're going to show you the liver of sulfur in a little bit. Yes, it's a bit stinky. So we'll show it. It is a bit smelly, but it's um, not smell vision. Yeah, you don't. You won't have to suffer no. that. Um, hello, Avon, saying you have made my day, Alison. I've been waiting for this wire for so long. Beautiful makes you so talented. Oh, thank you. She I know. Is. I've been, I've been <laughs> pestering them. Every yes, time they say, right. "Oh, is there anything you'd like to see?" Yes. 
flat wire, flat wire, flat wire. Yeah, we get those <laughs> emails as well. But yeah, we'll nag the oh, team. No. There's only 18 available, so don't leave it in your baskets, jewelry no, makers. Don't leave it and in we've your got basket. a few other goodies to bring yes. you as well as along the way through the demonstration. So you can always combine your order. It's not an additional cost. Nope. You can combine your order. Um, bless you for the same postage and packaging. <gasps> 60 seconds to close the graphics on this one, oh Jewelry Makers. We've got lots to squeeze in in today's show. I, don't think, I think we're going to run out, aren't we? I think, I think we might beat the clock, you know. Might do. Can, can we make a note? Can we have some more flat wire on order, please? There you go. You've got to start that nagging again. I know. You? I know. We need more. <laughs> Sorry, guys. More. more. And this, this is the best ever. I know it could be really a different is. price point, but how about silver? Oh, it would be amazing to get a strip of silver. Yeah, it doesn't have to be that it, length, no, does it? No, no, it can be shorter. Hiya, Ted. Aww. Saying, can't believe that. £30 for all that copper. Wasn't going to buy today, but... It, exactly, we would ask not to. And we're, not, we're just not going to see this. Oh, thank you. No, well, we'll have to put it on reorder after this, Ted, because it's going to sell out. I've already, we're already in the uh, single figures. Oh, the single figures. Oh, 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 no, what's going to win? <laughs> okay, I'll oh, leave Wendy those with you. Oh, Wendy and Flincher, Wendy was on the make-along in Chester. Morning, oh, Wendy! Oh, that was so, f She's such just, good fun, Oh, it, it was fabulous. It, it was, was fun. Fabulous. Enjoyed, enjoyed, enjoyed. Right. Right, just before we get into your demonstration. Yeah. Shall we do what, sorry? I'm just going to show you. Sorry, I thought that's, oh, that's what you meant. fabulous. I'm going to show you this beautiful... Where's I'm my tweezers gone? Now. Where's my tweezers gone? Um, Old Mac Jade that's coming up, jewellery makers. Now, it looks like one solid carving. Sorry. They're not. They're little individual pieces. Can you see that there? Um, that's some of the most translucent Old Mac I've ever seen. This is launching jewellery makers in a few moments' time, so you can uh, get hold of that. So just giving you a little bit of a heads up. The idea is for earrings, because they're on an elastic, effectively. So um, 10 carats of beautiful translucent... Guatemalan jadeite that's coming your way within this hour as well and of course any questions that you have for Azataza do text in because we are live here in the studio as as okay so as you're demonstrating yep. keep an eye on the graphics because Laura's going to be dropping some of the goodies that Alison's using um i liver of sulfur yeah i don't know if i would describe liver of sulfur as a goodie because it stinks doesn't it it does it does <laughs> it is stinky like boiled egg stinky yeah. oh i have so the liver of sulfur is what gives you the patina so i'll show you i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna anneal a piece of metal yeah. Annealing means you're gonna soften it mm -hmm. and i take you through the process all this basic in the instructions i've yeah. gone through how to anneal put it in the bath how to put it in your liver of sulfur um i'm gonna switch my torch on we just need to scooch your block over a oh, little bit. Oh, uh, sorry, that way. There you go. Just get that over there. There you go. Sorry, Adam. So what are so, you doing now? So annealing. Annealing is when you, you basically you heat the metal up. You want to heat it up. If you could take the lights down a little bit, Laura. Just, to, yeah, just, there you go. That's enough. You, you'll see the colour better and you'll see it. At the moment, it's warming. Hmm. So this is where you get your paint colours. Um, but when you go, when you see it go orange, can you see how this yeah. end is starting to go orange now? If you're very, very brightly lit. There you go, that's enough, thank you. There you go. So once it's gone orange, what, what, what it's done is it's, it's softened, it's made all, the, all of them are rel relaxed. And then you just pop it into a water bath. And this is the best noise ever. I'm, I'm just gonna try and shuffle things around so that we're all, oh, sorry, you moved it, Adam. This is, this is ace. I love that noise. Yeah. You know, we talked about quenching the the quartz, crackle quartz. Yeah. That's the sort of thing. Same thing. So this is quenching. So can you see how this has gone black? Yeah. Right. So that's fire scale. You'd put that in your pickle, um, which I haven't got any pickle. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, every time you say that sentence, Laura's like, what are you talking so about? So have a look on the website. I think we've got, we, I don't know whether we've got any pickle on the web website. And it will remove all that and it will turn it back into something that looks like that. Okay. Okay, so that takes you back to your copper. <coughs> it should come under pickling or pickle. So now we've got this to make that ring. In fact, I'm going to use that one because that's smaller. Oh, am I doing it again? Sorry, Adam's trying to re rearrange the camera. 
so I've got a ball hand, hammer. We've got this coming up in the 12 o'clock. Mm. Um, so I've got a steel block. Have we got that on it? Yeah. So steel block, you want something <laughs> solid. Oh, Laura's like, I can't oh, keep Put that, that one up. Sorry. Okay. We haven't got at the moment. So um, the liver of sulfur will last you for quite a while. Um, you can do, but it does go off. Yeah. So you'll do... It won't change the colour. So I'll show, let me just hammer this so you get some texture. I know it's quite noisy. Hang on. Um, I know we've had um, an issue with our glasses ordered, so we haven't got any glasses to put on. So I'm just, I'm not doing it as fully. I've just, I've just whacked that a little bit. You can see there the texture you've got on there, but it's a bit, it's not that clear. Yeah, yeah, so what you do is you drop it in your pickle. Now, I'm going to swap it again. So I'm going to fetch my liver of sulphur, sorry. I'm going to fetch my liver it of sulphur stinks. over. It does stink. It smells like um, eggs. rotten eggs. So I'm going to, if, I'll, show you, I'll show you how effective it is. So you pop that in there. Laura, if you just literally step in to the studio right now, can you see how that's starting to change? It's not very strong at the moment. I didn't put a lot in because I didn't want to stink us out. <laughs> Yeah, it's very eggy isn't yeah. it very so eggy. can you see how that's starting to cut color so normally i'd put more in than that and it would color very quickly so i know we've taken it from black basically and we're turning it black again so you'd leave it in normally i'd put more in with less water so it turns very quickly mm. um but really we don't want that to stink. You can you can actually use boiled eggs, can't you? You can. You can chop chop a boiled egg, yeah. put it in a sealed container overnight with it, because you've got the sulphur. This is what it is. It's it's it, it's sulphur. Laura doesn't believe you. Oh yeah, you can. You can. You literally just stick it in with a, 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 boiled, a container. A hard a hard boiled egg. Uh, so then, what you do with this? Because it will. I'm going to move that over. So that will carry on discoloring over time. So you put it in. Um, bicarbonate soda solution. So you just dilute some bicarbonate soda, yeah, and it will it will actually stop the the um, the reaction. So I'm going to pop that over there. I'm going to ask very very nicely if Lauren wouldn't mind removing that. Sorry, ignore me, Lauren. <laughs> try not to drop it. I'll try. I put, I put, I put a lid on it. I put a lid on it. Right, Lauren's going to walk through the office now <laughs> with that container. Trail it all around the building, <laughs> and nobody's going to know. No one will know that it's. They'll all be like, "Was that you?" <laughs> so, yeah, and Lauren. So then, if you don't want to, obviously you can use your Dremel or, or your, your yeah. um, a lot of polishing. Um, would you use? solids uh, so, yes you so so silver solder is what you'd use with your copper uh -huh. so if you're going to make a ring or anything then you would use silver solder obviously you use a small enough amount that you don't really see it and anything is there you polish out so i just want to show you the effect you're getting by if I, so so this is called brushing now look how much more definition you got in that than before and all this is is um a sanding pad and that look how much more definition now you've got because so that's patination that's what patina is that's what it looks like on the back without it hmm. and that's what it looks like on the front if you don't like it okay drop it back in your in your um, pickle. pickle and it will take it back down to the bare copper again I'm gonna take these off now I'm not using the torch um, but you can also sand it back and polish it back so you can take it completely back if you so want. It's kind of foolproof, isn't it, really? You yeah. If you don't like the look, you can always go you back. Can, you can just take it back. Yeah. So that is that is that is where we're at with that, and it's an amazing technique, absolutely amazing. Even the back of it, you get a patina, you get a patination on the yeah, back, nice. but that just looks so different. So is that what I'm wearing now, that ring? So that's the ring you're wearing now, yeah. So then you'd make sure you file off the corners and and the edges. These long edges are fine because they, they've come ready filed. Mm. Um, needle file your corners off. We got any needle files? 
you need um, the, the tweezers. So I've got straight ones. They're copper ones. They're brilliant. Um, you 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 can't be without so those. So they're like these, aren't they? Would so they're, like they're they're like those, but they're a, they're a copper one. Okay, like these. Yeah. Basically. So then, so if you have a look at the end, I've got a few bracelets where I've actually used the EF colour with it, or the F colour. So I'm going to fetch this over. So this is a little um, enamel stove. In fact, I don't want to put that on there yet. I want to put some colour on. So I. There we go. So literally, those bracelets, you see that one there you've got hold of now? Yeah. What happened was, I did the other bracelet, which is like red, orange, yellow to white, so I've ombre it, as you do. And I had, the, I had the two blues, but I'd put, I was in a hurry, so I'd put it all on one paper. So I had lots of little bits of, um, of different powder. So I actually put it on that, that one in the middle this and made so, this I random one. Color. This F is color. so clever. You're, yeah, it's, if you've never it's seen addictive. F color before, yeah. it's so cool. You're going to love it. Let me Do you remember Adam West launching F color? We were all oh. like, I want to go. Oh no, it's fabulous stuff. Yeah. So you just put it on a piece of paper for preference. Mm -hmm. I did try, so I did an experiment. You can get sieve tops for these, which I think we've also got some left. Um, whoops, do it that way around. Um, if you can get the sieve tops, you're gonna need lots because what you don't want to do is clean them in between time. And I keep missing them because keep, they keep getting sold out. So um, this is great. You get so much powder, you get loads. So what I tried, I tried actually doing it on a hammered piece, but it wasn't very successful. So I then over went, uh, went over it. So in your, in your F color, you get your little toolbox. So you get, we've you, got all this, by the way, yeah. I've got the F color tool before me right now. So you get your little, your little ply, your, your little, um, tweezers, mm -hmm. um, you get tw tea lights in it. Mm. These are for putting them on, so I should have put that on there. So you put that on there. You get a little spatula, which you can use to get stuff out. But also, the whole idea is you can put it through there and pick things up. These weren't flat, so it doesn't matter. So you pick that up, and then you put it on what's called the stove, or your kiln, like that. I'll get those later, don't worry. Okay, so then we're going to light... Oh, did you get your... your um, Sorry, you get. Have you got your lighter? Oh, hang on, hang on. Hold that thought. And then this one. So this piece is so that you can. Whoops. There's no. There's no brakes on this. Side. Um. So you can put things that are an odd shape. So you could actually put um a brooch. So I've done pieces before. Um, what I'm going to do is actually enamel the dragon as well so he's going to have enamel on that's why i didn't want to rush him um let me get some so the the powders you get these in a set of 10 they're amazing oh thank you very much so if you want to put on something like um a brooch you can put it on there because it won't oh, sit on there so you can put them on there that's amazing. So you can do all this sort of thing. Oh, oh. Hang on. There you go. Oh. So you put the powder on. So you put on. the powder on. So this is, and then you're going to light your stove. And all it runs on is three tea lights and they last for quite a while. So, and what happens is it heats it up. It does get hot. Yeah. So whilst you can have your, you can have children playing with the, with the, I see no reason why they can't make patterns and do their own. Um, enamel you can do it on any sheet any any sheet apart from uh, you can do it on plated so you pop that on there you Get put that on. over the top and then that that while we while we're watching that you see those i love that i love that it's so cool just on tea light and you can enamel things this is absolutely amazing so yeah, you, you get, get all of these. Like you get all, all these, of those in the kit, like a, like a pizza that, oven. Yeah, that's slice. your little that's your little spatula. You get you get your little your little. This is your little holder tweezers. So you can get that out. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I've, instructions as well. You get your instructions. It's oh, have you got some copper shapes and some? 
Oh gosh. So I've I've done all sorts. I've done um Oh, where's he gone? Where oh there he is. You'll like that one now. Ah So you can make little key yeah. rings. The the, the 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 prices are crazy. A crazy. The dragonfly. I did a little so I've got the little dragonfly here. Sorry, they're all packed away because I've got a workshop um, coming up. So here's, here's your little dragonfly. So oh, these and you are get all the instructions. Shapes. Yeah. Yeah, and instructions. So keep an eye on the website as we you speak because little... there's lots of items being thrown at you this hour. Um, so yeah, you can see them there. And obviously, you can. You know, you can add to them as well. Maybe totally. You want to incorporate them into the um, flat wire earlier. You can put the flat wire. Yeah, well, well, that's what I said. I, uh, the flat wire is great for them. Absolutely yeah. great. So if I, I'm going to lift this up and it's starting to melt. It's just starting to melt. That's quite thick on. So while we're doing, while we're doing that, have um, we got... How much was the, the F colour stove? That really? is such, such a good price. Oh, that's so good, isn't have it? Have we only got a few left now? Yeah, I didn't think we'd have many left. Don't don't hang around because you will have so much fun with this. So much fun. It's so cool, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It, it's fab. And you you know, any so if you um saw out a copper piece, you yeah. can use it on here. Yeah. It can be a is big it piece. Enameling the Nef colour. So it's enamel. This is this is a powdered enamel. Oh. So that is powdered enamel. Because enamelling so so expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it wow. is a powder enamel, so and it and it's and it stays like that. So and also when you've done it, so when you've enamelled, it doesn't. You can enamel on top of it, mm. um, but it doesn't. Um, it it doesn't sort of get rid of it. So so you can build things up, things up in layers. Sorry, I'm throwing this away. I get so excited about this. This and the flat wire together go amazing. Wow. Wow, we've just put some oh, uh, copper wire in. Yeah. How have you done this then? You've, you've so there's there's um, what's called Clisone wire. Yeah. Which is a, a flat wire, but it's like three mil, four mil yeah. by about point Sorry. one. I you you know, it's 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 totally. It doesn't matter which way he goes. He'll he'll go either way. Um, and the. And a lot a lot of the items. Um, yeah. Yeah. A lot of the items that Alison's going to be bringing you in the 12 o'clock hour work well, hand in hand with totally, this hour as well. Totally. So all your repousse work, you can enamel it. So like I say, I want to enamel the dragon, but I haven't had time. So I want to put, I want to put enamel on him. And what I'm actually going to do is, it won't be on the outside, I'm actually going to enamel on the inside. Okay. So it'll be two-sided two because the inside of his wings would be enameled, would be coloured. Yeah. So on the underside, it wouldn't look right on the outside. So if yeah. If you enamelled it, would it keep that texturing? Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. Uh, well, if I enamelled on the outside, do you yeah. mean? Yeah. Um, you wouldn't see it so much. It would look just a bit lumpy. Okay. So yeah, you. Are, yeah, because I it tried that. Around. I tried the blue one. I actually hammered. Yeah. So I tried. I tried that with the blue one, and it it wasn't deep enough. If you do it deep enough. That you can so if I do that, I could take off the excess and, and you'd have the bits outside, but um, it wouldn't. Let's have a look. How have we cooked now? So you can see that that's now melted. Oh, it has, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit uneven. So what I do because I was very quick about doing it is I just go on and put some more on on top. You just dust a yeah. little bit more on. If you're going to do like the bracelet, punch the holes first. Punch the holes first. So. All of these are great. And then all you've got to do is, hang on, blow out your, blow out your lights. Yeah, that's got rid of the smell of eggs for us. Lovely, I there think. you go. And, Hopefully and then you don't set the fire alarm off. You take out, this, this is the only thing, right? If you're doing this with children, this is hot. Yes. It's only tea light, but it's hot. This will be hot, don't touch it. So that's what this is for. This is your little, your little, this is a special tweezers which go onto that so you get a good hold of it. Uh, and then you can lift that up. I'm going to shuffle that around. But this wants to be on, on something heat proof. It doesn't have to be a soldering block, but you want to put it somewhere, a ceramic tile or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. It um, doesn't take long to cool, but... Uh, heads up, there's only five left of the actual project <gasps> with the flat, the flat wire. wire. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So make sure you check out on yeah. those. I, I knew that was... I, uh, let me just say this. 
if there's any I'm, I, I'm, I've been giving people notice now if there is any left I am t I am taking the rest of those because I do not have I have half a kit left yeah that's it that's the only flat wire I've got at home Ooh, there's only three oh no but I will I will pester them and pester them till we more, get some more get some and more. hopefully it won't be six years yeah hopefully not so uh, gonna... but again lots of the 12 o'clock yeah. hour stuff will go alongside oh brilliant so we've got the mask coming up on the 12 which you which you're going to need so this one not no this is a special one with with oh, um not this one filters on it's got filters on so oh, okay it's great that will that will be enough for you right. but not for being right here where i'm going to be with it with this okay. stuff so there you go that's now cooling down so you can and you can use those to do whatever mm -hmm. obviously if you're going to curve it or do anything like that with it um, so if you've got your flat wire and you want to curve it and then put it on the curve it first Because if you curve it with the enamel on it won't give it will crack So shape it first and then and then you can do it. So so these are great. They're lightweight Yeah, you know, you could do this bit with your with your girls But then you could put it on there and they could watch it melt yeah. in so Be they, amazing. Don't, they don't touch it you could So do the actual... if you've got the 0.6 wire and you haven't got any flat wire, there's no reason why you can't do this with the with the round wire what you do is you basically um i've given you some patterns if you get the ef color there's some patterns in there you can you can basically follow a paper pattern make all your shapes so all these are sort of separate that that's one piece that's another piece there's several bits of wire in there and then make them on your template and then transfer them over onto here piece by piece glue uh -huh. one in pick the next one up find out where it goes glue it in and you basically cr create a, a seal by gluing it onto the bottom onto the, onto your um bezel and then you can fill the separate bits in now what i found was you can do it all at once but but if you put all the orange in and then you put blue in and it blows over onto the other powder it's it's a nightmare if you've put all the powder if you've done all the orange then leave that cook that and then do the um blue because if any blows over you can get it off otherwise it mixes and then you've got to go through the whole rigmarole again so have a play with that but it is so much fun you can do so much with it a great source for for these simple coloring pictures a good idea yeah so so you just want outline coloring pictures if you if you don't want to draw get some coloring pictures shrink them down to the size you want simple rather than ornate if you're doing yeah. small if yeah. you're going to do something big go as ornate as you like but for this size you don't want incy wincy teeny i mean that little bit of wire there was a fiddly I bet. pain <laughs> <laughs> yeah i shall not say what i actually said I... <laughs> so, so 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 think about that but but you can do you can do these little pictures on the enamel so what you could do is shape um initials awesome. and then put it on a flat ring and actually put the initials and fill them in so with enamel cool. so different you, you nobody else is going to have them and again i remember the launch of f color and yeah. how popular it was you know it was it was when we were in ivy house you know yeah. and um every single adam didn't you come on air and do it on air yes uh, we all had a go, didn't we, on air at the F colour? Of the F colour. Yeah, it was so good. It was so good. It, we it, were like, oh my... It's one of those things that sparks everyone's imagination, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> you know, if you look at those squiggle earrings, yeah. if you do them in stages and make sure you don't... Bis there's no reason why you can't have enamel on the inside of those scrolls. Oh, nice. You know, you can really go to town and make really unusual, <laughs> unique jewellery. And it's amazing. So Beautiful. you have, have, an, have a fantastic time. That and that you could do a stallful um, an absolute stallful Dan, can you pass me those items over it's thank amazing you. um it's, yeah because i haven't to actually see. shown the f colors so should i quickly show those oh the um the uh, yeah oh you've got some sieves there fantastic there you go so you get all of these yeah f colors <clears throat> make sure <coughs> so those are your 10 colors <coughs> excuse me and you can blend colors yeah of course yeah. so you can blend colors to get different colors or you can blend colors um so like that sorry that was me uh, like that is the blues are swirled the you know they're mixed in all over but you can you can blend colors absolutely 
So these you can make virtually anything out of. Then you've got the sieves, right. One thing quite important about the sieves. The sieves are great. Um, I would get, how many do you get? Two sieves? Yes. Is it two sieves you yeah, get? Yeah, two sieves. Right, I, w I personally would buy five packs. And ah, then you've got okay. a sieve for each colour. Yeah. Because once you've used them, they kind of get tainted by the colour. So yeah. if I fill that, so it kind of gets tainted. The okay. one thing you want to remember, which I didn't, which is why this is in a, a bag, is change the sieve back for its proper lid. Otherwise, it all comes out. Oh, of course. So hence, this is in the bag and everything got covered in green. So yeah, the sieves are great. So it, 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 it mod it's like a sifter, like well, a, I guess I guess a flour sifter or a sugar sifter. Even distribution. Totally, totally. Yes. Um, amazing. Alison, love that. Love it. Absolutely love that. Now, we also have, um, okay, well done. Make sure no. you're checking out on those jewellery makers. Incredible. Now, you've got that beautiful Guatemalan um, <coughs> set I'm going to describe them as. These um, are great, aren't they? Stunning, absolutely stunning. That's coming your way, jewellery makers, just to give you a heads up within um, this hour. But before we do... I'm going to bring you an opportunity on the um, Magic Alhambra <gasps> inspired piece. So remember, you've got the classic and then you've got the magic, which has got a mixture of your beautiful motifs. Um, again, was introduced by the Maison that is Van Cleef and Arpel some decades ago and still com is as popular as it's ever been. This is in silver jewellery makers. So all you need to do is to add it to a, uh, to a class. Make sure you're ready to check out your baskets because I know I haven't got many of these available. And we've also got your deal of the day, few moments away, jewellery makers coming up. If you love Van Cleef and Arpels, but maybe don't have the Van Cleef and Arpels budget, then this next opportunity is just for you. As I said, you know, I don't think there's a single jewellery house anywhere around the world that hasn't been inspired by Van Cleef and Arpels. This iconic design has celebrated a huge milestone birthday uh, recently and it doesn't seem to show any sign of slowing down. Um, in fact, so much so, the popularity of the Alhambra necklace bracelet ring earrings you can get the whole suite um is that the the, the actual jewelers van cleef and arpels actually introduced a new collection so you have your classic alhambra which is all about the four leaf clover design and i can show you that this is um a beautiful piece i think on their website um that with mother of pearl and you can see it there brings good fortune in many forms inspired by the oh inspired by the four leaf clover the uh um the Alhambra Palace in Spain, the iconic Van Cleef and Arpels Alhambra features one of the house's design pillars. Um, and again, photographs within their, uh, within their actual Van Cleef and Arpel shops. Um, beautiful, but as you can see, 50 years young. It's actually older than that in actual fact. It's older than that, so this is a, uh, it, it was created, created in 2006. Uh, Van Cleef and Arpel's Magic Alhambra. Now that's the magic, not the classic. The classic Alhambra dates way, way, way back. Um, creation gathering different sized Alhambra motifs coming together in a joyful dance. Inspired by the clover leaf, their asymmetric designs feature different associations of materials. So the first piece that we showed you, um, that, was, that was actually the magic Alhambra. If you remember going way back to when we first introduced Van Cleef and Arpel's idea, it was all about the long line necklace and they were all symmetrical in terms of their size and gemstone so they didn't mix them up the magic alhambra was bringing sort of a, that playful dance that that article just uh, spoke about so you can see there they're kind of asymmetric there but they also mix up the gemstones as well um, so this one uh, it says that one that was just a previous you had uh the, thank you the mother of pearl and you've also got the chalcedony in there so they've mixed those up too 
but again goes back many 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 years um the value de a value dear to the maison luck has been a perennial guiding light for van cleef and arpels inspiring some of its most iconic creations four leaf clover motifs first appeared in the maison's archives as early as 1920s embellishing select creations over the years alongside other symbols of good fortune including wooden talismans charms and benevolent fairies jack sarpel's nephew of the founding couple an avid collector would often pick four leaf clovers in the backyard offering them to his employees as a good luck charm so we're going back to literally a hundred years over a hundred years um, that we've actually had the Alhambra inspiration so to be lucky you must believe in luck Jack Sarpel nephew of Estelle Arpels like to say um, as I said earlier on he used to pick the four leaf clovers in the, his backyard We're going to flick forward a little bit because right the way through, historically, there's one of the first sketches um, of the four-leaf clover. There, this is important. So over the years, the Alhambra collection has introduced new aesthetics to its offering, each providing an imaginative interpretation of the iconic motif so dear to Van Cleef and Arpels. Vintage Alhambra pieces, which reflect the collection's original aesthetic, are complemented by elegant variation of motifs, symbols, colours and sizes. So they're all the same. And you can see that the vintage faithful to the Alhambra long line necklace created in 1968. Vintage Alhambra pieces stand out for their eminently recognizable style, identical in size. Each motif is edged with golden beads and are set with a natural and refined material. But the magic Alhambra, which is a bit like what I'm about to show you, boldly asymmetrical uh, magic Alhambra creations features harmonious combinations of shapes and materials from carnelian to tiger's eye, white and gray mother of pearl, white gold and diamonds the motifs are interpreted in a playful variety of sizes <laughs> so Laura if you flick forward on this PowerPoint there is a, a piece that I found I think it was on first dibs there we go um, that sold at auction this is a Van Cleef and Arpels necklace um, they've missed out the word magic because that has the mixture of the motifs um, but you can see there the price the estimate between eight grand and twelve grand sold for £13,750. It's a mixture of all the gemstones and all the different shapes. Um, so, and that was the inspiration of making this strand. Now, we also, jewellery makers, set it into solid silver. Um, so you have many of the same gemstones that Van Cleef and Arpels use, like malachite, like tiger's eye, um, carnelian, white onyx and black onyx. So, all in one amazing piece now if you wanted to create that necklace all you would need to do is maybe put sections of chain which i'm bringing it to you in the next hour um in between now i launched this and it absolutely flew we've probably only got a handful of them left i should imagine within our vault even here at 199 pounds it's a fraction of the price that you would see at van cleef and arpels granted theirs is always in 18 karat gold granted but we're bringing it to you in 925, yeah, making it more accessible to us all. I have just 32 of these left and they are already going on pre-order. If you want to separate them out, you absolutely can. If you want to just literally attach a, 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 a clasp to the end of it, you can do that too. We're at 99 pounds and 99 pence. 30 seconds, I'm gonna take this to a star by price for you, jewelry makers. Um, if you flip forward one more slide, Laura, there you go. Don't worry if you missed out on that one that was sold at auction. First dibs, I've got an, uh, the same necklace, by the way. It'll cost you 17 and a half grand. 17 and a half grand. Again, features many of the gemstones, that, well, pretty much most of the gemstones that we work with as well. Carnelian, the finest malachite, tiger's eye. It's beautiful. They are, they are iconic. And again, you even have the jump rings in between. So all you need to do is just literally attach your chains if you wanted to replicate or be inspired by that design. Now, $49.99 for the Whoa. gram weight of sterling silver alone. That's an absolutely unbelievable price tag. Four grams of solid 925 sterling silver and an absolutely amazing 
detailing, um, uh, detailed gemstone carvings. I mean, all of these shapes are not easy to actually carve. You can see the quality of the gemstones as well as I rock my hand backwards and forwards. Um, well done, Lincolnshire Multi buying. You going for the long line necklace? Suzanne's got four of these. Are you going to go for a long line necklace as well at a fraction of the cost? Um, Elizabeth in West Sussex. Uh, Sussex, well done. I've got Maker there. I've got Lorraine there in Essex as well. Congratulations, everybody. London getting involved. Make sure you're checking out. Again, look, literally if I did this, look how gorgeous that is as a bracelet, which if I know if I went into Van Cleef and Arpels, it's not going to be anywhere near double figures. I don't think you can get a single item in Van Cleef and Arpels for double figures. Um, you could just take one motif if you wanted to. But again, if I love the necklace. So I'm thinking two stroke, two and a half inches of chains in between each and every single one of these motifs. Separate them out and wear that long line. Recreate that beautiful long line Stunning. necklace without paying seventeen and a half thousand pounds. I mean, that's a very Amazing. nice car. Oh Isn't yeah, it? yeah, absolutely. <laughs> a very <laughs> nice, you know. Very nice car for me. Yeah, it, me too. Um, Suzanne says I'm going to have five of those. Jocelyn, well done to you. Audrey, you've got yours. Chris and Somerset, Lorraine, you're there as well. It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. You know, even down to if you look at the Van Cleef piece, you know the leaves aren't actually part of it. They're kind of suspended off the chain itself. Um, so you could do that additional embellishment we have a whole hour one of the first chain hours that i've done <gasps> in years amazing yeah, coming up in the next hour so this will be perfect to go alongside that the final seven opportunities jewelry makers so again make sure you're checking those out it's four grams of solid sterling silver well done well done well done joanne you can do it sharon you can do it chris you can do it Congratulations, but they are getting extremely limited now, so I'll leave that with you. Well done. Okay. We're going to do a sterling silver magnetic clasp to take us to, oh my goodness, not just any. I am so short in these. Are you? I've run out. Um, it will complement... Well, so many. Stardust is one of our, our, our most popular yeah. tech patterns, if you like, patternings. It will work amazing with the deal of the day. Yeah, absolutely. Do you remember when we first introduced magnetic, uh, magnetic clasps? Um, they were just plain and they were wonderful. And it was like, my goodness me, this is, this is genius. This is, thank you, Alison. This is revolutionary. You know, I haven't got to struggle with fiddly clasps now. A magnetic clasp, literally, you hold them in the same vicinity. And they uh, and they and they join um but it doesn't have to be just function does it it can also be incredibly decorative which is what this is about to me so um we started introducing new designs like this the stardust effect which actually almost has like little beaded effects it's it, across the it? so it's not really stardust to me this is more beaded yeah. does that make sense yeah um anyway to lead us into your chain hour I'm going to show you. Maybe you might have customers who prefer <coughs> magnetic class. They are very easy to use, not just in necklaces, but also in bracelets. Perfect. I love them in a bracelet. I love a magnetic in a bracelet because yeah. because the magnets are so great, you can sort of like hover it over and it closes itself. None it's of that, that bracelet dance. Should we do it again? Do you do it? This, if you ever wondered how our colleagues on our sister channel change their, change their jewellery so quickly, I'm letting all of their secrets now, aren't I? It's these. Look. Look at how perfect that is. Now, we should be, should be at 19.99 because the detailing, yeah. the beading that you're getting on the surface, all that gram weight, plus the precious metal, the gold plated on top of the silver. Um, but last the stock opportunities. It is, I think, you know, so if, if you make jewellery, if you gift jewellery, if you sell jewellery, a magnetic clasp is a, is a new-ish introduction, mm -hmm. if you like, to your uh, um, portfolio, I suppose, yeah. if you do commissions. Yes. You can say, okay, I can put a bolt ring clasp on there. I can put a lobster claw clasp on there. Or I can, if you like, I can upgrade it to a magnetic clasp and you can show them. And how many people, because you don't see them on many jewellers. No. Um, we'll go, oh my goodness me, that's amazing. I know. I mean, my mum has arthritis, so she struggles with class. Yep. So I'm slowly changing all of hers over. These are brilliant for it. They are great. 
Um, I much prefer them. If I make a bracelet, I will find, I will try and find a magnetic clasp Absolutely. for me. When I used to sell, I would always have a selection of magnetic clasps with me mm -hmm. because, you, and that's why I very rarely will crimp straight onto a clasp. Yeah, because you can't swap it. No. So if someone comes to me and they say, "Oh, I really like it, but I'm going to struggle with that clasp," I can then say, "Well, I've if, got you'd like it, clasp if you'd like it, um, here's a magnetic clasp. If you want to buy it." Um, and then Charge buy the it and, I'll, 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 and for an extra whatever, I'll, I'll swap it, it over like for you. looks like a little acorn, doesn't it? Beautiful. Yeah. You can add charms to that as well. Oh, yeah. Um, we're at £10.99 pence only, jewellery makers, for a beautiful magnetic clasp. Again, super. Um, it's another offering of clasps. Yeah. There's many different varieties. And I do get, obviously, if you wear a pacemaker, you need to avoid magnetic clasps, obviously. But they are revolutionary. Yeah. And all of a sudden, there's pieces of jewellery in my jewellery box that do see the light of day because they've got a magnetic clasp on now. Totally, totally. Yeah. Whereas, well, it, you know, time as well. Yeah. How many how many of us have wanted to wear a piece of jewellery, not had a chance, it. not been able to put it on in time, so then it just goes back in the jewellery box yeah. And you don't get to wear it. So, um, yeah, super, super, super quick. Literally throw it on and away you go. Yeah, and the magnets are lovely and strong as well. So they yes. will always uh, find one another. Well done. Yeah, don't try and pull them apart. Either slide or put your nail yeah. in between. Yeah, that's what I so do. Break, I literally break do the, Break that. the Push. magnet. Yeah. That's what I if do. You... Push it that way. Because otherwise you, you're trying to stretch it and invariably you're stressing your, your, your necklace. Do it that way. Yeah. So to push it apart effectively. Amazing. Genius. Now, congratulations, everybody. Do stay where you are. Coming up, though. <gasps> I'm so smitten with this necklace. It's absolutely... I don't want to call it a chain because it's a necklace, isn't it? It is. It Beautiful. screams. We've gone from Van Cleef and Arpels. And I think we're going to take a, um, a walk in the other big powerhouse jewellery brand that is Cartier. I mean, look at that. With the combination, stunning. those trilogy of colours, from your rose gold to your white to your yellow, to create this is not an easy task. No. This is one of the most complex necklaces that we've actually brought you, because obviously, if you think about it, how do you do the yellow gold mm -hmm. and the rose gold plating um, without them all sort of mixing Blending together? In, yeah. So this is coming your way, jewellery makers, an absolutely <coughs> stunning necklace. And that leads us then into a whole hour of beautiful precious metal chains. I can't remember the last time we brought you a chain out. Um, it's coming your way after this. <laughs> Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Kershaw, I'm back with you on Saturday the 8th of June with honestly the most amazing show. In the 9am we have got Ruby, Emerald and Sapphire rondelles and I'm going to be showing you different ways that you can use these in your jewellery designs. Um, so far I've made some earrings and I've actually used some wire work techniques um, to just weave those little rondelles in and around so I really enjoy doing that so I'm going to be sharing that with you. Now in the 12 o'clock, whoa! We have got peacock pearls together with a peacock and a peacock tassel cap. I mean, just stunning. Peacocks have been depicted in art 
for just years and years and years and they're just beautiful there's so much symbolism so I'm going to be working with these in the 12 o'clock so I hope you can join myself and the team at Jewelry Maker on the 8th see you then Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hi Jewelry Makers, it's Charlie. I'm back with you on Tuesday the 11th and we've got some fantastic projects in store for you. So at nine o'clock we have the most beautiful multi-wrap bracelets. They come with metre long gemstones and our, uh, sterling silver buttons. They're really cute, you're gonna love them. And then at 12 o'clock we have one of my best selling items. We have inlays. We have inlay charms, we have inlay rings. You're going to absolutely love it. I can't wait to share that with you. Some nifty little tips and tricks in there that anyone can do. Uh, so I hope you can join me. I'd love to see you there. Can't wait to be back. See ya. jewelry makers this necklace and it is a necklace isn't it it's so much more than just a chain the detail that if you could imagine like lots of circular mirrors beautifully soldered together in the most amazing arrangement and that's why you get this beautiful performance of luster but even beyond that you've actually got the trilogy of colors as well which just screams cartier trinity collection now, much like the Alhambra is to Van Cleef and Arpels, or the Panther is, um, again, another one of Cartier's greatest successes, the Trinity collection has always been uh, very much one of the heartbeat collections that Cartier have embraced. But let's talk about the history of it. Because again, Cartier is probably one of the biggest names in the jewellery world. Um, and I can show you on their own website right now this article, a brief history about it. At a, a retrospective glance, uh, one of the jewelry world's most iconic designs. In 1924, the legendary French jewelry Maison unveiled a creation that revolutionized the conventions of the craft, the Trinity Ring. Composed of three intertwined bands of platinum, yellow gold and rose gold, broke away from Cartier's traditional focus on precious stone. The design, simplicity, belly... Is that bellied? Can't see. Sorry, I can't see from there. Sorry, belied its symbolic strength. Thanks. Um, symbolic strength of each band representing profound bonds of friendship, fidelity and love a trinity of values that resonates deeply even 100 years later. In the decades that followed, the Cartier Trinity style transcended its origins as a singular ring that became a true cultural phenomenon, inspiring entire collections of necklaces, bracelets and earrings. An immediate sensation in the Parisian uh, artistic scene, French poet and playwright Jean Cocteau, yeah, Cocteau, uh, became one of the ring's most uh, greatest ambassadors from the Hollywood elite and the international jet set. The design became a coveted accessory and su a subtle yet powerful statement of one's affiliation with the cultural um, vanguard. Here is it, like 100 years 
a hundred years that popularity and it's not necessarily a gemstone it's not even a design as such do you see where i'm coming from it's not like a i don't know inspired by the actual panther inspired by a four-leaf clover it is literally a mixture of colors love friendship and fidelity love that i love that too and instead of actually using, you know, fast forward almost a century on, now instead of using different metals, lots of other jewellery houses like ourselves right now are actually plating other precious yeah. metals to bring you that trin trinity design. This is stunning. But take a closer look to this as well, jewellery makers, because then you fully appreciate the complexity of a necklace like this. You know, to link two chains together like that is not so hard, is it? This is a nice... I'm, not to sound derogatory, it's still soldering two links together, but it's not as complex. When you look up close to something like this and you imagine that every single little pop of luster that catches the light is actually like a circular mirror. Um, and they're beautifully soldered together. Can you see that? Beautifully mm. soldered together, together to give you that amazing texture. Because the Takalis are also, it's not... A, a straightforward just it's not a round in a round is no. it it's it's a it's a more complex chain well, anyway it's, a, it's an italian design mm. and italian the italians are world famous for producing some of the most beautiful yes. chains and jewelry actually um 1990 as the 20th century drew to a close cartier cemented trinity's status as an iconic collection by officially adopting the name trinity for the three band three gold ring design this formal designation um, was a testament to the lasting impact and recognition the design had achieved over the decades 1990 yeah I modern. love it. Very modern. Very you know? modern. Very, very modern. And still to this day, I mean, I used to, um, the jewellers that I worked at used to sell mm. Cartier jewellery. Um, and you'd be flabbergasted at the prices of pieces wow. like that. Um, still to this day, you could walk into Cartier's and buy that ring. Yeah. It hasn't changed. It really hasn't changed. But it's a classic, isn't it? Yeah. It, it is a classic design. But, but I find it amazing that such a classic design... But recently, it seems to have exploded yeah. into everything else. Like the Alhambra. Yeah. You know, yeah. the Alhambra dates Dates back years. almost a, uh, yeah, years and years and years. But again, it's in the limelight yeah. once again. Now, this is uh, um, 16 inches. Nice. Nice length. It's going to sit, just, it does depend on your build, obviously, but it's going to sit just below the nape of the neckline. So it's a lovely length to actually wear. You could very easily add maybe your early bird that you had a few moments ago on there. But for mm. me, it's a finished necklace in its own individual right. And to actually achieve not just the Takali detail, but to actually have the yellow gold, silver, rose gold. Yellow gold, rose gold, uh, silver. Yeah, um, in no that. particular order. Now, this is your deal of the day and it kind of introduces what is going to be a mini chain hour. I actually asked the buying team not so long ago, I was like, okay, can we do a chain hour? It's been years. Yes, since we've has. had a chain hour. Do you remember I used to be surrounded by yes. busts? Yeah. Jewelry busts and there'd be different lengths of chains. I can't, we can't physically do that at the moment. It's really difficult. Our sister channels having the same issues. Um, sourcing chains. Do you have them on, on gems very often? No. Really hard to get chains. They're so in demand right now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay. That's Stunning, Look at your start price, jewelry makers. This is not just a what? generic curve chain. We are going to put a minute on the clock. Wow. That's a start price. That's your start price. Wow. We've got over 200 of these available. I want to get one of these for the girls. Not so oh, much Tiggy. She's beautiful. only three, but Willow would love this. It's her birthday next month. Oh. And oh. Look at that. So pretty. It's gorgeous. It is. And it's so... Um, I mean, my niece is... She's 5'11 and a three quarters. She's not six foot. Okay. Me. But she loves delicate jewellery. I mean, she's she's slender. She's beautiful. Um, but she loves that. That's going to look amazing on yeah, her. Yeah, Her birthday's in July, actually. There you go. Mm. Perfect gift. Yeah. Well, straight away, this speaks volumes, doesn't it? And thank you for the trust. Dorset's got four. Essex has got two. Wiltshire's got three. Wrexham's got three. Wow. Karen in five's off to six. I don't blame I don't blame people. I mean I, I I'm stacking up. 
I'm stuck at stashing up because I've I've gone through my stash of chains because because we haven't done many. No, well we've not. We literally cannot buy them at yeah. the moment. They're so difficult to get hold of. But that, look at that, gorgeous. Oh, it's like it's diamond encrusted, isn't it? Do you know what I'm thinking? I'm very tempted because I have got some extender chains. Uh huh. And I'm thinking, if I multi-buy and do them at three different lengths and have a triple layer of that, Lovely. that would look incredible, wouldn't it? Also, you could solder them together if you wanted to go long line. Oh, yeah. Because it's to oh, yeah, you're yeah, not yeah, really you going to see it, are you? you? Um, hi, Jill. I have similar chains from Jewelry Maker from years ago, and it's the prettiest chain I have. Just gorgeous. It is. Yeah, it's light stunning. performing. The Takali chain should command one of the highest prices, I should say, Jewelry Makers. You've got a big investment of sterling silver. We're at $12.99. But this is your deal of the day. Can I also just point out something? Not to be derogatory to Cartier. I love Cartier. I think they're absolutely inspiring. But you know that um, oh, Trinity stunning. necklace that I can see before me yeah. at Selfridges right now? So we could all go, we could take a trip to Selfridges, jewellery makers. We could go and say, hi, hi, hi Cartier, I'd li I like that necklace. It's pretty simple, isn't it, to be yeah. honest? But can I just say, their chain, I'm a bit underwhelmed by that chain. For £1,600, I'm a little bit underwhelmed. Well, it's it's three jump rings and a chain. Yeah. For £1,600. Yeah. Wow. We want to take this lower, jewellery makers, for your beautiful Takali three-tone precious metal necklace. We are going to go lower. We had over 200 Look at the quantity, though. Yeah. Look at the quantity. We're rapidly approaching 25% of the stock being gone already. And we're not even at your closing price yet. Look at that. That's stunning. It, it, it is. From over at this side of the studio, the sparkle in that yeah. chain is incredible. And the subtle change. You know I love my change of colours. That is just beautiful. Well, it, it can bring other colours together as well, yeah. can't you? I'm a yellow gold wearer, but on occasions yeah. I want to wear, wear silver. Yeah. So by w wearing this you can bring it together yeah we've squeezed it under 10 pounds i can't emphasize enough what? that this should not be an under 10 pound necklace it is the takali which means a lot more intricacy <gasps> it's like literally oh harve setting but instead of it being your diamonds it being yeah. be, being almost like little mirrors of beautiful precious metal straight beautiful. away collectors are stocking up their stashes yeah. i knew this would be the case because obviously we haven't had chains in such a long time hiya janice saying alison would you go um a, how sorry how would you go about joining these chains together oh to make a longer one do you mean a longer one or a multi-row janice what so so it, it kind of depends if i was doing a multi-row i'd probably attach them like the I, ring, I, 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 yeah i'd attach them to a jump ring you go um, well, they have a jump ring on the end <clears throat> if if i was um trying to attach two together to make a longer to make a 32 inch necklace yep then you could if you don't want to damage it then you could just do your claw on one to the Into to the, the other, ring of yeah. the other and actually just have the two yeah whether you take it down to the bottom and have if you take the claw off and just leave the two jump rings mm -hmm. then you could attach that like cartier's just put your three well, your mobius ring yeah make <gasps> your mobius ring so yes so, you so could you'd have, have one connected. one side yeah and one the other side and that uh, the, the jump rings go through onto be it a pendant be it a, be it, you know so it, it you can double it up quite easily if yeah. you've got something attached to it if not i would i would certainly look at soldering it like you suggested yeah i would i would solder this yeah because you're not going to see it as long as you're no. really careful not to not to yeah. over solder yeah um yeah, you don't want a big lump no no absolutely Less is more now Laura but, but they're multi 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 buying they're not like two do you know what oh Laura love you darling <laughs> keep coming back <laughs> I know it's only June put these away for Christmas because oh, it's totally. highly unlikely that we're gonna have to Carly chains this side of Christmas you want one you should uh, it would suit you I can I can totally see you wearing one of these mm. Is there anything more stylish, though, than just a simple chain no, like this? just looks amazing. You know, if we're coming up to the summer. If you go on holiday, if you pick up a bit of a tan, that's yeah. going to look sensational. Gorgeous. It's going to go with every colour tone. It's going to go, you know, 
male and oh my gosh the sparkle on that l i'm i'm, I'm as you move it i know it's gorgeous i need to get some of these as well laura <gasps> that's oh oh the, what's that you can connect two together you could i can't read sorry you you could connect two together with a pretty citrine on yeah. either side lovely nice. jill nice stunning i can see it now on the big screen um amazing yeah look at that keep on dialing through rapidly approaching half the stock being allocated um another idea from donna in command show you could use a slider bracelet to make yes. it longer yeah great nice idea, idea. Oh, i yeah, like that because then it's extendable isn't it yes, donna i like that i'm definitely getting a few of these because i think they're gorgeous little gifts as well you could twist absolutely you could plait with them as oh, well you could them do and they'd look a amazing. bit like the trilogy uh, the trinity design yeah. you're keep creating your own only better only better isle of man teresa look at you all there noala wow. and lynn loads of multi buyers who disappear off the bottom of the screen we're rapidly approaching four full rows of names i don't know if laura's keeping up in terms of quantity oh it's bang on she says i'll have you, you know fast finger there. i'll have you know i am bang on <clears throat> <laughs> my friend's daughter's getting married yeah. <clears throat> um well, they've just got engaged. She's going to a, a wedding fair. Now, I can, you know, bridesmaids' presents. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine. They're not going to think you've spent eight ninety nine oh, on that. Oh my goodness me! No Good way. Grief. You know. No way. I've seen favors that cost more than that. One hundred percent. Do you know what I got? I've yeah. got because June is an expensive month for me. Oh, is it? I've got Tom's birthday. Right. Well, June, July, Tom's birthday, Father's Day, my mum's birthday my best friend's birthday i've got a christening <gasps> coming up as well and then i've got willow's birthday all in the month of june and july oh, oh my sister-in-law's birthday so i've got a lot of gifts to buy yeah. in june and july those i can see tom rocking that maybe not tom might <laughs> not go around his neck <laughs> but definitely for the gorgeous ladies oh, that totally. i know amazing now I can see Keep Willow on dialing through. That. Yeah, Willow would love that. I'm going to get yeah. one for Willow. But my point of me saying that is I bought some little sweet gummies yesterday that were more than what's on your screen. I know. That's crazy, isn't yeah. it? Some little squishmallow gummies. Um, well done. Karen's just got 12 of them. Congratulations. The computer's that having a funny amazing. five minutes. I'm not surprised. I could just hear bring, 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 bring. Is that every time someone buys? It's like music in there. Lovely. See, why wouldn't you get six at that price? Twelve. Twelve. Oh, we got. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, Karen's got twelve. Oh, well done. Is that Karen in five? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you started, so she's doubled hers. Wow. Now, we are going to continue with your chains. Stock up because it's been ages since we've done a chain hour. But we also have that beautiful Olmec. They're four earrings, but you could do whichever. Oh yes, that's coming your way. You see, you could way. use those to connect two together. You could. <gasps> that would look lovely. That would be amazing. So we've got I this coming those. up. We've also got the most amazing <gasps> Tahitian pearl. And you've got something on there that I've bought. We've I've, also I've got, got two of those. Oh, I should... The illusion <clears throat> landscape. I've one of those. Which is crazy. This that is one of the is, newest techniques of carving. That's the best one we've ever done. Look I agree. at the depth of field you're getting from that. It's amazing. And I love that. You've oh, got your shades of grey, type A black jade I high goo. All that's of these coming life. up as well, Jory Makers. And don't forget also your amazing pearls that are coming up in the next hour. Should we go chain crazy? Yes. Yes. Definitely. Twisted knot. I know Ooh. it. I think I've got it. This, again, first thing that strikes me, it's really heavy. Mm. This is a lovely heavyweight chain. I thought so. Six <gasps> grams. Wow. And again, very Cartier. Love, again, the twisted, yeah, circle. It's basically Mobius, Mobius isn't ring. it? We yeah, know yeah. that. It's a Mobius Souls ring. Mobius. Yeah. Uh, hello, Neil and Linda. Um, you can use one of the two-tone connectors with the white topaz on yesterday. There you go. Oh, Neil, I Perfect. missed those as well. I know, I know. Rude. <laughs> I was trying to catch up with everything yesterday, so I, I didn't really get much of a chance to tune in. So I did miss a lot. Um, six grams, 18 inches. Again, so this is, there's a big investment to this wow. too. Wow. And being, being uh, the talented jewelry makers that you are, you could add charms onto this yeah. if you wanted to. Oh, that'd be nice. 
Very nice. Very. Oh, I'm saying Cartier, but it's also quite Gucci because the stirrups. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Gucci use stirrups quite a lot, don't they, in their jewellery design? I think it's a little bit like that too. 31 of these available jewellery makers, and I can tell you, Natalie wants four. Janice has just got two. Six grams? Six grams of silver. You know, even if you, if you said you're going to cut those into sections and make pairs of earrings. Yeah. yeah I mean, that's how to maximise your return on investment because you're going to sell one of those pairs of earrings for 14 99 at least, aren't you? Well, I just think how much it's going to cost to make this piece of jewellery. Oh, totally. You know, you've got to buy the wire. Yeah. You've got to texture it. You've got to put all the jump rings in. You've got to yeah. twist each of those as well. You've got to solder it. £14.99. Oh. Stay where you are on those phone lines, everybody. Well done. Next is a Ooh. set of three. Oh, go to Stan. Please, can I have um, <laughs> a tall one? A selection of bus busts. Goodness me! Wow. Ideally with ideally with a bit of elastic at the back because um, these. <gasps> I love that. Oh my goodness! So this what? 20 inches, which is my favourite length of chain. Oh. Yeah, I like a 20 inch chain. Look at that one. Look at that. That is incredible. There's a huge gram weight in this as yeah. well. Yeah. Huge gram weight. So you get one, two, 18 grams of silver and 20 inches on each chain. Two. One of the most popular designs at the moment is the paper clip. Three. <laughs> yeah, you are just... <laughs> Adam's like, what are you doing, Elle? <laughs> Sorry, can't really see him there. Okay, let's just go with Adam's recording. <laughs> sound, like, sound like the puppet from, from Sesame Street. One. Oh, the count. <laughs> okay, so you get all three, <clears throat> 20 inches, Forty-nine pounds and ninety. Do you know what, Dan? They're going to be sold out by the time. Sorry, lovely. <laughs> That's what sixteen pounds sixty-six pence per chain. Wow. These are big. There's about six grams in each chain. Oh this one's probably gosh. the heaviest. This one, yeah. yeah there's, you can see there's a big investment of sterling gorgeous. silver into these as well. Um, the final 12 jewellery makers, well done. You don't have to be a silversmith with these because obviously you've got a very open link. Uh, lovely open ring links. You could use your wire with it. You can mm -hmm. use jump rings with these as well. Um, just open and close those. Super, super, super simple. Look amazing. Um, yeah, it look gorgeous. Absolutely look gorgeous. Stunning layered. If you're going to go for a, uh, for a, 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 a really expensive look, then, then put them all three together. Yeah. <gasps> love it okay where have these been next i've missed these well we've bought them probably but they've not been on air okay so hang on one i mean this is this is what you would see <laughs> <laughs> sorry adam wow that's a long chain so long that i can't actually fit it on the bust Three grams of silver. That's I'm going to have to scooch that one back a bit. There you go. How stunning are they? Oh, these are like hen's teeth. Yeah, yeah. Longer length chains like this. Um, so you're getting a diamond cut chain, which, well, they're both diamond cut, aren't they? And one spring lock. Is that, have I got the right ones there? Yeah. 30 yeah, inches. So that's a really no. nice length again, so it's just around bus line. Yeah, the one. Um, yeah, pardon? You're just getting the, the 30 inch, aren't you? Sorry, this one, yeah. and then we've got this one coming up. Was I being confusing? So this one's coming your way. Sorry. So your 30 inch chain, amazing with jewellery makers. You know those pearls that are coming up in oh, the 11 o'clock hour? Yes. Because for me, when I wear pearls like that, I want to be able to see them too. Yeah. So on a long line necklace, um, gorgeous, but rare to get 30 inch chains. And again, great if you've got arthritis because it's just over the head. Yeah, you don't need to bother with nope. the clasp itself. Now, the lowest that we have ever brought this to air and closed it at is $17.99, which is insane. It, it is you know, insane. You could go to Beaver Brooks, Ernest Jones. You could go to um, 
Heinz Jewelers, Google's. Samuels. Samuels. There's no way. These are just your generic high street jewelers. There's no way that you're going to find a 30 inch solid diamond no. cut sterling silver chain for 17.99. But today <laughs> we've got 50 or had. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence only. It is literally over the top of the head with a thirty inch chain. Yeah. You don't even need to undo it. So that's another reason why I love them. With your early bird that you got this morning, jewelry makers, you could super simple actually attach that to it. But definitely with your lovely pearls that are coming your way. Hello, Conway, Bernadette, Hillary, West Midlands. Hello to you, Denise, Karen, Christina, Irene, Martin, Cheshire. Hello to you, Flincher, Cheshire, Ooh. another Cheshire. Make sure you're checking out Martin. chain hours are. Well, when was the last time you saw one? No, we haven't. It's so difficult to buy. I don't know. Probably the cost of silver, I'd imagine, and all your precious metals. And we want to do fantastic deals like this. Of course. So if, if it doesn't seem like... Because you've got to remember, and, and this is something that we uh, um, come up against quite a lot here at Jewelry Maker, our buying team certainly do. If we've got our price in our head, we're kind of... You know, we get stuck into that routine. Okay, a chain should be this much. Mm -hmm. Chain should be that much. The bullion market <laughs> is going up and up and up and up and up and up and up. Price of silver, gold, platinums, all of those have never been more expensive. Um, so that's why. That's why you're not seeing them. So make sure you're checking out your baskets. Make sure you're stocking up your stashes because we don't get them very often, jewelry makers. The final 16 and 30 oh. inches in between, in particular, is it's a rarity in a length of chain. We rarely get that. Um, I, I, look, I think they're very slimming as well. Long, yes, long chains. it does. It elongates you. Yeah. And if you've got a big pendant, yeah, you don't want. Um, you know, I this know. is a great chain for that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. <clears throat> Hello, Caroline. Oh. Bought this uh, before buying several as I wear mine around my waist. There you go. My you days have, have gone. You have a tiny waist, then, Caroline. My my days of that are long gone. <laughs> tiny, tiny, tiny waist. Maybe my thigh. I, I was just <laughs> thinking that. Go away. Um, <laughs> hello, Dagmar. Hello to you, Natalie, getting four. And June, multi buying, Isle of Man, Staffordshire, wow. Christine, uh, Nina, Linda. Well done, everybody. You could multi wrap multi -wrap. it around your wrist. Yeah, love that. Beautiful. Well done. Okay. I've got one more chain deal to bring you. And then we're going to go to your lovely old necks. This one has these gorgeous little, can you see? Yeah. They say square, but they are much more... Rounded squares. Yeah, they are rounded squares. Can you see that? Oh, you can definitely see the square, though. So it's giving me El... a space. Yeah. Giving me Elsa Peretti vibes, you know, the diamonds by the yard. Give me those kind of vibes. Where instead of actually having what is normally just a tiny little diamond and paying thousands of pounds. Instead, you've got the pop of luster in the precious metal. Again, very, very elegant. Um, 9 99 that's amazing. And a lot of these, where we've got different lengths of chains, layer them up, layer them up. Yeah, and look well, it's, all, it's one of the hottest trends, <coughs> isn't it? Yeah, totally. Um, okay. Again, I'm gonna ask the question, think about a jewelers local, local to you. Right doesn't have to be most expensive jewellers, but a local ju uh, jeweller to you. Could you walk through that door and say, hi, I'd like a solid 925 sterling silver, 18 inch chain, but I don't want it to be just your generic one. Yeah. I want it to be, um, you know, have some lovely details in there. Some I've got silver. eight quid. Yeah. Can I, they'd be like, no. Don't, don't let the door hit you on the way out. No, Bye. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not going to be possible. You know, even costume jewellery. I went, mm -hmm. uh, um, I was online shopping, as you can imagine, when you're feeling poorly, you do a lot of that. I was online shopping. And again, costume jewellery is nowhere near $7.99. Amazing. I bought some little lip, lip glosses. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I bought some little lip glosses for Willow. Um, Okay, this is all pop for a birthday. Um, for a, uh, and that was more than what's on your screen. I know. Lip gloss. Crazy. Yeah. Um, hello, Miss Janet saying, I have Aww. this chain too. The extra sparkle is brilliant. Not flashy, uh, but very wearable. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, definitely. That's, well, don't you think that's what Elsa Peretti is about, though? She's yeah. about that understated glamour. You know, not too flashy, not too in your face. Mm. Amazing. Well done, everybody. Again, make sure you're checking out Valerie, Ruth, Cheshire, Linda, Five, Conwy, Carol, Denise, Angela, County Antrim, Marion. Make sure you're checking out. Well done. Um, okay. 
Oh yes. This is gorgeous. And and again, remember in the world of in the world of diamonds, it's the four C's, isn't it? It's carrot weight, color, clarity, and cut. In the world of jade, whether that's Burmese, whether that's Olmec, whether that's uh, Kotan, whatever the location, it's not the four C's. It's actually translucency and color. I don't hesitate saying this. The next piece, this next star by, is without doubt the finest translucency I have seen in this gemstone. Up next. Okay. So that's something to be really mindful of, jewelry makers. It's translucency and it's color. Translucency first. So in the world of jade, they often liken the translucency to water. So you can have ice, water, yeah. um, snow. So it's about the consistency of. Now, the more icy, the more translucent your jade actually becomes. But again, I am very much learning this alongside with you. Um, you know, our introductions of jade have only really been for the past significantly and certainly of this quality, maybe over the past three, four years. But there's individuals that we have become friends with and have relationships with um, um, through the love, the love of jade, like Stanley Chu. Uh, now, Stanley has his family are one of the most respected jade uh, or they used to be wholesalers mm. um, prior to the pandemic. However, obviously the pandemic did happen and obviously then the Burmese mine closed. So instead of actually, I'm recognizing, okay, this is, a, this is a situation for us. Instead of us actually being a wholesaler and not be able to replace what we have, let's open our own high-end jade jewelers. So that's exactly what they did. Um, but Stanley, again, who has very much educated us all, spoke about, we asked him about the Guatemalan location and the quality of the jade coming from that mine. And he says, the Olmec or Guatemalan jade making its way into China now is top Burma grade and is beginning to be priced as such. There is no difference anymore in the eyes of the market. Top jade is top jade. This material is the best investment because it is still trading below that of Imperial, but it won't for long. Um, a lot of Chinese jade miners are now mining in Central America. This has the greatest potential um, of all jade currently. And his words are, the future is Guatemala. The acceptance is now certified here in Asia as it is also listed as Fei Chi, um, which was historically reserved exclusively only for Burmese jade. Again, Fei oh. Chi is the ultra translucent variety. I want to show you this piece because it's a necklace that we've had on air and we showed it to Stanley um, and said, okay, what's your feelings of this quality? Because, you know, because like I said, we're learning as well. And he said a piece like this would be priced at the top end of a necklace value, top translucency, pollen inclusions, coveted cover, color um, and glassy texture. It's an exquisite piece. Such a piece in Hong Kong would be appointment only. The problem is very few like this reach the market, too many fault lines and so are very expensive. So that's the translucency. And I have to say it again, jewelry makers, that tra I mean, that's amazing, that mm. necklace. I remember it. It was one of the first that we actually launched. However, I think this translucency actually surpasses it. Um, I've not seen this piece before. It's connected together by elastic. Yeah. Just obviously to transport, to transport it to you. It. So what you can do... So basically, if you cut that elastic you've basically got four pieces does yeah. that make sense so they can either be a pair of earrings yeah they could be a necklace they could be whatever but going back to what i was just saying look at the fine translucency remember top quality jade should look like a melting ice cube mm -hmm. that's how glossy the exterior should be that indicates a very fine crystal structure i've not seen this before it's absolutely stunning I love it. I'd, I'd go from the um, hoop through the through the little column yeah. onto an earring finding yeah. and have two hoop earrings. Lovely. But going back to the chain and that lady's suggestion, 
I'd go chain. So I'd, I'd put my, I'd, I'd go the same. I'd have a jump ring, a uh, head pin through the hoop, through the column, mm. put a loop on it through the chain. Yeah. Right. And then do the same the other side. And then I'd put a Mobius ring in the three colours to connect the two chains. Beautiful. So you know the person who was asking how to to put two together. Yeah. I'd have those in the middle with a Mobius with the three coloured Mobius jump ring link in the middle, and that and that all met jade. I wow. think that is that is one exclusive piece of jewellery. Then. Wow. It's amazing. Um, already we've got collectors getting involved now, jewellery makers. Again, this translucency is absolutely unbelievable, and it is type A grade. It's also worth Lovely. me mentioning just quickly, jewellery makers, that the Guatemalan mine is not mining at the moment, and that's because of that Mayan mask that has been yeah. recently discovered by uh, archaeologists. So we don't know when, if, um, obviously, that will start up again, because obviously that's huge historic significance. What? Oh my goodness, I've just looked up and seen twenty nine ninety nine. We are not done, says Laura. Is there a quantity of these? Wow. Okay. You like this this has shocked me now, jewelry makers, and if sure. it shocked me, I'm guessing it shocked you as well. A the fact that we are starting at thirty pounds. But also the fact that I've just heard a quantity of over a hundred, which is clearly yeah. why we're going as low as we are. When when no Guatemalan jade is coming from the ground, all mining has stopped. Now this is is this Jan Dwyer? Hello, gorgeous Jan. Oh, she, this was lovely. This is a spinner ring that yeah. she created. And you've lovely. messaged in, hello, Jan, my lovely. I've bought this. Se I've bought several of these and made a spinner ring with one. Love them. This. Uh, Love it. So Jan, who um, yeah, oh, love Sounds you, Jan. Lot. So who makes amazing pieces of jewellery as well? Mm. You agree, Jan, don't you? The translucency on these are absolutely unbelievable. Totally. I mean, look at that ring. It, it, it's just a stone. So you could sell. You could. You could buy Top two imperial. of those. You are. You are. You are not telling me that you're selling that one piece for for 29.99 i would, I would be hope you're not, you're not selling it for double figures to be yeah, honest yeah yeah i'd say three figures okay jewelry makers 10 carats and that's one that's a quarter of the actual yeah. components that you're getting in 30 seconds we're going to take this to your launch price janice who says i'll get five well mm, done don't blame you. savvy shopping no guatemalan jade is coming from the mine no when we went to hong kong at the beginning of the uh, of the year i say we the team there's no guatemalan jade there there was none so and we do not know when the operation will resume again if to be it, honest yeah because this is a huge, significant discovery, that Maya mask, of a civilization that we know very yeah. little about. And you can understand them wanting to, to protect their heritage and make sure that, you know, everything's right before they continue. I mean, totally understand that. I, I, I find that price really, really ridiculous. Me too. I'm sorry. Jan's there. Well done, yeah, Jan. Jan's there. M multi I don't blame you. What on earth? At 14.99. It's incredible. That, you know, you could have those as four separate connectors, and and use each one in a piece of jewellery, and it's going to look amazing. That's unbelievable, isn't it? it? Totally. Less than three pound per <gasps> piece. Four you, pound, sorry. You know those pearls we had earlier, the oh, triple, yeah. the triple, um, strand. Yeah. I would have one of those in the middle and oh, three amazing. pearls coming off. I love because I love a triple strand choker. Mm. That going round to a clasp on the back use the magnetic clasp we had on just yeah how amazing would that be that is that is a well into the three I, figures that's got to be one of the not only that's got to be one of the best guatemalan jade deals we've done mm. for, like in terms of the price tag but also for some of the best quality yeah i mean jan looking at that piece of jewelry that's like that, that's imperial grade isn't it yeah. if this was burmese you would be, be referring to it's it as burma imperial. and that was stanley's point that was Stanley's point. Top jade is top jade. This yeah. is Fei Chi. It doesn't matter about the country of origin anymore. Guatemalan jade is is accepted as top grade. Um, yeah. Here it is. That's that's what he was saying. There is no difference anymore in the eyes of the market. Top jade is top jade. Yeah. And you can quite clearly see now is the best time to get Guatemalan jade while we have it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hi, Caroline. Bought six last time and making pendant oh. earrings for family. Superb. Well oh, done, Caroline. darling. 
I mean, she's a, 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 a massive jade collector. Jade, jade collector, yeah. Well done. Um, again, look at those uh, multi buyers. Hi, Jan. The quality is second to none. They're beautiful. They yeah. are, aren't they? And Jan's, Jan's very successful at selling her oh, jewellery. Totally, totally. So I bet you, Jan, that piece is going to get snapped up in a heartbeat. Yeah. If it hasn't already. Totally. Well done. Linda's got two. Kent's got two. Irene, Regine, hello to you. Catriona, you've multi bought as well. Uh, Davinia's multi bought. Wendy, Anne, Yorkshire, Hilma's multi bought. Janice is multi bought. Karen, Catherine, Natalie's multi buying. You've disappeared off the screen. Avon, um, Natalie's got five. Yeah, don't blame you. Uh, Kent just snapped At up that three. Price. At that price, you would, though, wouldn't yeah. you? The future is Guatemala. Again, you don't have to take my word for it, but Stanley Chu, you definitely should. Yeah. He knows Jade. You know, his 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 business, Ileana, is there's not a single piece in his jewelers, Ileana, that I could afford. Well done, everybody. Again, make sure you're checking out your baskets. Now, I'm wow. going to bring you a few more chains. And then we're going to close this hour with that illusion <gasps> carving, which is absolutely I amazing. I love that. It's amazing. Okay. Next up. A 30-inch cable chain. Amazing. That's this one. Stock up on these. Yeah. They're as rare as hen's teeth. So, bringing you all the amazing deals here, Jewelry Makers. Classic cable chain, you can't go wrong with it. I love it because a chain like this is, you know, it's happy to be that function to hold the beautiful pendant or, or not. Mm. Um, it's all about simplicity. If you want design, if you want something that's maybe that little bit more flamboyant, then definitely the Takali. But if you're looking for something uh, like a classic chain, then yeah. definitely you can't go wrong with cable. Again, there's a big investment of your sterling silver. I've got just under 50. Oh, that layered. 14.99. Ah, that is that is bonkers. That's going to layer up so beautifully, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Again, I'd multi buy this, and I'd and I'd have this layered. I would one hundred percent with a with a thirty inch chain. I, I I like a big pendant on the bottom yeah. of it. You know, like a big pearl or something or, like that. Or, or the fluorite we had earlier. Oh yeah, with the dragon. That'd yeah, be lovely. that'd be amazing, wouldn't Gorgeous. it? Gorgeous. Um, Caroline's there straight away. Well done to you. Fourteen pounds ninety nine pence. New customers getting involved. You can't go wrong with it. And again, if you know anybody that maybe has uh, um, dexterity yeah. issues, then a thirty inch chain's fantastic because you can literally just pop it over the top of a head without any need yeah, to actually totally. undo the clasp that's there. Um, I'll leave that one with you. Well done. Because up next, I was hoping you were going to say this. <laughs> I think this might be one of my favourites. Oh, uh, there's not many. Because you can wear this. This is multi-wear. You can wear it in two different lengths. So if I hold it oh, that this way. One. I like this. Isn't that nice? Lots of designers now. I don't know if you can. Yeah. Um, lots of designers are wearing the toggle at the front now. Oh, totally. It's beautiful, especially when you've got that extension part, because I would be tempted to put something, uh, to attach something to that. Well, hang on. Something like, like oh, a pearl. just like that. <gasps> a nice pearl oh, on there yes. as well. Yeah, these, by the way, are some of your 11 o'clock heroes. You, could, you can imagine, visualize. Something like that, just imagine. A beautiful. Oh, this is one of my favorite pearls that I've seen fireball for a long pearl time. at the bottom unbelievable um <laughs> these are last of stock though jewelry makers so you do need to be quick on these 14 pounds 99 wow. pence only I'm going to be joining on this stunning <laughs> absolutely stunning there's a big investment of your sterling silver in there as well oh <gasps> wow I know sorry I've just seen uh, the selection of chains that's coming your way stock up your stashes whilst you get the chance um well done well that's done well done this this is like being in a restaurant when people when the waiter fetches the food lauren keeps walking past with all these chains i know and I'm like, oh <laughs> i think I, you know what this is base metal but i don't care it's great isn't it because there's no way on earth if that was gold or silk gold plated silver i'd be able to afford it and you know what miss soma sell base metal yeah yeah oh that looks great who was it who was wearing a, a belt was it miss janice yeah 
<laughs> that, oh, that, that'd make an amazing belt. Look at that! That's stunning. Look at that. That's designer, isn't it? Hundred percent. That's so cool. Um, Mum's swapped a lot of because because she has dexterity issues. Yeah. She likes a bag to go over her head. Yeah. You know, uh, and the shoulder to, to. So she's she's been putting chains onto all of her bags. This would make a great bag chain as well because that's a sturdy chain. That's gorgeous. Yeah, that's great. That's just amazing. Chain. I might get. Can you see the one. textures in here as well? Because it's like these. That's like, you know, do you remember Viking knit? Yeah, yeah, it does well, look like Where you've got Viking the little knit. gems inside. They are, there's little sparkly gems inside there as well. It is like a mesh. So we did, we did, um, we did like mesh you could buy, didn't we? Yeah, Tubes you could stretch it out. That was encrusted. I love That's these. That's lovely. Only 13 available though, jewellery makers. Oh. Again, make sure you are checking out your baskets. You're ah. loving this. Yeah, but look at the price. Of course they're loving yeah, it. Yeah, and like I said, if, if it's okay for if it's okay for Monica Veneda and it's okay for <laughs> for, for for Miss Oma, who, by the way, just talk about, they go, oh, gold-plated. They don't say it's gold-plated ba the... base metal. That's um, well fast. done. 18-inch flat link. An aglet type thing in the middle. It <coughs> is it. Um, this one. Yeah. Oh, like, like a, a bar. bar. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yes. Again, look at the extra sil silver you're getting in that for the solid bits. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. I'm loving that absolutely beautiful it's a little bit morse codey isn't it yeah <laughs> laura says i'm gonna do something really silly it's only here on the odd occasion so you ain't scared <laughs> are you laura um two grams of sterling silver and seven pounds and 99 pence again chains are as popular now as they have always been it is a chain clearance when we which is but it's ridiculous because we can't replace our own chains. You know, you've got articles popping up left, right, and centre. Financial Times: How the chain jewel, uh, jewelry is linking us together. You know, here we go. That was in 2020 during the sort of pandemic, obviously. Um, chains are being used as a symbol of connection, uniting masculine and feminine, romance and rebellion, old and oh. new. I love it, and they are still as popular today, aren't mm. they? You know, fast forward, what, four years? As if Gosh, that was four, four years, years ago. Crazy. Uh, hello, Lena, Davinia. Hello to you, Natalie and Irene, Merva. Hello to you. Love this flat link chain. So stylish. It is, Davinia, isn't it? Very, it's simple. Oh, That's what hi, I Davinia. love about it. Yeah, lovely Davinia. She came it, all the way up to visit us on one of my workshops did, from West Sussex. From West Sussex? Yeah, West Sussex. Or, yeah, it was West Sussex. That is a, that is a big Georgia. drive. Bless yeah. you. Um, okay. A 30 inch curb, that's this one. <gasps> Got it. Oh, that's like Hang on. silver. I have to be careful because I don't want to knock them. Oh, this is nice. I, this is a nice weight, this one. Look at those lovely links. I'd be buying Ooh. this one. I like a curb. A curb caresses. Oh. I think. It does, it kind of it sits nice and flat against it's gonna the It's going to follow deck. the contours. Yeah. Follow the contours. Cheers, isn't it? Check us out, Alison. <laughs> um, amazing. <laughs> Seventeen pounds and ninety nine pence only Stunning. for your classic curb uh, um, thirty inch chain. Yeah, beautiful, and it doesn't try and compete. Again, it's one of those classic yeah. links that just works. Uh, good morning. It was uh, more than worth the drive, Alison. Oh, a fab day you, of darling. fun and lots of skills learned. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we had a great day. We've got another one on tomorrow. Have you? Yeah, I'm doing loom beading tomorrow. Oh, that's fun. Is that up in Wrexham as well? Well, yeah, up near me, Wrexham. Yeah. Ish. So, ish. so all Friendship. full up, all Friendship. full up. Uh, we've got mine. Oh, yeah, that'll be yeah. nice time. Uh, make sure you check it out on these jewellery makers. Diamond cutters get as well. That's why you're seeing that beautiful luster. When was the last time that you saw I a know. chain hour jewellery makers? It's been at ages. I love a flat. It's a flat curb, isn't it? It looks yeah. like it from here. So you're getting that river of silver. I love it. Oh, now one that's always popular. Oh, go on. Actually, oh, we haven't. It's really, it's, it's so important chain. that you 
store snake chains right because they're so silky and they they don't like to be bent so keep them stored properly take them out the bag when they arrive to you as well um sorry i'm just doing oh, no. this up for you how, ma how many have we got laura <gasps> this is your snake chain. oh it's my favorite chain of all time is it oh look it's like it that is liquid silver it just yeah. flows <gasps> when lovely, you turn that it? oh my gosh so I yeah a snake that. chain they're not links effectively they kind of almost a links that blend together they, 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 they kind of yeah it's it's like it rather than a, a like distinct a snake. link with spaces it, it's it's like Sorry. it's like the scales on a, a snake or a dragon <laughs> so yeah just absolutely. look at that it's like liquid it's gorgeous <gasps> isn't it that's stunning. they usually command a higher price point snake chain so the fact that we are at 7.99 is crazy no. They are they are much more work if you imagine it than doing like a link into a link. Yeah, a snake chain is a lot more detailed. It's a bit like your Takali conversation, isn't it? Much, much, much more refined oh, that's just and intricate. Um, yeah, it is a jewelry box essential, absolutely, and it gives you this lovely smoothness as well. It's silky. I mean, you can see that. Um, well done, everybody. Wow. Now the last is oh. quite possibly my favourite, Alison. I oh, love a it? box chain. I, I like it. a box chain too, but a snake is my all time. Oh, it's nice and weighty. Lovely and weighty. <gasps> Just shy of three grams. In 18 inches as well. Box chain, because you've got the flat sides, you get, it's like a mirror. Yeah. So you get that obviously multiple times over. And again, look at that lovely luster. Oh my Gorgeous. God. Gorgeous. In your classic box chain. Um, the last of the chains, jewelry makers, so make sure you are checking them out. Wow. Oh, you have spoiled us today. It's been nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Are we having a break now? My shopping is calling. Oh, well, we've got uh, we've got that landscape to bring. Oh, Remember. my favourite. Yeah. Pardon? Um, yeah, we've got the landscape coming your way, jewelry makers. Remember, in the next hour, we've got your pearls coming up as well. Wow. So make sure you're checking out. I can't believe we're at 9 99 Even no. if you... Look, I'm not saying... <gasps> wow. I, 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 a while ago, this was, because it has been a long time since I've, I've brought you, you know, a big quantity of your chains. But, you know, Argos, whether yeah. or not diamond cut, they're still more than what's on your screens. Know. Amazing, you know? It's crazy. Um, well done, everybody. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Up next, this will blow your mind if you haven't seen this. One of the newest styles of carving that has been introduced to the jade world is not where, you know, if you imagine, if you've got Fei Chi, you're holding one of the most valuable gems in the world. You don't want to cut away. Does that make sense? Yeah. A master carving, a traditional master carving, you are effectively cutting carrot weight away. Fei Chi jade away. So there's been a new revolution of carving that is the illusion carving, which basically takes minimal carrot weight away, but you do need to have the finest translucent Fei jade. Mm. This will blow your mind with a level of intricacy. I mean, I could, literally could not sketch to the level of detail that you're about to see in this piece. It's a star by and it's up next. Now, I want to show you that piece that uh, we've read this article earlier on, but the actual piece with the light source behind, and it's talking about the finest grade Guatemalan jade. And it says a lot of Chinese jade miners are now mining in Central America. Uh, this is the greatest potential of all jade currently. The future is Guatemala. The acceptance here is now certified in Asia and is also listed as Fei Chi. Um, which was historically reserved exclusively only for Burma. So we all know that, and you've certainly seen um, Dave's jade torch, that's he carries it absolutely yeah. everywhere. But um, also any jade trader or jeweler will have a torch. You can use your phone at the same time. And that's, they're looking for the Fei Chi. They're looking for the water content. They're looking for the translucency. But again, it's that grade that you're seeing pictured there on the right. Um, the quality that you will see only in, well, not only, but the quality that is needed for an illusion carving. So as I hold you, hold towards the camera, 
this amazing intricate carving which literally blows my mind as is take a moment to appreciate this small branch mm. that juts out from the landscape the perfect layers that you see within the bonsai the mountains that sit within the clouds that, that go back into the distance yeah to create that depth yeah. as well but even as you get closer what you might not see right now on each of these pagodas there's an, that, that you see individuals you can see the individual tiles can you see a person there yeah yeah it blows my can you see in the shadows yeah it apps look 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 the, the little the wall little path. yeah that comes down with the steps coming from I got this. I could not resist this. I don't blame you. I mean, I've got obviously got the dragon one, but of all the carvings we of the illusion ones, I fell in love with this. I love as a photographer. I love the depth of field. I have driven down here and seen the sunrise, and seen that sort of layering going back. When you look at it, and you can see from the mountains, and they get this sort of. If you look at a, a, a scene going back, it sort of goes dark, light to dark. You, it goes almost the reverse of the way. You get really light just behind the next tree. Yeah. And look at that. It's well, just incredible. Do you know, the illusion is that. actually that when you hold a light source behind, the whole carving disappears. So if I was to bring this right up close, you notice yeah. how the carving almost disappears. But when you hold it at an angle, can you see how they've achieved those detailings? Yeah, it's incredible. It's all from polishing. They've basically polished. Yeah. Not the opposite way round. I would almost imagine the deta detailing to be the rough part. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. But it's not. That's the polished part. I don't know. Adam, on how close we can get to it, or is it on your recording where you can literally see every single tile? It, tile? Every single one is also different. Yeah, because they're done by They hand. look so incredible. I love it. Look at these Each of those balconies and the windows, the little pagoda. I, I, this, this blew my mind. It really blew my mind. And I mine. love it. And mine. Now, it is a work of art. Mm. It is a work of art. Add to that the fact that you have got Stanley Chu saying, okay, this is Feichi quality. This, uh, the future is Guatemala. Now is the time to be getting it. Um, top Jade is Top Jade. Yeah. Top, remember, it's translucency and of course it's color. But also when we're talking about carvings, it's level of artistry as well. And this, this is, is a whole other level of artistry. Totally. Just the little flicks on each of those roofs. Can you see what I mean about, about, you almost expect the further away it gets darker, but look between each of those mountains, look around the base, look at the detail you're getting. You've almost got a shadow one just behind that big yeah. pagoda Can you see by the, the rock. The shadow got, of yeah, the tree, it, yeah, it's, in it's the amazing. Mist. It's in the mist, it's, it's incredible. Now, we had a hundred when we launched these. Oh, stunning. They absolutely flew. Mm. I have 23 left. It was only two weeks ago that this was first brought to air, Jewelry Makers. In our illu illusion carvings, we've only actually done, to my knowledge, three. Three designs. We are going to match the phenomenal launch price that, believe it or not, is not 299 If you are a collector... So this is a, the newer style of carving, as I understand it. Instead of actually taking carrot weight away from your Feiji Jade. It's retaining that carrot weight, but st still giving you that level of artistry. It is incredibly skillful. I mean, if I look, if I turn, if I show you in that direction, you can see nothing has been taken away in terms of the carrot weight. We are gonna match that amazing launch price, jewelry makers. One, four, nine. It is absolutely incredible. Janice Maker, Kerry Maker. Make sure you're checking out Jewelry Makers. I, we had 100 and I've got the final 20% now. When you get this home, you will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. I, I, I've, got, I've got a collection of carvings. I can't resist them. 
this one has to be right up there with my favourites. Yeah, I, totally, can get, I get that. I get that. Absolutely, totally. It, I'm trying to think of some kind of, like, a, I feel like I've seen these kind of images in films. You know, yeah. it's that kind of... It's that oriental film, black and white. Yeah, gorgeous. Um, you know... Beautiful. And you can see them, you know, you can see the samurai almost walking up the yeah, stairs to, to, the, to the temple on the top, can't you? Wow. I just love it. £37.25 and pence on your split payment. Janice, Incredible. well done. Kerry, well done. New customers getting involved as well. Um, it is the last of stock opportunities, mm -hmm. jewelry makers, so rapidly approaching single figures. Um, beautiful. And I should point out very discreetly, and amongst mm. the illusion, you have got a carving there. Sorry, a drill hole there. Yeah, um, so that you can suspend it if you want. Very discreet. In fact, you can't even see it, can you? It's, I'll have it's to turn on the it top. Around. It's on the top and it goes diagonally out. And you it will take one it. mil. It will take one mil. Really? Look at that. The final eight. Well done, everybody. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Congratulations to you all. Okay. Coming up, we've got those amazing pearl pendants to bring you. Um, we've got less than 50 in the purple, naturally purple, and we've got less than 50 of the white. We're also going to do a closeout oh. deal on a rip white ripple pearl. Oh, golden white Ooh, ripple pearl so I've got which white is, which is absolutely Can't wait to see the golden um we've got the tahitian brock pearl still to bring you as well and also jewelry makers oh don't God. forget at 12 o'clock we've got um it's been how long do you say this is brand new the repousse is brand new. yeah but how long have you been asking for it oh it was we were hoping to fetch it Chris, uh, birthday last year. Okay, so this is and a long time in the waiting. planning. Oh yeah. The launch of Repousse here at Jewelry Maker and our lovely Alison. So make sure you don't go anywhere. We'll be see you after this. <laughs> Hi, it's Debbie Kershaw. I'm back with you on Saturday the 8th of June with honestly the most amazing show. In the 9am we have got Ruby, Emerald and Sapphire Rondelles and I'm going to be showing you different ways that you can use these in your jewellery designs. Um, so far I've made some earrings and I've actually used some wire work techniques um, to just weave those little rondelles in and around so I really enjoyed doing that so I'm going to be sharing that with you. Now in the 12 o'clock, whoa! We have got peacock pearls together with a peacock and a peacock tassel cap. I mean, just stunning. Peacocks have been depicted in art for just years and years and years, and they're just beautiful. There's so much symbolism. So I'm going to be working with these in the 12 o'clock. So I hope you can join myself and the team at Jewelry Maker on the 8th. See you then. Good morning everyone, Mark here. I'm here to tell you all about my next show, which is going to be this Monday, the 10th of June. I'm gonna be joining Carol, Tom and the crew. Nine o'clock, I have got my favorite gemstone of 2024 so far, Avocado Alashan Agate, the most beautiful, beautiful gemstone I think I've ever had the pleasure of working with. And at 12 o'clock, the long awaited return of the Bugle Bead. So tune in this Monday to see what I'm going to make with these little beauties. So that's Monday, the 10th of June. Join myself, Carol and the team. You will not want to miss this show. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more.
you can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewelry Maker. I'm back with you on Tuesday the 11th and we've got some fantastic projects in store for you. So at nine o'clock we have the most beautiful multi-wrap bracelets. They come with meter long gemstones and our, uh, sterling silver buttons. They're really cute, you're gonna love them. And then at 12 o'clock we have one of my best selling items. We have inlays. We have inlay charms, we have inlay rings. You're going to absolutely love it. I can't wait to share that with you. Some nifty little tips and tricks in there that anyone can do. Uh, so I hope you can join me. I'd love to see you there. Can't wait to be back. See ya. Welcome back, jewelry makers. Where's this morning gone? I don't know. It's zipping past, isn't it? It's Can't wait. It's going to be twelve o'clock soon. Oh, twelve o'clock got... soon, where we're launching. <gasps> or rather, Alison is. Repousse. R is that not just the most amazing word? Repousse. Repousse. Sounds Tracy. like a, it sounds like a French footballer, doesn't it? Repousse. Repousse. We 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 both we we both sort of Welsh or Welsh. Welsh Welsh. I grew, grew up, up in, in Wales, Wales. absolutely. So we, we can roll our R's. Oh, we can roll them like the best of the rolling, rolling R's. Absolutely. Rapuse. Rapuse. <laughs> that was French. Yeah. I was saying Rapuse sounds like a French footballer, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Very closely linked, Welsh and French. Are they? Yeah. Really? Yeah, the languages are very closely linked. So we were, we were actually doing uh, um, counting to 10 with the girls, teaching yeah. the girls counting to 10 different languages. So like, okay, Spanish, French, German, and then like, okay. And then I was like, do you want to do Welsh? And Tom's like, it's the hardest language. Because it is a lot of, okay, in, die, tree, pedwar, pimp, chwech, saith, oith, now, dig. Chwech. You you've, got have to, to, you've got to get the <laughs> You have to do that sound, yeah. I, yeah. Tom's like, it's the strangest accent. And the zzz. Yeah. Chwech and and, lots and of, There's a lot of spit. There's, there's a lot. <laughs> anyway, I'm digressing, aren't yes, I, massively. Are. I don't even know how I got on that conversation. Repousse. My fault. That's what it is. <laughs> Repousse is launching in the 12 o'clock hour. But this hour, jewellery makers, who fancies one of our number one... Not one of, probably is our number one top seller. Me? Um, beautiful pearls. And it has always been our greatest strength. Unfortunately, yes. I have to say, I don't think there's anywhere in the world that can make that statement anymore. Unless, of course, you were the person that bought the future 10-year harvest of Tahitian pearls or South Sea pearls. Unless you are one of the pearl traders that actually now, there's no point in them. This isn't a criticism. There's no point in pearl harvesters actually selling pearls to us at the moment because we can't afford the prices that they can achieve yeah. actually in China. Um, the world has gone crazy for pearls. And, and it all started from an influencer called Nini. Nini is, um, she's, a, she's a, 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 a massive celebrity in China. Um, and she put a blog, effectively, of her sat cross-legged wearing some Tahitian pearls. And ever since that photograph, ever since that photograph, um, the accessibility of Tahitian pearls in particular has been dramatically reduced. So... After a while then we discovered that actually Tahitian pearls, the future decade harvest, has been bought out by what we, we, we predict, we don't know for certain, but is one very wealthy pearl lover who has said, I'll buy it all, I'll buy them all. 
and it has had a massive impact not just in terms of uh, supply but also in terms of price so can i just clarify the tahitian pearls that you are seeing here at jewelry maker if you're lucky enough to do so was because we bought them pre-pearl mania as i describe it we went for the first time to hong kong this year knowing full well knowing full well that we would not come back with a single pearl the reasoning for it because pearls like this tahitian pearls just like this one are five figures at the moment which is wow. this is a 10 millimeter which is in terms of rarity let's just say like an, a, a carrot diamond you know well, as soon as you go <coughs> double figure do you want to see should we take you to let's take you to hong kong this is why we, our team make these journeys it's not just about the buying which obviously usually is part and parcel of these trips but a lot of it is to relay the information to you at home so this is dave talking to one of the pearl traders over in hong kong highlighting why opportunities like this your tahitian pearl and this and the pendants why we must make the most of these prices now because they are irreplaceable watch this hi guys so i'm here with kakuda pearls who have one of the finest selection of pearls that i've seen anywhere we're talking incredible natural tahitians huge uh, uh, supply of uh, incredible akoya pearls and of course the south sea varieties as well and we wanted to talk to the man himself about what's been happening uh, within the pearl industry mm. and i wonder if you can just um mm shed some light on what's happened maybe mm. since September with mm. pearls? Mm. Okay, September to uh, October, it was the kind of a peak time uh, with uh, mainly Chinese customers. Yeah. Mm. It's a big boom, boom yes. in China that yeah. I know as a fashion, materi fashion uh, material, the pearls getting so popular. And, and it, has it impacted the price? It is. Yeah. Now it's the uh, highest in the history. In the whole history? Yes, with wow. the Tahitians. Yeah. and the uh, South Sea golden color, South Sea white, or wow. even the Japanese aquarius. So is it, would you say it's gone up 30% or is it doubled or what kind of increase? Well, I don't remember much, but uh, looking back two years, maybe last September, October was kind of a peak and uh, it was like a double, it's three years ago. Wow. But I know the things are kind of changing right now. Yeah. Mm. I know it's hitting the top and uh, <laughs> so it's very difficult at yeah, the minute to get good mm. quality Tahitians it and is. Golden South Sea mm. because of the uh, the influence of is it Nini the social influencer in Yang Mi? Yeah, right. Yeah, because mm. that's, uh, that's with Tahitis. Right? Yes, mm. Uh, mm. and but it has also been impacting the price of South Sea. You said because mm -hmm. that was Tahitians. Sea overall, yes. Yeah. Um, so to to anyone right now who's looking to get good quality South Sea whether it's the golden or the white, and of course the Tahitians, it is very, very difficult. Unless you can get hold of older material, which mm. you know you may be able to get a better price. Mm. Right now it's at the peak, and uh, we're talking about the most expensive time in history to get cultured pearls, and that is the power of social media and influence mm. and the Chinese market. Mm. Um, we, we, we saw it through September and October, but even right now uh, in March, in February, we're seeing the same high peaks for those incredible pearls. Wow. It really does, you know, hit home, doesn't it? How, mm. well, here we are with what, what, what has always been one of the most valuable pearls in the world, but now more so than ever. And I'm about to bring it to air for an affordable price. Mm. Um, just one more thing. I want to show you a photograph. And this is 2023 pricing. Um, and it's somebody talking about again Tahitian pearls, a single pearl like this, not necessarily in a fit, it's not smothered in diamonds, it's not set in platinum or 18 karat gold. Um, the genius thing that the team have done is source the largest pearls from the market over the last few years. Anything 18 mil and over are crazy prices now. Because they are the only team who can, they're talking about faceted pearls originally here, but if you look at that photograph on the on the on the left sorry that's a 13 millimeter tahitian pearl and wow. you are talking about a thousand dollars minimum per pearl mm. per pearl i assume you've seen what's happened in the pearl uh, market tahitians are the most expensive pearl in the world now wow here's a 
faceted pearl necklace collection you can mm. see all out of uh, Tahitian pearls and a conversation that is between Pearl Harvester and I, I assume Dave um, I just need to check what stock I have first. Stocks have been low as prices have shot up, so things sold really fast the last couple of months. Um, yeah, a, t a Chinese superstar wore Tahitian necklace and it went up like crazy. Ch uh, Chinese are going to Tahiti to buy all the Tahitian pearls. They are even buying it blind, imagine. Wow. So this is the situation. Jewelry makers, there's that, there's that article there, The Power of Influence how Nini shook the Tahitian pearl world, and there she is wearing it. That's all it took, that blog, that photograph. Um, okay. Now, our graphics are describing this as a brock, and I know they were, every pearl is unique, but I'm looking at this and it's pretty spherical. We cannot replace Tahitian pearls. What we have is old stock, as Dave was saying in that, in that uh, recording. Um, it's pearls that we have bought maybe over the past five years or so. So make the most of it because it, our, our Tahitian pearl supply will run out for mm. sure. That being said, I've got 47 opportunities. It's a through drilled 10 millimeter natural Tahitian pearl and we wow. are not stopping at 999 pounds. But we could because we said earlier on each Tahitian pearl is a thousand pounds. Yeah. A thousand dollars. <gasps> first price crash jewelry makers a but remember one. a decade has been bought out of future harvests that haven't even been Crazy. cultivated yet you want to get a, a certain watch from somewhere like rolex and there's a waiting list of a decade you can buy it but you will have to pay probably five six times the price to, yeah. to you know to get that to get that rolex fast the same applies when it comes to your pearls now we we kind of buck that trend and we'll say okay well no 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 this is what we bought them for we get a great deal you get a great do deal regardless of what's going on in the industry yeah we're at 199 pounds but if you want this to go lower <laughs> we do need to see you there Tahitians were one of the first pearls that got me into pearls. I love so distinctive, them. aren't they? Oh yeah, totally. And they've always been regarded as one of the most valuable pearls in the world. Yeah. Not just now; they always have been. We're going to up. Put a minute, a minute clock on your screen, and then I'll say it out loud. In sixty seconds, we are going to half that price, jewelry makers, what? for a Tahitian pearl. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Half it. It is ridiculous, and it's a double figure millimeter so you oh are talking God. about straight away that's like that's like a one carat diamond you know it's yeah. like an aspirational size isn't it i want uh, that's what a 10 millimeter tahitian pearl is um in wow. the equivalent if you like i'm gonna say it again we will take that we will half that price if there's enough of you there <coughs> if there's not then we can't do it if there's not we can't do it for a tahitian pearl we that's could literally insane. just take them over to hong kong yeah you could pop that on a head pin, make a loop, you're done. So, you... yeah, Adam, that recording, you've, there were slides, weren't there, stills, where it just hovered over a Tahitian pearl. Here we go. Just have a little look at this. Wow. 12,000. 10,000. Isn't that a 10 mil top right, or is that 50, 16? All right, 16 mil, 15 mil. 12,000 US dollars for the... For the what, sorry? For the smallest ones we can see on your screens. We're at 199, jewelry makers. 30 seconds. Oh my gosh. And we will go lower. Let me pick this up the tweezers actually. If you got any of the peg bales we had earlier in yeah, the, in the 8 a.m. Perfect. Yeah. Even use one either side and make Look a connector. Oh. Look at I should have picked this up all along. <gasps> Look, Look at, at the that. quality of that. The overtones and the undertones yeah. that you get. It is a multi. Well, that's the joy of Tahitians, isn't it? You get a wonderful sash of oh colours. It's not just about that kind of steely colour. No. You also get the beautiful flashes of green, pistachio greens. You get reds, blues. <gasps> Maybe, may, oh my goodness me. Now is the time to get, if you're a lover of mm. pearls, get them now because we can't sustain the global phenomena that is occurring with, uh, with, with pearls. We could just as well pass these to our sister channel, couldn't we? You know.
Really? Okay, Laura's just said, I've just done a Tahitian Pearl Showcase on our sister channel um, in the last seven days. And she said, one Tahitian Pearl in a ring, 10 millimeters was 499 pounds. But, you know, and it's not the it's not the gold way. It's not the diamond no. way. It's the Tahitian Pearl. It is the Tahitian Pearl that absolutely... I love it. See, I remember way back when, and we had some black pearls... And you're like, no, these are nothing like. And I was like, oh, it's it's it, it, it's supposed to be a Tahitian, not sold as a Tahitian, but to replace a Tahitian. You can't replace that. You can't replace no, that. No, we, we literally that can't. Orient that that because you're still getting that pearl essence in it. You've got to remember, it's for stunning. us to replace it, we've got to go to places like Hong Kong. Yeah. And um, I love we didn't that. see any of those prices. The fact that our team travelled to Hong Kong and came back with nothing. Crazy. You know, Crazy. that's the situation. And it is all down to, to social yeah. media, effectively, and yeah. big, big celebrities, effectively, megastars. And, and a huge population. Yeah, exactly. Well, third of the third yeah. show. Well done, everybody. Make sure wow. you're checking out your baskets on this one. Um, Just pop this onto a peg bale and away you go. Yeah. Totally. Away you go. Beautiful. Congratulations. Wow. Stay where you are lucky, now. Lucky. Up next, that. I've got some gorgeous. I th I love these. I'm going to be joining you on these as well, especially on the back of your um on the back of your pearl. Uh, sorry, your chain hour that you had just a few moments ago. So these are extremely limited, as we should assume for all our pearls mm. now. Um, we're going to do the purple first, and then we're going to do the beautiful white. This is a Baroque pearl, and they're huge as well, of which you also get the additional um, peg bale. So all you need is a little bit of jewelry making glue. These are going to fly for sure, um, because they're a fireball effectively times mm. two. Up next is Star Bye. Okay, jewelry makers. I love this. There's something so exciting about fireball pearls. It is that beautiful formation and then the blaze of nacre. Yeah, it's amazing. And whether you could look at these as fireballs, whether you look at them brocks, whichever it is, those gorgeous organic like shapes that only seem yeah. to amplify, if you like, our, um, the luster and the colours. Now I've got less than 50 of these jewelry oh, makers no. and when they are normally brought to air, they're bought, brought or rather in Tucson. They were individually in one little box. Yeah. I can tell you they're nowhere near the price that these are going to. And you certainly, you had to still then buy the bail. You still then had to buy anything extra that you wanted to achieve. I'm just going to tip these out actually because normally you would have to choose these separately. So you have your peg bail, beautiful fluted peg bail. Nice. In solid 925 sterling silver. <coughs> Sorry. Then you have oh. this gorgeous flower with Isn't a peg. Can you see that at the back? Oh. So that you could drill into the pearl, if you want to, that is. Additionally, you have a citrine. Can you see the back of that? It has this kind oh, of... Oh, a little cone. It's like a cone. Can you see that? So you set these into your pearl. Does that make sense? No. So you can either ream your pearl. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I was away. I was away. Yeah. Either ream your pearl oh, or drill your pearl. Oh, no, you see, I would. I would set those. I wasn't thinking of that when I first saw them. Yeah, I would, I would, I would drill into it and actually set it. And then you've got that um, halo of silver yeah. around the outside of it. Okay, now, oh, you yes, get these, yes, yes. and then you get that gorgeous, What's gorgeous, natural that? purple pearl. It's like, yeah, beautifully ombre. Again, all those colours are totally and utterly natural. So again, if you look at the graphics, high lustre, metallic, purple, baroque mm. pearl, but it's not just purple, is it? It's pistachio, it's gold, it's copper, it's silver. Our first price... Is already too low, jewelry makers. We're at ninety nine yep. ninety nine. This is not a small pearl. Twenty two millimeters in in its size. There no pearl go. will look exactly the same. That's the joy of baroque pearls. But what I can guarantee is they'll all be of the same amazing qu uh, quality. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
69 dollars 69 Oh, my gosh. We've got people multi-buying on yeah, this. Yeah, I'll bet we have. I'll bet there's earrings and pendant sets going on there. Mm. I'll Janice, bet there who's bought three. Karen, who's bought three. Yeah. Melanie. Oh. And everybody that's in the pipeline, we are going to make some big savings for you today. Because that split pay is already too low. Would we all agree? Yeah, totally. The more of you that are there, the lower that we go. Good luck. 60 seconds on oh your screens. Gosh. We will take this even lower. I, I, again, I, I never mind comparing outside of these four walls. I know I have brought pearls of similar sizes significantly more yeah. than what's on your screens right now. So to be going the opposite direction doesn't make sense, does it? You know that if you again, if I was to look at some, if I was to look at our sister channel Gemporia, that on a chain, what do you reckon? Two hundred? Yeah, then that, that's a great price. It's an absolutely amazing price. This, let's, let's say one four nine, one two nine, even. It's adding a chain that we bought to you in the hour previously at a hundred pounds. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you say, this on one of those thirty inch would look amazing. Lovely. Wouldn't it? Good luck, everybody. Karen's got six. There's only 18 of these left, jewelry makers. We're going to honour that price tag for you. It was already low at 69.99. So that could be three people if they're yeah. like Karen. Or could be. Could be six wow. people. It could be six could people. Could be six people. It's yeah. a beautiful pendant in its own right. It is. Under 50 pounds. <gasps> for a oh my gosh. For a 22 millimetre baroque pearl oh my beautiful gosh. sashes of color all that metallic luster we will be bringing you the golden white as well jewelry makers and and i will match that price for you as well it's all down to personal preference um so that's what 16 pounds <laughs> and 66 pence on split pay to get it home to fall in love with it to be wearing that piece you might be wanting to wanting it for i don't know an event you've got coming up next weekend you might have something coming up on the horizon. You're like, yeah. oh, I fancy wearing fancy those. That. Use your 0% interest split payment. You might as well. Wow. Hello, Jacqueline. Uh, hi, lovely ladies. Alison, how would you drill into the pearl? Okay, so there's 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 a couple of ways. You can get a hand drill. What you need is a burr bit. Burr. A burr. So you want, it, it's like a triangle. To fit those in, you want like a triangle or also to put um, a cut stone that tapers yeah. to a coolie. Um, you can do it with a Dremel. You can get special pearl drills. Yeah. Um, you can get a little pearl vise. Yeah. Because obviously you don't want to clamp that into a vise because you'll damage the pearl. So I've handheld and, and, and used a hand drill yeah. to drill into this. So you can do that. Um, Just go slowly with it. I'd go slowly with it. I would get a cheap pearl from your stash. Yeah. Practice drilling on that. Yeah. Just, just get a throwaway pearl. Not that you know all pearls are lovely but get something from a strand and and yeah, drill you don't, into you it would, several you wouldn't times just go straight on into the finest don't pearl go straight like these, on into there no yeah you'd take you'd, you'd practice i see what you mean so um, yeah electric or hand drilling you can do both let's bring you the right beautiful there. golden white again that's stunning isn't it mm. absolutely stunning let me show you the pearls so this one is they're both half drilled i need to point out as well Look at this. Look at oh, that. Isn't it gorgeous. It's the movement within this. Can you see? He reminds me of a sunfish. Have you ever seen a sunfish? She's now we need it. to now we need to know what a sunfish they've got this looks like. Big Ooh. sort of tail Ooh. and fin at the back. Doesn't it? Oh, that's gorgeous. It's a huge pearl. Oh look. Well, those of you that were paying attention. Will have heard us say <coughs> that we are going to match the price. Wow. Oh, what a funny looking fish. But they, they, they've yeah. got that sort of, they've got that long t tail at the back. You can't see it from Tom. They've got sort of this what long, and that's what I it can't reminded make him me out. Is he, is he sideways or something? He's it, quite a round fish. With a long, <laughs> it with does a look long like he's going. Hello, hello. Yeah, I can't make him out. Is he a flatfish? No, he's round. He's he doesn't round. look round there. He looks flat. No, he, he is a. 
He is sort of just about to say something, isn't he? Hello? I think he's saying, how much? <laughs> That's th- so they are massive, this is, yeah. This is my best side. Yeah, there you go. Oh! Well, that surprised me. <laughs> are they actually that big? Are they actually that big? They are huge. It's the heaviest bony fish. I, uh, sorry, I've got massively distracted now. I'm, like, I'm all about the sunfish. <laughs> sorry, but he, that, that, that pearl reminded me as soon as I saw it of the sunfish. Because he's be- his, his statement, he's huge, he's beautiful. Are they actually that big? The sunfish, they're big, yeah. From the ocean. <laughs> you're not, let's put it this way, you're not going to get him with your little fly rod. That's for sure. <laughs> I've never even seen him before. Yeah. Anyway, back to, I mean, uh, back to, look at this beautiful high luster pearl. Sorry, I didn't mean to distract you. No, you're all right, lovely. Beautiful luster. The quality of the pearl is absolutely yeah, exceptional. Is. Karen snapped up five, uh, six. Well done. Janice has got three. Cheshire, well done to you. Angela, Joanne, Ka- another Karen. Make sure you check it out, everybody. Again, the wow. pearl world, the pearl harvest has gone crazy. Again, if you have a little look down here, you get all of these. Uh, hello, Davinia. Yes, you can. I tell you what, Davinia. I tell you what, I'll do. While you did, yeah, different gemstones. Yeah. Oh, nice. So there's the bale. I'll see if I can get it in, Davinia. Can you have a look to see if we've got any of the pearl bits, pearl drilling bits, on the website? There you go. That's stunning. So you isn't can it? see how it's going to sit, even without you know adding the gemstones yeah. you know you might use those for something else but look how beautiful that is on the actual peg bale you might need to cut down the post a little bit but that's very simple and again glue it into place leave it overnight job done loving that i'm going to be joining you on these because they're beautiful gifts i yeah. think lovely lovely gifts and at 49 pounds and 99 pence that's a crazy price it is for something that is yeah. at, you know at its all-time high price tag that's an amazing price just for the pearl without all the silver without all the silver that you get and, and you and do get all of these that's amazing. So there's the bale. Let's move that so I'm not confusing anyone. You get... Is that topaz? Garnet. Garnet. And then... Ooh, Ooh what's that? Pink sapphire. Ombre. Is it sapphire or tourmaline? Pink tourmaline. Tourmaline, topaz and garnet. Wow, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everybody. I've got 13 of these left. Ellen Maker, Gillian, congratulations. Uh, Joanne, Karen, Davinia, you've got yours Lovely. also. Just make sure you're checking out your baskets to guarantee your success. And what um, I love is those. they're all going to be a different shape. Yeah, aren't no they? two will be the same. These, this strand is going to absolutely blow your mind um, because pearls. There's four available in the vault, by the way. That's it. So a ripple pearl. There's an article on ripple pearls, if you wouldn't mind, Laura. Um, So ripple pearls are one of the newest varieties introduced and launched um, in the pearl world. And they immediately had overnight success. As you can imagine, with most pearl uh, um, exclusives, they're launched actually in... um, in Hong Kong. So here we go. And this is an article. These aren't my words um, that talk about this variety of pearls and why they're so popular. So two weeks ago, I promised you a small primer. This is again, a, um, I assume, a, a jewellery specialist yeah. or sort of some description. Um, one of the newest, hottest pearl trends in Hong Kong, ripple pearls. Ripple pearls are also known as Kasumi style freshwater pearls, which personally, um, which I personally prefer, but the name can be a bit confusing because Kasumi pearls come from a different location, basically. Uh, These Japanese freshwater pearls were uh, once very famous and very, very covetable. Um, They were the only Japanese freshwater pearls on the market and known for their intense metallic luster and array of dazzling natural colours. Unfortunately, Kasumi pearl production ceased in the 1980s due to extensive pollution. I can update you on that. That has actually resumed. Oh, has it? Yeah, it has actually resumed because they've actually, uh, there was a big environmental... mission if you like to restore the waters and the marine life of that location so that's good news 
Um, but they were saying currently there are only three pearl producers working hard to bring back Kasumi pearl production in Japan as we speak, and I wish them all the best of luck. Their pearls are stunning. Thank you. Um, Q2009, and the Chinese picked up the Kasumi pearl torch using secret grafting <laughs> techniques um, and especially hybridized freshwater pearl mussel, a combination of two mussels. Um, a select few freshwater pearl farmers be began experimenting um, with creating a Kasumi style. This involved inserting an actual bead nucleus into the gonad of the freshwater pearl mussel, similar to how saltwater pearls are nucleated. These pearls quickly picked up the name ripple pearls due to their heavily textured surface. And you can see the difference there. Um, the top, you've got the classic ripple texture. Can you see how, it, how yeah. much... That, how intense that lovely luster is, how bright the orient actually is. Um, this says violets, magentas, bright flashes of blue shimmer over every bit of the surface area on each and every single pearl. Um, debut uh, debuting in hong kong as we just said in 2000, 2009 to 2010 the initial harvest were priced sky high premiums look at that photograph there can you see the different colors um yeah flashes were uh, uh they were in the high uh hundreds uh, to even high thousands depending on the size of the soot pearls look at these when we talk about amazing colors, when we talk about beautiful orients, there is only three available jewelry makers. Only three available. £299, not the four figures that that article was just talking about. It's the abundance of nacre, that rare precious material that ultimately makes up a pearl, um, the pearl, the fine quality pearls. The abundance of that is what's bringing you that high orient. The final one opportunity. I've got uh, County Antrim there. I've got Swansea there. Hazel, you've got yours. We only had a handful, remember? And we can't replace Ripple Pearls. Today you've had the last five. I've got the final one on your screens. Remember, wow. from a harvest of normal pearls, less um, 10,000, less than 10 will be metallic. You've wow. got a full strand here. Well done, everybody. Make They're sure you're amazing. checking out your baskets on those. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay. Now, don't forget, coming up at 12 <gasps> o'clock, the launch, the jewelry maker launch Woo! of Repousse. Can't I'm wait. very excited. Repousse. Repousse. Mm. Repousse. Repousse. Who's, the, who's that cartoon character that talks a bit like that? Pepe Le Pew. Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> he worked, he did. He did, Pepe he Le Pew. Repousse. We, I sound like Pepe Le Pew. We have a band that practice in the village hall. Uh -huh. And they're called Pepe Le Moco. But I always call Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> I know go. who I mean. Only to my husband. I don't say it to them. No, no, they no. They sound amazing. They, they might sound... like it. They, they might. They might like it. Um, <laughs> okay. Are we ready? Because I've got a few more deals to bring you before your Repousse launch jewellery makers. Um, oh. oh, I love these strands. I absolutely love these strands. So, two strands of jade. Yeah. We've got bamboo <gasps> and Morse oh, code. Fabulous. And we've got a closeout deal on some beautiful J type A jade out huggy earrings. Oh, I love the huggy earrings. I've got those. Let's start with the Morse code, which is again, oh, one of the biggest trends fabulous. at the moment. Yeah. I remember us launching and I, I said to Wayne, I was like, Wayne, can I have uh, one of those strands to make some Morse code jewelry? Just for the show, obviously. <laughs> um, for the show, obviously and um, my husband hasn't taken it off oh he hasn't taken it off I, I just literally put i love you in morse code oh how lovely whereas if i if oh, I, I love that. yeah it's because nobody else knows what it means exactly it's a hidden message yeah um and that was in the jade I, and yeah tom hasn't oh, taken I it off that. it's gorgeous isn't yeah. it you could you might put i don't know mantras words yeah. single words dates names whatever yeah. it might be in your morse code <laughs> you Look could at, swear and no one's gonna could, know it you could <laughs> In fact, that's very popular, actually, Is naughty it? word jewellery, yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, Taipei, oh, this is your beautiful uh, white jade. I look at that translucency. That's incredible. Stunning. You can keep it in that arrangement if you wanted yeah. to, but the whole idea and inspiration behind this uh, strand was the fact that they are Morse Pop code pieces. I might have to get some more of these. Yeah. Yeah. Morse code jewelry's <laughs> so popular at the moment. It is. And, and yeah. it, it's an easy stretchy. It's an easy it stretchy is, yeah. to make. So, yeah, this is a PowerPoint that I brought to air when we first launched it. Um, keep him safe day and night. Ah, See, isn't that lovely? I don't know what that means. Oh, goes off air quick. <laughs> Just in case. You know, you can put it names. It might mean something to someone. I, I always say to my husband, like, if, if my husband goes out with the girls, for example, and I'm not with them, precious cargo. So drives, he knows what that means. Precious cargo, yeah. drive safe. Here we go. So you can, and if you don't know, well, I can't, I don't know what Morse code is. Google it, it's really easy. So uh, Morse code changes each letter into an alphabet, into a series of dots and dashes. In this case, you're translating the words, I love you, um, into Morse code to send to your special someone. Use a Morse code chart to learn the dots and dashes combinations for each letter, or just print it off. In, uh, in this case, the letters for I love you are as followed. Do you punctuate each no. word? It just all runs just in. Just all runs into one, oh, basically. It's for, for not only that, it's also 40 yeah. carats of beautiful natural white jadeite. For £99.99 pence only. Love that. Yeah, I mean, it's lovely as it is. You it's could, a beautiful design as it is. Beautiful as it is. You could split it down into a, a tube. Yeah. And, and have a separate, you know, separate the, the, the rounds out if you wanted. But I love the Morse code. It fascinates it's, me. Yeah, it's lovely. Now, for the first time today, should we do a brand new low? It's a Shall Friday. We? It is Friday. We've all got those Friday feelings. Elle's back. I'm back. It does feel like I've been away ages, you know. Yeah. Ages and ages. Um, yeah, let's do a Friday deal, shall we? Oh, just oh. to start the weekend. Jade Puddam. What? And thirty pounds. That's a strand. Lowest ever price. Wow. Lowest ever price. We oh, it's mid morning lull. People are having their sarnies. <gasps> That's the thing. Having your sarnies before the repousse launch. <laughs> Well, Sheila Tracy, nice. new customers, Lena. Make sure you're checking out London. Um, and me, I'm going to be joining you on this one. You might not have if you left. flick forward a bit on these, because there's a few more of those where you can put, there it is. There, there is literally the alphabet, but you also have numbers and you have um, oh, all your symbols and everything. And then... I love that. So you, ah. can, do, you can do sums in Morse code. You could do sums. <laughs> you could do things like um, coordinates. Yeah. Couldn't you? <gasps> coordinates of where you were born or where you got married yeah. or where you first met your partner. Oh, that's... I uh, See, I've got coordinates which I bought Tom one on... I think it was our first Valentine's Day or something like that. I can't remember. Um, but it's coordinates of where we met. See, nobody that's else lovely. knows... lovely. No. ...what that means, but the exact spot, exactly. Oh, you, yeah, yeah, I was just thinking that. You so can you what? could do Morse code what three words? No. Oh. Every square metre in the world has got yep. a combination of three words. Yep. You can pinpoint it exactly. It's great. What three words? Yeah. I've never heard this before. Oh, it's great. So when, when we, we dog sat for, for one of our past foster dogs, but we said, well, look, we're on the boat. So we, we actually sent them a what three words to say where we were on the towpath and they found us. What is this? So uh, literally every square has been named with three words. L Google what three words. I have never heard of this. So wherever you are in the country, <laughs> there'll be different what three words for different parts of so this building. So what kind of words are these? Ordinary words, just ordinary words. Mid yeah. badger foot? Yeah. Either they're random no. words, totally random words, absolutely. Fox, pineapple, seesaw. Yeah. Oh, where's no. that? Go on, look it up. Look it up. Where's fox, pineapple? <laughs> fox, pineapple, seesaw. seesaw. 
I want to know where Fox Pineapple Seesaw is now. <laughs> oh, no fun. way! So you could you could have double code. You could have it in Morse code, but actually of the what's three words? That'd be ace. That's amazing. Have you never heard? Never of it? heard. Can wow. you not tell? I'm completely yeah, well, like yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. What? I'm intrigued to know. So where are we right now? What three words are we right now? Oh there's, right. there's a foxy pineapple sea, sea seesaw sword. in where? In Nazaran. Oh, okay. Wow. There we go. Well, you live and learn. <laughs> <laughs> Just amazing. Foxy pineapple seesaw. There we go. In Nazaran. Right. On a separate conversation. Yeah. One of my favourite things oh, to bamboo. read, Laura, oh, is all about bamboo. There is something on bamboo. I love this article. It's probably one of the most, oops, probably one of the most beautifully, um, I, I, I find it really inspiring mm. when we're talking about a particular cut of a gemstone. They are carvings, aren't they, effectively, yeah, Alison? Yeah. Um, this is oh, probably one of my favourite strands that we have here at Jewelry Maker. Let me just make sure they're all laid out beautifully. Um, so, again, the, of course, we're talking about jade, their most wow. valuable gemstone. Um, bamboo also has huge significance um, in China. So both in China and Japan, uh, cultures have long regarded bamboo as a defining element because it provides the means to sustain all aspects of human life. Um, including food and shelter. Bamboo is the most popular plant in China, where it is considered a gentleman with perfect virtues. Ooh. It combines upright integrity and accommodating flexibility, and it has the perfect balance of grace and strength, and, or yin and yang. Bamboo personifies the life of simplicity. Bambai, ba, oh, start again. <laughs> Bambai. Bamboo is used in every phrase of Chinese living, yet it needs very little care to grow and flourish. It produces neither flower nor fruit, and the hollow trunk reminds us of humility with an open heart free of arrogance. Bamboo is a symbol it's of amazing. longevity because of its durability, strength, and flexibility and resilient, sorry. It survives the harshest conditions, still standing tall and staying green all year round. When the storms come, bamboo bends with the wind. When the storm ceases, it resumes its upright position. Its ability to cope with adversity and still stand firmly without losing its original ground is inspirational. Its flexibility and adaptability are a lesson to us all that the secret of a long, happy life is to go with the flow. I love that. Yeah, it's great. I love that. Um, and then back to your beautiful carvings. These are little bamboo canes. They are. We're already at 99 pounds and 99 pence. We're gonna half that price. <gasps> half it? Yep. They're master carved beads. But yeah. Individually. Absolutely, each one's a proper carving. I love this one. I'm, yeah, I do. I, my nephew has always been, since he was a little boy, a massive, massive panda um, yeah. fan. <laughs> so, of course, bamboo is very important to us. Yes. He's now six foot five and, and 25, but yeah. he's still got Pandas a massive... Pandas are great. He's got a massive panda collection. So anything with bamboo, I always yeah. think, you know, it, it brings back good memories. I yeah. love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Pandas Sorry, are <laughs> amazing, aren't they? Oh, they're, they're incredible. They're ridiculous, though. If you got the panda carving, we did a panda jadeite carving, yeah. this would be the perfect, perfect necklace to... Perfect one to suspend oh, it, it from. Amazing. We're at £49. And 99 pence. Now, we've got a pretty big hour coming your way, haven't we? We have. So exciting. Very exciting about the launch of Rapuse here at Jewelry Maker. We're going to do a little Friday pre-launch deal on one of my favourite strands, the bamboo. We're going to go again and not just buy a little bit. Buy a long way, jewellery makers. Are you ready? Oh, my goodness. 65 carats of beautifully carved type A Burmese jade. Is I mean, when we launch strands like this, yeah. they were what? One two nine. Yeah, yeah. You see, one I, four nine. I was just thinking, I'd like to to, to multi buy this, and it's still going to be less than, yeah. than when we launched it. 
and make a really long line Lovely. necklace. I think that would look great it's in really this It's really beautifully linear as well, oh, isn't it? Oh, it is. At uh, thirty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence only, wow. it goes on to say about the plant actually, um, the shoots and the positioning of the leaves and how sort of the old protect the young yeah. and the young protect the old. I don't know if you've got that still. I think it was the final slide there. The young branches at the top of the bamboo trunk will not grow at the same angle as the older branches below, in order to allow sunlight for their elders. When the school, well, sorry, when the young shoots emerge from the roots, they are under the shade of the older bamboo branches. Uh, such a spirit reflects the young respecting the old as well as the old protecting the young. I, like I love that. this. Just, who knew that this wonderful, this one plant could be so inspiring? We've got one in the garden, but I still haven't found a panda to go in it. Don't put it in your ground, though. Oh, no, it's in a tub. They spread like it's, wildfire, it, yeah. don't they? It's um, very prolific. Well done. I love that. I love that strand. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Is, it is, isn't it? Congratulations, Stunning. everybody. Do stay where you are. Wow. Now, what a bargain. In one auction, I'm about to bring you another pearl. It's a oh. nucleated, near round, natural purple pearl. And we're going to do a brand new low on it. I'm loving Friday with Laura. <laughs> Me too. It's one auction away. Wow. Look at that. Look at the quality of that. Wow. Now... To take us there, I'm going to bring you the most gorgeous jade earrings. I'm going to show you these in the ear. I love them. I've got so, this. yeah, they're more hoggies rather than hoops because they don't go the full way around the ear. Set into solid sterling silver, but it's so classy. Mm. You know, I, I know that uh, Cartier have used jade. I don't know whether it's actually the green jade in um, earrings before, but they definitely won't be anywhere near the price tag. So here they are in the air. I just want to show wow. you that. Super simple, very elegant, very classy. They're gorgeous, aren't they? They are stunning. But let me show you as well. If I Can you see they're actually more half? It's a semicircle, isn't it? Yeah. That's just amazing. But you can't, you can't see it. But even if you do see it, it doesn't matter. No. Oh, I love that. First price ca uh, price tag, sorry, forty nine ninety nine, which is already absolutely amazing yeah. for Taipei Burmese jadeite. The next price that you're about to see is the price that they've always closed at, and then we'll do thirty seconds. On top of this, thirty seconds on top of this, brand new low. Wow! Oh, tell me this quantity, Laura, because I want some of these. 42. Okay, I'm shopping today. Yeah. They're look. gorgeous, aren't they? Just literally pop them into a nice jewelry mm. box. Taipei Burmese Jadeite. Yes, please. Yes, please. Look how gorgeous they are. So stylish, aren't they? I'm trying to figure how to hold these best so you can actually see it all. There you go. It's a gorgeous... I mean, look at that translucency. So solid sterling silver. Burmese Imperial White Jade. Twenty pounds. Wow. Wow. That's what the weekend's about, is it? Is that how we roll on the weekends? Hey. It is the weekend now, isn't it? Yeah. Um, amazing, brand new lows for your jewelry makers. Laura's wow. only here every uh, on the occasion. Oh, you're making an impact, Laura. Yeah. Loving that. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. Absolutely beautifully carved. Again, look at that level of detail. Um, in your sterling silver, Wiltshire, Catherine, Alan, Heather, Ruth, Elizabeth, Sue, Julie. Hello to you, Jeanette. Hello to you, Natalie, who wants three. Um, look at the quantity, though, so you do need to check them out. Check out your baskets, check out your baskets, check out your baskets. people are multi-buying. Yeah, well, I don't blame you. No, but I could blame you. You'd be popping you. them away, wouldn't you, in your, in your present drawer. Make sure you get some for yourself, though. Last auction before I launch Repousse. Repousse. How many different ways can we say Repousse? <laughs> Adam's like, just the one. Repousse. Right, this pearl oh. is insane. Now, it is natural. It's also, if our graphics don't say it, I'm going to be, yeah, good. It's not near round, it's round. Yeah. I know that we will always err on the side of, of caution. Yeah, but that's round. But do we all agree, what I'm about to show you 
is perfectly spherical. Yeah. Do we all agree? Totally. That's gorgeous. Now, already, for a natural purple pearl, I'll show you all the way around. So the reflection of the of the tweezers, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's how that's top wow. quality orient. So um so what we've noticed is today you're loving the brand new low prices. Well, well yeah. We're already for a no, we're already at a low price. <laughs> but Laura say no, Al, no. That is not your new low. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a brand new low on this jewelry makers for a natural purple pearl, the impossible pearl. Wow. To achieve that intensity of color, basically, it's one of the rarest colors in your pearls. It's not dyed. Didn't the bloke find one in a restaurant in, in, his, a in his clamshell? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he opened it up and there was a, a, a purple a pearl purple in pearl. there. Absolutely. And in, it, it sold it for a ridiculous, ridiculous amount of money. Ridiculous amount of money because it's uber rare. Yeah. Uber, uber rare. No, uh. we definitely shouldn't be going even lower than 49.99. But hey ho, let's do it. Brand new lows. It's Friday afternoon. We've got those Friday feelings, haven't we? We 29.99. Again, you only wow. have to pop to somewhere like Yoko of London. Yoko of London, you can get some purple pearls with sapphires and diamonds on the back. The diamonds and the pearl, sapphires go on the back of the yellow. Oh, really? And you're talking yeah, 8,000. Yeah. 8,000 pounds. Oh, okay. And they are literally purple pearls just like this. Just like this. You know, wow. Yoko of London, you've got that long line necklace, which they created 22,500 pounds. It's half drilled. So again, literally the peg bales that we bring to yeah. you on a regular basis will work perfectly. Davinia's going for the full suite, aren't you, my, oh, yeah. my lovely? Alan, well done. Trevor's there as well. I'm going to be joining you on this opportunity. I've got plenty. I've usually got, it's normally the other way around where I've got lots of pearls, but not the pegs. Yeah, yeah. But I've got lots of pegs, not pearls. Got, oh. So I need to be joining you on this as well. Um, in fact, I think Trevor's multi-bought now. Yeah, I don't blame you, Trevor. So is Alan. Well done to you. wilcher has got two of these Everybody as well. Has. Brand new low price tag for you, everybody. Um, again, make sure you're checking out. You've got your wall of fame coming up as well, jewelry Ooh. makers. So we're going to be showing off your wonderful talents and the launch of repousse you can still do this look the quantities there um so first come first serve but remember every single person that has confirmed yeah has multi-bought every wow. single person oh i beg your pardon there's one Someone's person that hasn't one. that's fine too that's fine too sharon's got three trevor's got two wilch has got two davinia's got three uh, hi, Davinia. I have in mind a three chain necklace of different <gasps> lengths with one of these pearls on each chain. Oh, oh Davinia. That sounds amazing. Is that for you? Because I know Davinia sells her jewellery. So is that for you or is that for sale? Because that's going to look sensational. Is it going to be one of those pieces that you go, oh, I've made it to sell, but I don't want to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't actually want to sell it. Well done, everybody. Twenty nine ninety nine. Cheshire, Natalie, Hillary, you've done it. Alan, you can do it. I think you added your order, actually, Alan. Um, don't go anywhere, though, jewellery makers, because we have your wall of fame coming up, um, coming your way. And after that, we have got... <laughs> Say. Amazing. Which is basically, you've not heard of that. It's pushing, isn't it? It's pushing. It's pushing the metal forward. Beating up some metal. Love it. But the end results are amazing. Don't totally. go anywhere, jewelry makers. Join us after this. Hi, it's Debbie Kershaw. I'm back with you on Saturday the 8th of June with honestly the most amazing show. In the 9am, we have got Ruby emerald and sapphire rondelles and I'm going to be showing you different ways that you can use these in your jewellery designs and um, so far I've made some earrings and I've actually used some wire work techniques um, to just weave those little rondelles in and around so I really enjoy doing that so I'm going to be sharing that with you now in the 12 o'clock whoa we have got peacock pearls together with a peacock and a peacock tassel cap I mean, just stunning. Peacocks have been depicted in art 
for just years and years and years and they're just beautiful there's so much symbolism so I'm going to be working with these in the 12 o'clock so I hope you can join myself and the team at Jewelry Maker on the 8th see you then Join me uh, this weekend for two incredible showcases. The first is where we explore the colors of Kotan, that legendary mine that's been you know, producing the world's most famous jade for 10,000 years. And unfortunately, we've seen the, the new news for 2024. So it's crucial uh, that if as collectors, we wanna own that material, we get it sooner rather than later. And then we delve into one of the gemstones that's had the highest price rise that I've ever witnessed obviously the South Sea Pearls. Ever since uh, COVID, we've seen a shortage of supply of fine goods. And um, with the, the influence of the Chinese superstars, we've seen a demand far outweigh supply, which has kind of put us in this precarious situation of having to compete with China for the finest pearls. Prices have gone through the roof, but you're not gonna believe the collection that we've got for you. everyone mark here i'm here to tell you all about my next show which is going to be this monday the 10th of june i'm going to be joining carol tom and the crew nine o'clock i have got my favorite gemstone of 2024 so far avocado alashan agate the most beautiful beautiful gemstone i think i've ever had the pleasure of working with and at 12 o'clock the long-awaited return of the bugle bead so tune in this Monday to see what I'm going to make with these little beauties. So that's Monday, the 10th of June. Join myself, Carol and the team. You will not want to miss this show. Hi, Jewelry Makers, it's Charlie. I'm back with you on Tuesday the 11th and we've got some fantastic projects in store for you. So at nine o'clock, we have the most beautiful multi-wrap bracelets. They come with meter long gemstones and our, uh, sterling silver buttons. They're really cute, you're gonna love them. And then at 12 o'clock, we have one of my best selling items. We have inlays. We have inlay charms, we have inlay rings. You're going to absolutely love it. I can't wait to share that with you. Some nifty little tips and tricks in there that anyone can do. Uh, so I hope you can join me. I'd love to see you there. Can't wait to be back. See ya. I'm gonna do the wall of fame while Alison does this. Short back and sides, anybody? <laughs> not with that, I don't. <laughs> Definitely not. And not um, with me doing okay. it. Okay, you, you need to be. You, I'm just, I'm just melting it, prepping it. You're warming things. So yeah. While Alison's warming up her wax, it, it's pitch, pitch. Right. Pitch. Okay. I'll show off your wall of fame pieces, starting with number seven hundred and twenty-three. I should have this on. Okay, oh, there you go. 723 is from Joe Hall. Morning, jewellery makers. Uh, got a rhyolite fixation at the moment. Everything from jewellery oh, maker. I love Made um, earrings to, uh, but I can't find them. I could lose an elephant amongst my stash, says Joe. Um, yeah, I, I understand. Mine's a bit like that sometimes as well. Love that, Joe. It's so beautiful. Next up, we have. Oh, very pretty from Kerry Ann Chapel Lewis. Hello, Kerry Ann. You're number 724. Um, hi to everybody at Jewelry Maker. I hope you like my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a necklace that can be worn in two different ways. I use chrome dioxide, freshwater pearls, and gold plated findings, all from Jewelry Maker. 
I wanted to make a feature of the interlocking heart clasp, wearing it at the front of the necklace instead of hidden at the back. I'm really pleased with how this necklace turned out and hope you like it too. We certainly do, Kerry. That's beautiful. Loving that. You're number 724. Next up. Oh, very beautiful. Very artistic as well. Um, it's from Josephine Green. Hello to you, Josephine. You're number 725. Hi all, my entry this week is a pair of earrings made with uh, faceted spinel beads and polymer clay flowers. Um, 10 points go to those who can see the mistake I've just noticed. Oh well, back to the workbench. Um, I don't, I'm not going to pick flaws. I think it's nice little, no, little you features. Have, you have asymmetric earrings. Yeah. Gorgeous. They look beautiful. It's not a mistake just it's one of those things design that feature love it Lucky love it accident. josephine um last but by no means least today you have from kim hopkins hello to you kim you're number 726 hi please find my entry to this week's swath um i've had a go at gem setting and these amethysts um nice. into a flower pen are all from jewelry maker good luck to everybody great great banter this week stay safe oh that's gorgeous kim we love that perfectly set should I be wearing my mask? Um, you're all right from there for now, but yes, we need to. Okay. I'm, I'm all right. I've done for now. Oh, right now. It's more. It's it's more. Oh. Oh well, my hair's going to go everywhere, but don't worry about it. Okay. My fringe will come down. You now. still look fabulous. <laughs> you still look fabulous. Okay. Now, it's happening. <gasps> this this has been a long time in the waiting, hasn't oh, it? Oh yes. A long, long time. And I have we got everything mad. that we need to start we've with got, We've got what we need. If you look on our website, by the way, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, everything is, is, is all there for you to pre-order on. Um, what does repoussé mean? So, and what is it? So it's t technically it's chasing and repoussé. So what you're doing is... You're, you're making a pattern. So I've, I've just drawn an A, okay, on mm -hmm. there. So chasing, I'm going to set this. So I've just been heating my pitch. This is your pitch, right? So that's now soft. So that will sink into there, mm -hmm. okay? That will then hold it. So this one, this one I did earlier. So that's now held firmly, but it's got it doesn't feel give. like it's got give but when you're hammering it's got give can I, can I yeah 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 it, it feels hard to us yeah. you know when plasticine goes rock hard yeah it, that's what it feels like but you hammer into is it is there a bit of give there Cause yeah yeah there's a give because you hammer yeah. and and you can create these domes but it's supporting it so so i mean you can get this is a shallow depth compared to to what big massive ones are okay. but we're talking jewelry level so yeah all of this depth and i mean that's probably what three four at the maximum paint no more than that it's at least a five mil depth um so you can get quite deep on it um when you're doing it but it's supported if you tried to do this on a flat oh, steel yeah. you wouldn't you can't wouldn't do it happen. you can't do it so alison i'm yes. just looking at everything that's before Sorry, because these are obviously this. brand new tools and, and and items yeah so um how do these arrive are they, is it one two Right, so so this is this is this is for. This is kind of a, a, an additional. You might want it. Okay. So when you make the bowl, so what you've what you've got for the main kit. Let's go through that yeah, first, let's, shall let's, we? That let's would put make that one sense. out of the way. Ooh. Okay. Well, let me so put that one over there for now. This is this way. is the main kit of which yes. you have. This is your pitch. Right. Right. So you do have full instructions. I, I take you through how to set it into the bowl you've got um hang on if i put it that way so you you can look at you know how you actually set it into the bowl how you do it it's very repetitive setting your pictures i've even given you a few simple templates to use at the end is it like a, a wax then it's not a wax it is a it's a pitch it, it, mm, i suppose it's more like a resin than a wax okay okay right so what happens is this will this will arrive through your doorstep. Yeah. And now I know other people when I when I, when I first started doing it, and they say, "My pictures come broken." So so if this comes in bits, 
It doesn't matter. The first thing you're going to do with it is smash it up. Oh, okay. So it right. really doesn't matter. So the matter. very first step is is you get that it in a, you fun. get it in a bag. So so I kept a little bit out, and you smash it into into bits. Okay. Okay. So I've double bagged this. Yeah, so you, you smash your pitch up to, into bits. So, so it doesn't matter if it's broken. If you tried to melt that as a whole, it would probably take you about a week. Okay. Okay. So you're going to smash it into you're bits smash anyway. It into bits. So you get your, you so get you get your pitch, pitch, you get your bowl. You get your bowl. You get your collar. Now the collar, oh. so the collar allows you to work from any angle. Oh, so that is meant to move. So you, yeah, so you can turn it round. You can get it into the best place for you. You can twist it, you can angle it. I like a speci specific angle when I'm working. Yeah. But you can move it around. It's fully, you know, well, hemispherical. So you can you can work all the way around there. Yeah. Okay. You get your hammer. You get your, your so this is this is a chasing hammer. The reason why this hammer is so special when you're doing this, where have I put mine? Okay. So you get this is this is your planishing head. Right. Okay. That, and you get a, you get a ball peen. On oh, the what? other side, a oh, it's a funny one. Yeah, that yeah. Is. So it's look a little, a little ball on the other end. So, so. Yeah, but look, yeah. it's a funny shape. It's a shape, yeah. It's sort of like a rounded ball with a flat bit. Yeah. So, mm. the reason you've got such a big flat head is because when you're hitting, when you're striking and using your your to your your punches. Mm. What you want to be able to do is concentrate on what you're doing and not on where your hammer's going. Okay. If this was a tiny little hammer and you're trying to hit that, you've got to watch out or you're doing that all okay, the time. Right, yeah. So what they do is they give you a big flat surface yeah. that you can hit pretty much damn near accurately without having to worry about it. Yeah. Which leads so that's us, why you get that one. Which leads us uh, um, into as well the metal. So the you get copper. The metal. You get a sheet of copper. copper. Which is 0 0.32. Yeah. So it's it's a thinner metal. Yeah. But it's fantastic when you're starting. Amazing. So you can you can really have a good play with this. It's very very pliable. So you'll be able to make an impression straight away. So am I repoussing straight away with so, all this? So you need a torch. Okay. Right. You need so that you need a torch to anneal your metal. We we've done it. You will break it if you hit it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you if you've got a heat gun. And That's you get the great. printout as well. So you, you get, get the printout sorry. as well. Oh, yes, sorry. There you go. Uh, so you get the, the... And the punches. Oh, and your punch set. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Adam's been saying that for about the last five minutes. Anybody, the punches. You get the punches as well. Anybody? Punches. Let me just lean this forward because you can see they're different different. So you get shapes. 15 different punches. Very good, yeah, isn't yeah. it? So you've got your flat ones tend to be your chasing punches. Mm. So this is where... And the way to remember it is you trace, you chase the outline. Yeah. With your with your chase, that's how that's what you're chasing. You're chasing the outline. So those you're chasing, then you get your shape. So the the way I've set mine up, if I hang on, it's getting very full, full on here. So I put all my all my. Oh, how did you get there? Okay. I generally put there you go. My chasing ones in the front, so yeah. they tend to be flat. You can sometimes get curved ones, but they're mm. they're a thinner. So those chase your lines. These then you're you're repoussing from the back. Uh, these can kind of go from the back and the front. So these are more detailed ones. These are filling in. Well, that one's a filling in as well. I didn't mm. fit them on there. So these are, 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 are creating all this. So you chase from the front, then you turn it over, and then that's where you put put it upside down in there, and you're pushing all of these into the you're hammering into that okay so when you turn round, it's it's brought forward okay you turn it round. right so you get the instructions obviously you can yep. watch back the show alison will be demoing throughout the course yeah, yeah. of the show so what we're going to do is bring you the main project and then obviously any additions that alison is using so for example so we've, like got masks, we've got masks we've got yes. additions so as and when alison so keep an eye on um, the graphics as well but before one o'clock we will crash the price on absolutely wow. everything okay okay so you're doing that with this now or we've got that. do the project now and then everything after that you are getting so much because I thought I thought it was all gonna be you are getting so much in this it's amazing 
Okay. It's absolutely amazing. You, you, you can start doing this. If you're doing this, the chances are you've already got your torch. Okay, yeah. To, to heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we were doing earlier. All you've you're got using, most of your All you're doing with already. that is to actually anneal the metal. Um, you can actually you can actually start with the 0.32, but it does work hard. And every time you strike it, every time you hit your punch into it, you are work hardening that metal. Yeah. So um, you take it off frequently and anneal it. Okay, now this is not your price, jewelry makers, okay? Just so you know, wow. not your price. Bear with us for a second. This is fab. We're just trying to put it on split pay Ooh. for you. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, so we'll do that. And in the meantime, Alison can... So we'll start. We'll yeah, we shall, can, we, shall we start? We can, yeah, why not? Start as we mean to go on. So you've seen me with a blowtorch. Uh, not a blowtorch, uh, uh, a heat gun. <laughs> no, don't blowtorch it. So your pitch. Okay, so there's some important things you need to know. So the pitch fumes, if you, it, it can be toxic. Right. You need to do this in a well in, 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 uh, open. Open area. Uh, when ventilated, thank you, ventilated place. Yeah. <laughs> Can't say that. So it needs to be well ventilated. You need a good mask. We've got so these. These are. There. Oops. You do get two bits. You get two bits that stick on here with filters. They are fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Damn, you couldn't pass when you've bit. when you've um when it's cooled, so this is now this is now cooling. It's not quite rock solid yet, but it's cooling. When when this is when this is cooled, yeah. you don't need to wear it while you're hammering. No. Um, while you're setting it up. So once you've set up your bowl, once you've broken down your pitch, it's not a case of you've got to do that every time. That's it. Your pitch is done. Right. So I tend to put mine on. I've got a, a an electric single ring hob, you know, a, a, like a camping one. So <laughs> there's different directions, but it doesn't yeah. matter. It do the job. <laughs> <laughs> okay so you i put this 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 has got a flat bottom so it will sit it will sit like that put it on the hob on low put it on low we'll show you how to how to put the mask on properly yeah um put it on low just to to keep it warming from below it'll keep this um your bowl itself warming and then and then um you use a, a, a heat gun yeah basically what you're doing is you want it to be treacle so as you're going along and melting it if i had it, it's going to take you several hours to melt that yeah yeah. okay yeah. it's not so it, it'll probably take you a couple of hours depending on how small you have it so i just want to show you some pictures because we we have not got enough time to, sh to, to show that on the show so you break it up into small pieces you you melt those you you put some more in broken up pieces you melt those you put some more in i got down to the very last dregs and then you finally get your smooth pitch okay so you go through those stages don't rush it don't you can use a torch to do it be very careful so if you're going to use the torch your flame does not touch the pitch you do not want to burn the pitch no um you you if you burn it you will um you ruin it you might as well throw it away it, it's done it's done and dusted oh okay so if you get if you start if you boil it if it's too hot you'll start getting lots of bubbles a be very very careful because if it spits at you a it's going to be red hot and b you know it's going to hurt you okay. so gentle gentle i use it on strong I do use it on the, the highest heating of this, but I keep it further away. Okay. Okay. Apart from when I, I've actually Touched went to it. do something and done that and stuck some to it. Um, you're not going to, it's not, you know, I'm touching this. It's not going to um, do me any harm. However, I will wash my hands before. It's before a good I, idea, yeah. yes. So, so wash your hands. But it's not, it's not, it's not toxic to the touch okay. like that. So it's only, it's only the fumes particularly when we take these pieces off mm. we're then going to torch them and um, you, you drip off as much as you can mm. and then and then you you know when I mean drip of it you hold it there and you keep your heat gun on it to get rid of as much as you can residue wise anything else you burn off 
Okay. That is when you really, really need your mask on. Okay. Okay. And you've got to be in a well ventilated space. Having said all that, it's not, you know, um, it's not dangerous if you're sensible. You no. just need to be sensible. So if you, if you do your precautions. Ventilation's a good ventilation, idea. Ventilation, wear a face mask, preferably a um, filtered one, mm -hmm. and wear your safety glasses. Because, like I say, if it spits, it is red hot. Okay. Okay. Right so up. that's that's the scary that's the scary um, well, well, it's a, health and safety. It's like if you're soldering, you need to be careful. With yeah, that absolutely. Things, Good grief! Ninety-nine pounds. I, I didn't think it was supposed to be going to that. Okay. It is on three-way split pay as well. I know our graphics don't show it, but it is on three-way split pay as well. Wow, that so is a massive. So if you want split pay. That is a fantastic if price. If you drop the graphics and bring them back in, they usually shows up again. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah, it is on split pay anyway. That's incredible. I know, amazing. When you look at all these things individually... Are they expensive yeah, normally? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And trying to get hold of the pitch. It's taken us, what, 14, 18 months to get hold of the pitch? Really? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I mean, I know we're buying it in quantity. Um, one of these... I love these. I've, I'm after one of these because I have to work on my... Oh, heatproof mat. Heatproof mat. I, I work... They're on so the web as well. The, these are on the web. Check, check down in the web. These are fabulous. I work on my freezer. I don't have... I don't ah. have a, a... So any soldering or anything like that. And I wanted one because I, I was doing this when I got this because I had my pitch arrived before the main bulk. Mm. So I was actually setting it up when I was on the boat. With the with the side hatch open, I was like literally working underneath the side hatch, so I had plenty of ventilation. Oh gosh. And I, I desperately needed something it's like this. It's only four ninety nine. They're brilliant on the website right now. I presume it's silicon. It's, yeah, it's it some looks sort like of silicon. It, yeah. Right, I can go and get one of those. I ended up buying a barbecue based, but it wasn't. So, you you put your your design in. We're going to chase. So I'm going to put it in my bowl. Mm -hmm. You. You can wear your glasses. I, I mean, these are pretty good glasses. Um, can I borrow those? You can borrow those. Yeah. Um, like I say, mine are, mine are pretty good. So okay. I've got a very simple design. I'm going to chase it. And I've managed to, to make that wobbly. So bear with me. So I'm going to pick a medium um, punch. This is, this is um, a flat one. You want a flat one to chase your outlines. When you're doing it, if anyone's done any leather work, this is quite similar to how you uh, tool your leather. Techniques are the same. However, you're doing it, when, you, when you've got your outline, everything else gets flipped. So instead of trying to push the background down, you're trying to push the main bits forward. Okay. So leather work, you push the, the, the bits further away to, from you. On this, you put, push the bits nearest to you forward from behind. Okay, so when I say that, when you're chasing, you want to walk your tool okay so what, what do i mean by that so stop it adam um so basically you're going to be moving this along the line so it doesn't matter you can draw it freehand it you could put a piece of paper on it if you wanted and what you're going to do is tap and draw this towards you so it's not this is not a brute force activity this is the, so your chasing hammer also has a sort of funny shaped um, end of the handle. That's where you want to hold it. It's an ergonomic handle. Yeah, so I know. As that. you're, it's as you're, isn't it? it's weighted at the bottom, so you're lifting up and you're almost dropping it. So it's it's designed to give you the maximum force with the minimum effort. Yeah. So it it it, it protects you as much as you can because it's a very repetitive. Alison, thing. we've just looked elsewhere and found yeah. some repousse punches. Yeah a set yeah they look almost exactly they the same exactly yes 146 pounds and 89 pence just for the punches i know and then if i want to show just show you something else in fact i think that is exactly the same set the so hammer chasing hammer yeah 14 pounds on its own yeah so yeah that's what 160 67 so you want the pitch good luck finding red pitch yeah. 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 If you put um, repousse, 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 red pitch, red pitch, 
Yeah, because that was what caused us the issues and this, delayed the, red the launch, pi the pitch wasn't was, it? And then you want a, a um, yeah, a, a, a bowl. A pitch bowl. It's called a pitch bowl. We're just yeah. piecing all this together. Oh, there we go. Oh, well done for finding that. 18 pounds and 36 pence. Yeah. For the, for the actual uh, pitch. A pitch bowl. Okay. So it usually comes a pitch bowl and you usually get the collar. Okay. So, you, I mean, we watch, I reckon, half the price. If Gosh. you were to buy them all elsewhere. Yeah. And that's excluding if they add delivery. So the bowls vary. Cheapest we can find is about £13. There we go. So very competitive yeah. at £99.99. Uh, totally competitive. Yeah, currently oh, unavailable. Oh, that's the only place you can find it. <laughs> Um, ah. They're all available right now. Okay, over to you, Alison. So, so the action is you want to, you're tapping, okay? But as you're tapping, you're moving. It's going to take you a while to get used to it. So can you see you're getting an indent created? So mm -hmm. as you walk, it's called walking. You're walking your punch. Oh, so you're gradually moving it, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're walking, you're creating, you're creating this line. So you, you, all, all the lines you want to be lined, mm. oh, sounds stupid. Um, you're, you're literally hitting and walking. Now what I would say is if you've got any scrap copper, anneal it and then practice. Just practice walking. It, it's a technique that you, you will get used to. You will get used to so it. You, am I getting this right? So you're almost drawing it towards yeah. you as you're hitting it. So if I, if I do it this way, I can't hit it this way. Can you, can you, uh, let, me, let me give you that piece of metal. So that's, you want it at a slight angle. Can you, I'll exaggerate it, but you want to pull it. If you kept it flat, this front edge would dig in. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you're just lifting that front edge and you're walking it along as you hit it okay um it doesn't matter if you go hit 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 what you'll do is get little lines right okay, yeah yeah but you can do that but it takes some practice sorry yeah is that better so so you get you get it you can practice you'll get you'll get used to it as you practice okay so we've worked out with the cheapest that we can find elsewhere yeah collectively piecing it all together the punches the bowl the red stuff um the, i can't remember what it's called pitch pitch that the chasing hammer yeah and don't forget also the the copper and your instructions and the instructions so okay obviously we haven't added those all of the other tools 195 pounds wow um but we're actually not finished what 30 seconds yeah and we are because oh this is a goodness. launch jewelry makers it's beat we've never done oh the poussé before it's, it's great the launch fun. and obviously we want you to start yeah. new hobbies new mediums effect etc so things, things like doing you know i looked at that and i went oh i should have done my logo mm. doing your logo in it yeah perfect. things things like you know doing well dragons for me flowers earrings in it pendants you can add things on so the um feather <gasps> i've done i would have put that on a bangle so he, I didn't get to, I didn't manage to finish him last night. Seriously. I did have to go to bed, but he we're will. We're at £79.99, wow. seriously. What? And we're going to drop the graphics. Right. Bear with. Oh. Bringing it straight back in. And the reason for that is because it is on split pay. You'll see it in a second. Oh my goodness. It is on split That's pay. That's incredible. There That's it is, jewelry makers. So again, even if you did source them from different places, yeah. have you got the 0% interest split payment? No. Um, my first oh. project will be oh, my butterfly logo. Course. Brilliant price, well done. Oh, Davinia, Davinia you're going to love it. You're going to love it. It's brilliant. and any questions, text in as well. Yeah. Do text in. So, Back so to you. let me just say about before we finish the setup. So the reason we fetched the concrete to you is what you can do is this one is this one is fully laden with pitch this one i've got a base in it mm. um so but i didn't have any concrete so it's not brilliant 
um, I'll have to redo it. So what you can do in your bowl is if you put the lower, uh, you know, maybe an inch deep, you actually put that as concrete, let it set, let it sit in the bowl, go hard, you know, where, however long it says it takes it to set. You can then put the pitch on top of it, but you use less pitch. Okay. So you can do it that way um, be, because you get, you've got enough, you've got enough, but I like to have a bit of extra. So if, if you, the concrete is on, is on um, the website, yeah, so, so have a look. Um, if you want to, you can part fill the bottom of your bowl um, and off you go. It's great because you will, over time, lose pitch. Okay. So because when I take this off, so I'm going to take this off now. Imagine I've gone all, all the way around the outlines. So then you heat it again. Okay. Bear in mind, put your mask on. Okay. Bear in mind, um, it's going to be hot. Okay. I'm going to move that out of the way. We'll, I'll then show you what happens with the residue. I'm not going to completely do this one because I don't want to set the fire alarms off. No. But yeah. it does, it does um, melt it. Okay. Okay, so let me, let me mask I'll up. Just You've hold got a it. better one. Yeah, just hold it. You'll be fine. Okay. I there feel like Mad Max. <laughs> yes. But that is the safest thing. When it comes to burning, you'll see when it burns. Oh, masses. I'm we are in a quite a massive area which is well ventilated. Um, most homes don't have that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna heat this. You'll find sometimes you let get little bits that flake off. When I've put it in, so if you look at this one here, you slide it underneath so you, you melt it and it, it rocks it holds it all the way round. Um, this one obviously I've done quick so get your tweezers your copper tweezers you had before will be fine and I'm going to heat it so when you heat it what you want is it's like the consistency of treacle you know before treacle sets mm. it's got that it's not runny per se but it's not um, it's liquid and you'll see you'll see as I heat this You'll see it start moving. If you look around here, where I'm concentrating it, can you see it moving a little bit? If I hold it like that, it's, it's quite hard to see, but that's now heating. And of course, because you're heating the copper as well, that's also, that'll heat up quicker and it's heating your metal. So I'm gonna heat it. I didn't set this in really hard deliberately because I wanted to be able to take it out to show you. So come on. So I'm going to see if that's, it probably won't be yet. Oh, there you go. Sorry, I, I can't hear you very well. Yeah, sorry. So you can see that this is now loose. Now that's what I mean by residue. Mm -hmm. So you can sit there and heat that. Some of that will drip off, but you'll get some left. You can stop now. Oh, well, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to heat this. So when you, when you put this back, when you come to put that back, what you need to do is then reheat the whole of that when you're ready to put it back so that it smooths out again. And then you can put it back in. We'll give, we'll give our lessons on putting her mask on. It, I can't, it won't. Right, I'm using the using other one. Using the other one, use the other yeah. one. Okay, we've got oh, the wow. concrete on your screens yeah. right now as well. Fabulous. Yeah, it, it gives you that extra. And okay. knowing how long it took us to get that pitch. That's better. Right. There you go. go. Okay. So, right. The reason I say don't use... If, you, if you've got a heat gun, use a heat gun. I know most of us crafters ha have. You can use a torch. You have to be a little bit more careful with it. This is what happens. So I want to anneal this. So if I get... And I'm deliberately going to... I'm going to do this. I will stop it because it will go on fire. Okay. I don't, I don't want to set the fire alarm off. Can you see that? So, I, I, right, I'm going to stop that now. So what will happen is it'll burn off and you'll get a residue. It burns off to oh, a residue. Okay, so it flakes. Okay, so it will all flake. So be careful with what you do with that. Mm -hmm. We'll just wait for that to dissipate before we take it off. So you would reheat it, clear off your residue by burning it off, mm. and then dip that into your water bath to quench it. 
you can then, once it's, once it's quenched, you can then turn your prongs the other way. So whereas they were that way up, you, you're, you start off with it front side up to do your chasing. You then turn it front side down, so you need to turn. The reason you turn these little prongs up is it keys in. It gives you that anchor into, into your pitch. Okay, so you turn them the other way. Because you've annealed it, it's fine. You're not going to be stressing it. And then you reset it. So can you see? You've, oh, you can see the outline quite well there. Okay, there you go. You can take your mask off again. Okay. It's hot in there. <laughs> it does get hot in yeah. there, doesn't it? <coughs> Right, there we are then. Now we're, we're just You're bringing right, it to um, to a copper sheet. Oh, brilliant! Look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards now, yeah. haven't I? <laughs> so, um, six ninety nine. Are you sure that's right? You did right. say the twelve o'clock goes hand in hand with the. With oh, the, totally, with totally. The, with the nine o'clock, yeah. doesn't it? As so well. you could put you you can put these on. You can you can tie them together. Yeah. You could actually uh, petite. Um, Use repousse work on those. Obviously, the nine mil. Yeah. You're going to get. You can get patterns on it. It's going to be quite small, but you could have a go at that and making a bangle with repousse work. Amazing. So if you think, if you think about a right here, you go. I'm going to challenge you now. So think jade -like carved bangle. Mm -hmm. Think pattern. Mm -hmm. So you want a border strip, mm -hmm. and then do that on the nine mil. That is very hard. I, I, I'm really, really pushing it. So, so when you've practiced a bit, that's very hard. So the copper sheet, we, we've given you 0.32 to get you started, which is nice and malleable. You don't need to heat it much. I mean, this is the 0.32 uh, sheet and you can see that's nice. Yeah. That's very easy to, to, to bend. Nice to, to, yeah, it's beautifully soft. Okay. Every time you strike it, mm. you'll work hardening it. Okay. If you try and get, um, if you try and say went to this depth straight away, so you've got quite a, a depth and hammered it, what will happen is you'll stress the metal, you'll, you'll potentially tear it um, but, uh, and crack it. it, it's too much. So what you do is, is you do it small and often. So you're building up the depth with your, with your tools yeah so and then if it seems like you're not getting anywhere when you're hitting it take it off re-anneal it start it again you can re-anneal your metal as many times as you like you don't have to just do it once you can keep re-annealing it so if you're doing a lot with it then don't worry about it you can just keep taking it on and off the point five the advantages of point five and did did i hear we've got some point eight as well so this is a this is a point five, and it's sturdier. So the finished piece is. Oh right! The, oh, is that gone? Has it? Oh, the ten by ten is on the web now. So so, both of these are steps up. Okay. And and different things. You want them for different things. Okay. The point eight will give you a completely robust finish. Okay. The, the point the point five is pretty good. I mean that that is that is a point five, and that's that's pretty pretty hard mm -hmm. the uh, 0 0.32 is is a bit more even work hardened which this obviously isn't is a little bit softer okay so i would want that somewhere where i'm not going to bash it okay yeah it's great for earrings perfect for earrings because okay. it's lighter as well and then cut it out like it's a pen yeah so so when you've finished so I'm, i'll go through the the repousse part we've done the chasing part we've chased round so you end up with this, turn it upside down, and you get this mark. You can see where I've, I've gone too far too soon. I, I, I got distracted and really whacked it there. So I've got a little lump sticking up. So that's what can happen. Now, I thought when I'd hit it, I thought, oh, my gosh, I must have gone straight through. Um, luckily, I didn't. Um, I've lost track of what we're saying then. Repousse. repousse. So the repousse is now, we've turned it upside down. So we're going to be pushing from the back so that it Forward. sticks out in yeah. the front. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're going to go all around the inside of that, but this would be cut out afterwards as a pendant. You can either, so on the feather, I've left a tiny little um, line around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, whereas the, the sunflower, I've actually cut where I chased. So I've actually cut right on that edge. Okay, so different looks. Different looks, different looks. 
Okay, the, let's see Repousse. So Repousse. Um, so now we've gone from our chasing ones, and it, and it's not a once you've done your chasing, you're done. You will go back afterwards of course, and yeah, go back fine over tuning. it. Yeah. So you you're going to pick them. I tend to start from what's shallow and go to what's going to be the deep, deepest. So this is a, um, a hibiscus. Yeah. So the stalk in the middle. When you're doing it, when you when you look at your picture, and have I got that one? Yeah, I've got that one here, right? So what's a good idea to do if you're not used to doing any 3D? Bear in mind you're going to have to do this upside down. Look at the part. So that part there of that petal, I want I want it to be outer pushed out further in the middle, going to less there. Yeah. So I tend to I would work from the outside. I tend to work from where I want it less to where I want it deepest. Yeah. Yeah, and then you can go over and over like it. Like in nature. Like in nature. But that is going to be above that. So that bit there is going to be shallower, and then it's going to bulge out a bit towards the back. This bit has got to be above those. So you've got to, it, it's worth shading where you want the deepest as a reference. Um, if you've got a flower, have a look at a flower, um, and then actually just go in and shade it. So look at nature, look at what it's doing. You know, that is, is, a, is a very simple one. That's going to be a dome. Each of those is going to be domed. Nothing's in front of the other. So something like that is a very simple design. My, my A, very simple design. I just want the lines to stand out. Mm -hmm. There's nothing crossing over anything else. That, again, is a simple design. I would chase the, the um, what's that called, stem. And then each of these bits, I would want to push out. Okay. Okay. So, so have a think about that. It's, it's, it's again. You have to get into that mindset of how to think about it. And I have to translate from when I do leather to when I do this because they're they're the negative and the positive. Mm -hmm. So one you're doing it from one side, and the other you're doing it from the other side. So I do sometimes think, hang on a minute, which bit do I want to push out? So I'm going to start off. Where you've got big bits, so if we start off with this flower, you want to go as close up to that chasing line as you can. So we're going to go, I'm using one of the rounded nose, and I'm going to go from there and work my, back, my way back in. So I tend to tilt it towards me. I'm going to try and do it the other direction so that um, you can do it. So you're, again, you're walking it. So you're just walking it down. What you'll find when you start is you will get little sort of judders, but you can smooth those out. You're right. So I'm going round this top. It's all right. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna melt it again. Okay. So you can chase round the outside. You can um, do your repousse. And then you're working in. Now I would turn that. This is the this is the joy of this. I can turn that round and work from there, which is comfier to me, back towards myself. Right. Um, so we've had a question. There are different pitches. So this is called an engraver's pitch. Different pitches will do different jobs. The engraver's pitch is also good for doing a pousse work. Um, there's a black pitch and there's another a grey pitch. Gosh, I can't remember now. I can't remember exactly what all the pitches do. They do do different things. So have a read if 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 you're looking for some. So this will do repoussé and engraving. So all it is is it, the the amount of give you've got in in the um, in the pitch. That's that's what the different that's what the different pitches are. It's the amount of give that that's got mm -hmm. within that pitch. So so um, some are harder than others. You'll find some um, some uh, if you look at repoussé artists and the work they do is incredible. Um, some prefer a black pitch. Some prefer a red pitch. Some you know different people prefer working with different pitches. And also it will depend on what they're working with. So we don't need a really heavy one. We're not using, you know, 1.5, 2 mil thick um, metal that, you know, and we're not doing massive pieces. So different ones do different things. Um, so yes, they are, they are different, but, but you can use different ones. Yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah. 
Um, we're going to bring the mask that you yeah, saw yeah. me wearing earlier on, again, with the head strap. And it goes around the back of the head as well. This is the filtered ones that uh, Alison was just talking about as well. It's really comfortable. You know, properly. I, if I talk, you won't hear me. But covers the, and seals the entirety yeah. of the mouth as well. Um, so, yeah, really comfortable to actually wear. I, like you mentioned Deb uses these quite Deb, a lot. Deb used it when she was doing the sand casting. Yeah. Um, for doing something like this, where you're doing anything that, that's can give fumes off or anything like that yeah you want that is sure. really really good because yeah. you they know come off and you can if you're sensible it. this is going to cause you no harm no however you do need to take some safety precautions obviously you know, yeah it's it, it's you know it's not plasticine and arguably i wouldn't like to burn and breathe in plasticine no so of course not no like, likewise don't you know be over here while you're doing it yeah okay 40 pounds and 99 pence wow, and obviously that's brilliant because you can get replacement filters for it as well. Can you? So yeah. we found these elsewhere. £20. Wow. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay. See it from Amazon. Yeah, not bad. So I mean, you, I imagine you're going to be able to use this for lots of different things. It's not just for Oh, gosh, say. yeah. No, no, because, um, you know, the sand casting. Any any time you're using where you need to put a mask on, this this will sanding, good. Sanding, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, sanding, MDF, DIY. Things like that, DIY. Oh, gosh, yeah. Anything like that. It is a yeah, handy thing to very. have around the house. Absolutely. Uh, 9 99 That's brilliant. Yeah, if you're sanding anything, really. Yeah. You know, it's That's probably a, it's probably a good that. idea to actually have something. Um, because otherwise you're just breathing it in, aren't you? You are. And, and these, are, these are, you know, to be fair, we've all worn something like this. You can see mine's a bit beaten up by now. Oh, I didn't notice that. Um, but they're, they're a temporary thing. Yeah, that's a replaceable, whereas, renewable resource. Absolutely, it's only a tenner. And a tenner, nine ninety nine. And much, much better at filtering out much better everything around it. So again, you can see this goes over the top of your head. Yeah, and the like other so, one goes, and then this one behind. clips behind the back of the neck. Yeah. so it's uh, it's obviously not going anywhere. So absolutely. it's lovely and secure, nice and I'm really comfortable as well to wear because this this. It's like a... It's, it's soft, isn't it? Yeah. It sort of just will mould and it's seal around the face. contours yeah. of your face. £9.99. Wow. How many do we have? brilliant. 59 oh. left, so don't leave it in your basket, jewellery makers. No, they, they, they don't. They stick don't. around very long, these. I, I will be getting mine, because I, I missed them when they were on with... with um, oh, what was her name? Debbie. With Debbie, The yeah. other day, and, and, and Vicky. Um, yeah, so... So, yeah, amazing. Okay, back to you. Uh, brilliant, don't I? Oh, thank you. Oh, Another new Vinya. medium for you to try, Aspiring Show. Oh. Truly is. We've still You're got a couple of items it. to add yeah. to this as well, so carry on. So, so you congregate. Well, a lot of that is then repetition. Mm. So slowly, slowly build it up, um, anneal it, build it up, anneal it, until you get the depth that you're happy with. Mm. And then, you, you know, presumably you're going to have a plan of what your finished piece is going to be anyway so mine is going to be a pendant well actually it was going to be a brooch but i i'm going to enamel the inside nice. of the wings as you do so i'm going to cut mine out now you can cut it out either with a saw if we've got any of the saws left or with um a shears okay so have a look at the website there's lots yeah. of these items that allison is is mentioning on the website we're going to play the heat proof mat oh, next oh i love the heat proof so mat. which i love I, I need this i need this for every, anything anyway yeah. it's great you can put a pan on it yeah it's fabulous i was my big bay big big hate is things going on wood and we've got a lot of wood on the boat yeah but and i hate things going on and leaving you know, so yeah i love that amazing okay. yeah you can use it as for oven isn't it? it's silicon yeah so so you can put that underneath the other thing is like i said um you it, you'll get little flaky bits so if if you're on a mat they're all contained which is brilliant yeah because it's got a little lip isn't it yeah yeah Just yeah there. so graphics are live for your <gasps> heat proof mat wow there you fantastic go. amazing now should be for this quality Really? That sounds That's very, brilliant. very yeah. affordable. Should be. Easily no, no, cleanable. Done. Easily cleanable. I actually want one of these because we've just had a new kitchen. Yeah. And, and even though it's you a quartz worktop, I don't want to put a pan straight down on top of it. No, you get. Ooh. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh, no, all precious about it. So, I mean, 4 99 
Wow, four ninety nine. Well, I'll be buying a couple of those. I hope. Stop well, committing. Yeah, yeah, we might not. Make sure you get your heat one proof home, mat. One, yeah, definitely. Okay, definitely. So when you've when you've got to the depth you're happy with. Turn it upside down and put it back in. Obviously, flick your little corners back in. Mm. This is the reason why you don't cut it out first because you need these little tabs. Mm. To, 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 you can't just you can't just stick it on flat because it will move. Okay. Okay. So turn it upside down um, to stick it in, and then go round all your lines and chase it again because it will it will even though it's supported and you're not sort of hitting into a void it can then freshen up all the edges so so where here you know you might not get right into the corners or anything like that <laughs> you can just go back in and re redefine that edge yeah. and it'll give you the outline and then you can cut it out and like i say um saw so this i'll be using a saw with um if it's a simple shape like that that sort of teardrop i'm quite happy to use my shears yeah it depends but this is so intricate i'd be using my saw and if it's the saw i have you is it the big curly saw that we've got oh has it not got okay so okay double check on the keep checking back on the website because that's my favorite saw of all time so this this is yeah this is the concrete kit okay bro. so this is a fabulous decorative um concrete so you can make concrete jewelry really i love yeah, yeah. that you can make concrete jewelry um i think i think um Gemma crow had it but it will it will actually fill up the base of your thing a little bit you know obviously you need a decent amount because you're, you're hammering into it but you could you could sort of put like i say about an inch or so at the bottom and wow. it, it, will, it will it gives you that base so the rest of it is pretty much repetition. Mm -hmm. You're doing it backwards and forwards and then taking it off. And I have taken you through, basically you're gonna have to file. Do you wanna sand, you know, how would you wanna color it? Do you wanna patina it? What do you want to do? <coughs> oh, sorry, all right. after it. So that's all basic um, smithing stuff. Um, but yeah, have fun with it, Just, just, make shapes again a bit like um with the ef color simple shapes um you know easy coloring things yep. you can use stained glass oh, patterns yeah, 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 can yeah. also look quite good because if you think you chase where everywhere where the stained glass is yeah it, it doesn't have to be a flower or something it can be a contemporary thing it could be a swirl you know you Very can do cool. just just have a play with it it and is you get you're going to get hooked you will get hooked and again we're just looking at you know the to buy the material elsewhere you know for the punches Silly. we yeah. saw um what was 100, it 149 150 pounds yeah. so for the hammer yeah you were talking what bless you 15 pounds um for the pitch 18 20. 18 pounds 36 yeah for the bowl oh, that's, oh no hang on that we could only actually find ours that 18 pound will be without that Oh, okay, really. So, so it's going to be over twenty pound, and then you okay. get you've got the pitch bowls, the pitch um, all of that today with us. Yeah, and, the, and the copper, and copper, and your instructions, and your instructions, seventy nine pounds and ninety nine pence. That's that's an absolutely incredible price. Or twenty six pounds oh. sixty six if you want to get it on split pay. Yes, and. This stuff is really heavy. You are paying one P and P. Yeah. Don't, don't forget that because I've been caught out by that before. And you think, oh yeah, I'll have all that. And then you come to it and it's like, oh, postage is like, I think the worst I got was 35 pounds. I know, In the exactly. UK, not coming from abroad. No. In the UK and I'm like, cancel order. That was 3 dollars three ninety five, yeah. regardless of how heavy or how many pieces yeah. you actually purchase. I've got just nine of these left now, jewelry oh, wow. makers. So again, make sure you check Have it fun. out. We love a bit of repousse. Oh, we do. it's great, isn't it? Yeah. So you could do so much with it. Amazing. And I need pieces. to see pictures when you get it. Oh yeah, look, stunning designs, everyone. I mean, look at this. I love, I love that feather. The, yeah so gorgeous keep an eye on the web because we have brought you lots of things in a very short period of time yes, so the heat proof have. mat the filter the uh copper, the copper sheets 
Um, there's lots of goodies in there that you can absolutely add to it. The main project project as well, plus so much more. So yeah. do keep an eye on that. Those purple pearls, the bamboo uh, angel light. I'm back with you bright and early tomorrow as well, where I'm, I'm joined by the fabulous Debs. Yay! That'll be so wonderful. High. I'm back with you soon, aren't I? Yes, you are, I think. I can't remember when I'm back in the 15th, but 17th, soon. but I'm soon. Yeah. It is definitely soon, I yes. remember that. Um, enjoy the rest of your afternoon, everybody. Again, keep an eye on the website if you've just tuned in. You can always watch us back on the repeat because we've brought you some cracking deals oh, today haven't we just go back through the deals yeah it's going to be amazing i'm also going to be joined by dave tomorrow so you've got a super saturday show um enjoy the rest of your afternoon i'll see you bright and early